And we're live. I get to be the star now of the show because Perry is late. He's probably putting pants on. No, I'm not. I wasn't putting look pants on. Him. Look at him. You don't have to put pants on if you already had pants on. <laughs> well, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Were you hoping that I wasn't going to see that it was live? I, I should have just acted I wanted like you I to say tell it was live. Yeah. I'm just being like picking my nose and stuff. Say some crazy outlandish things that John doesn't typically say. You see, that's that's my problem. Everybody who does these stream yard things, everyone's so like, all right, guys, we're going live. No, no. When you got a bunch of people and you guys have a conversation before the stream, just click the live button because then that's when the real stuff comes out, you know? Yeah, that's when I'm busy saying, Perry's so annoying. God, that guy. <laughs> you're like, why am I still here with this guy? <laughs> Can I do a quick unboxing while you're sending the invites? Oh, oh, I sent them already. Oh, I got a, I got a box too. Oh, nice. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, go ahead. Let's let's see what's in your box. Hey, baby. So uh, <laughs> Gore Vidal, awesome community member. I've been chatting with him uh, through email. Uh, mm -hmm. he, he's not on Instagram yet, but we're going to get him there. Uh, he had a book that he wanted to send for me and my girls. He saw that we were watching E.T. And he's like, I have this. I think your kids might like it. But he sent a full box full of stuff. Oh, wow. All right, well, while you're, while you're opening that, let me just shout out the chat real quick. Uh, so we had John, who's in there, who, who's, what did he say? Foot fetish freaks for, <laughs> foot <laughs> fetish freaks? Hold on, that's a mouthful with a lot of Fs in it. Hold on, this is a big time word. Foot fetish freaks for friends forever. That's a new, that's a, uh, that's a t-shirt. It's better than just saying first. <laughs> oh, seriously, the thumbnail freaks me out. You know you love it. Uh, what's up, uh, Piercy? How's it going? Let's go. We got Rabbit in the chat. We got uh, Funk Comics, uh, One Two Comic Talk. We got Dollar Bin. We got uh, Think About Comics. We got Mark. How's it going over there? We had to talk about how Perry. Uh, hey, let's talk about that because that was one of my favorite videos. I, I did another one tonight. It was it was actually good. I made a joke in the chat, but it was really good. <laughs> uh, Samuel, how's it going? Fish in there. Um, how's how's meow? Uh, Comics Club, how's it going, man? Uh, let's see. We got Comic Games. Yeah, dude, this is cool. And we got Tom's. Let's see. Slim. I don't think I missed any. I don't know if Gore is in the chat. Is he in there? No, I didn't see him yet. I didn't see him. Nobody watches. So this is the book. It's called Letters to E.T. This was uh, basically there was an E.T. fan club. Kids were so into this movie that they would write letters to the fan club as if they were writing to E.T., the, the, the alien in the movie. And then they just published a whole bunch of them. So those are letters in a book. Yes. Well, That's aren't all books filled with letters, Perry, if you really think about it? Not, not, not adult entertainment magazines. <laughs> no, I'm saying letters of the alphabet. Yeah, I get a uh, picture book. Picture book. Technically, book. Your kind of books. <laughs> I mean, we all like picture books, you know? Some of them have words in them. Oh, my God. You're so one this is cool. Yeah, this is cool. And John and Sexy. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. We he we've ever no 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 hold on. We had an evolution of TJ not liking me to TJ slowly over the course of over a year. Now 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 he finally he finally. Not, I don't care about any of that. How come I don't get a cool adjective? He gets an adjective and I don't get an adjective. <laughs> Boomer John. <laughs> Boomer John is not my adjective because you still don't know how to count. <laughs> I put the title uh, Boomer's Welcome. All right, what else is in here? Ooh, this is a book uh, a movie that Perry would like the cover for. Ooh, what is this? Half Naked Lady. This is this is a, a foreign film called Wings of Desire. They remade it with Nicolas Cage called uh, City of Angels where he's like an angel on earth. That sounds cool. He's, I don't know. Yeah, so this is the original film, Wings of Desire. And I, I, I actually haven't seen this in a really long time. I don't own it, so it's, that's awesome that he would send that to. That's cool. Oh, and he knows me well, because look what's next. Daredevil. Oh, wait. That's, Daredevil. Uh, that's the Marvel. I have that. That's the David Mack cover? No. Uh, this one, yes. So yeah, this right? is I have the whole David Mack Bendis and Maliv yeah. run, and I told him I was collecting it, and he said he's collected it too and has extras, doubles. So he sent me some of those, as well as the Brew Baker run that followed mm -hmm. it, where Daredevil's in jail at the beginning. Ooh, he can't see the bars. Or... <laughs> He's at the wrong bar. <laughs> I don't even know what that. I don't even know what you're talking about now. In jail bars, you know. That's a cool look at that cover. That's a cool reflection cover. He, he goes to break out, and they're like, "Come on, Daredevil!" And he's like, I don't, "I don't know where you guys are." <laughs> oh my gosh, these are cool. So he he's a bigger fan of the Brew Baker run. So he's got a lot of those. Dylan in the house. Hey, what up, my guys? Man, 
Oh, uh, that's it's 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 almost like a Marvel zombie cover. Look at that. That's kind of cool. That is wicked cool. Wow. Dang. Oh, and I, that's more of them. Holy cow. Well, this is a pair. You wear this outfit sometimes, right? I've seen that. I you mean, have that jacket, right? I like Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, my Sunday man. attire. That's cool. I needed a ton of these. So huge thanks, Dar uh, Gore Vidal. I'm sorry, John, but I don't have as many Daredevil doubles. Dude, this is, this is awesome. All of these going into the collection now, going into the modern Daredevil box right there, man. What's up? Oh, my gosh, there's trades in here. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm trying to go quick because I don't want to hijack Perry's show. No, here. please do. Frank Miller, I'm Bill C.K. Electra. Look at that. Ooh, well, it's, 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 oh, wow. The Sinkevich covers for this Electra run are insane. Let's see if I can find a good, a good one right off the bat here. Well, I mean, that's a classic right there. That's fire. That is awesome. I've never actually read this story, so I'm I'm going to be definitely reading that. Ooh, Swamp Thing. I've never read any Swamp Thing. That's the Alan Moore. That's the original? Yeah, this is the original, original book right, one. Yeah. I have like a dollar book of Swamp Thing, but I've never read it either. Ooh, I, love the show, though. I love that first season. That's oh. a, I love. I'm a Whovian. That's awesome. I got a bunch. I've of, never read any. Have you guys watched? Ever watched Doctor Who? Never. Yeah. Never. He's he Doctor just Who. called himself a, a what? A, a, Something a, Perry has seen, but Dylan and I haven't. Seen that is older than you. That's that older than you. Rare. That's amazing. I'm a Whovian. I don't know what this is. Modesty Blaze, but look at her. That's why I think he's so excited for uh, Morbius because one of those doctors is in it. Yeah, Matt Smith. One of the that best doctors. OG. He made both high school. Cool. Come on. I don't know how about how Let's modest she there. looks right there. Modesty. Good Very morning. Nice. Ooh, what is What's this? Talk Warrior. Oh, wow. Yeah. John Trinity and... Uh, this looks like what Perry would draw if he was like, hey, what does a Native American look like? <laughs> Isn't that it's like a tomahawk? <laughs> that's Mr. That's Miracle Man, right? That's Miracle Man. Dude, these are awesome, man. Oh, and yeah. there's, there's there's two more. Oh, there's more in here. Oh my gosh, three more things. Three last things. All right. <laughs> That's a very hate there, Double. Uh, I love David Mack. I got Electra lives again. Ooh, there she is. That's Frank Miller. Frank Miller has some of the weirdest art, man. He does. Let's see if I can open to like a random page and find something. Yeah. Oh, she looks. Uh, there she is. Doing her thing, isn't she cold? She looks like she looks like she's squatting. You wear that outfit because you never get cold. You're just always hot. <laughs> the leaning girl. I've never heard of this. This is huge. The leaning girl. Like, she's hey, a drug addict. This is a trip. The girl that does lean. Never even heard of this. I'm gonna have to research this one. And then the six voyages of Lone Sloan. Mm. V for Data and Miracle Man first appeared in Warrior Magazine. That's cool, Gore. I didn't know that. Dude, brother, this is awesome. Like a ton of great reading stuff. Books that, that, like I you, need. John? that was awesome. Yeah, who was the uh, defender of this incredible collection? That Gore Vidal. He's in the chat right now. I'm going to find him. Chaos and Comics. I took me He's at the top oh, of the Gore page. Vidal. Yeah, he was. He, dude, he uh, was putting a lot of good input when we did that horror show with Ryan. He was, yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, he's always, he always has good conversations. He's in the chat a bunch. He was emailing with me. Is uh, This is way too nice, brother. What's up with all these oh. trades? Yeah, Gore Vidal sent me these hey. uh, these books, some issues of Daredevil that I needed, um, a ton of trades. I, I got reading material. He got a DVD. What, do you, what DVD did he send you? This is a foreign film called Wings of Desire. It was oh, okay. remade into an American film called City of Angels with Nick Nolte. I know oh, that's that. Right. Nick, Nicholas, Cage. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Okay. I know that name, City of Angels. Yeah, he's like an angel stuck on Earth, and he wants to know what it's like to be human. And so he's trying to find a way to, like, come back to being alive again. You, uh, do you, don't you read that money shot book? On I do. I got the newest issue, but Perry reads it too. He just he, he's going to put me onto it. John dressed up Girl, as Jesus. <laughs> he dressed up as Jesus Christ and opened up a money shop book. 
for the uh, that was, the that was God, but yes. Oh God, oh, God. yeah. <laughs> Trinity and Chaos, they wanted to talk about it, I think, uh, tomorrow on the show. And I was like, no, I haven't read it. But I read the first issue, like the first panel of that first issue. I'm just like, all right, this is about it. Yeah, I've got to read issue four right here. It's not really something I can review on my channel, but it's (laughs) – Yeah, I uh, I look forward to checking issue two out. Dude – I don't know what your read of the week was, but this book's amazing. I, it, oh, my Darth, Darth I agree. it was in my top Vader. three. I didn't, I, didn't get, I didn't get any Star Wars, so. Uh, man. But I hear good Darth things. Was Just my watch favorite. my video. It's literally the entire book. I know. I, I feel like I'm gonna get. A, I'm about to get a cease and assist from Marvel any minute now. <laughs> uh oh, Dan Pierce does not like something. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's Ooh. one of the ones I held up. <laughs> I'd say I'd say it's either like my second Tom favorite Baker. I love Tom. It Baker. might have been my second favorite of the week. Isn't that, that, isn't that Tom before. Baker right here? Yeah, I got his Sonic Screwdriver. That sounds really wrong. Nice. Because <laughs> I like right. both of these. I don't know. I, what, I don't know what Dan's Tom doing here. Yeah. Like these were like kind of a tie. Ant Man was pretty good. Yeah, I, I had fun with it. It it reminds me of because uh, you like Hawkeye Freefall, right? That's I do. It's there, that's, that's what great. like this exactly like what this is it's just i can't animated. believe nobody's talking about hawkeye because it's so freaking funny he got i'm, I'm i i ordered the I copies off of midtown because of dylan it's he, so he, funny yeah he keeps talking about it i was talking with um with bear island about it because he was reading it because i said something and then he's sending me all the he's screenshotting all the jokes when luke yeah. cage it, it, I'm maybe maybe luke cage, cage about his true. arrows and how expensive they are to buy because he's going around <laughs> collecting them after the fight yeah. and luke cage is like, Dude, how much does oh, this freaking arrow cost you know how expensive these are say like, let me go collect my arrows real quick he's like oh, wait God. luke cage is like baffled he's like dude do you know how much these things cost <laughs> i should do a review for that one i don't know That's why funny. i did it's really funny. And I, 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 even on our Wednesday show when we're picking our favorite word bubbles, I did the one in the first issue and the guy's like, Lomain me. Like the villain. The villain yeah. is like, he sticks out his hand and a henchman just puts Lomain in his hand. Yeah, he was the, I thought he was hilarious. In it too. The, yeah, the red hood, right? He's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, wait, no, I think it's just the hood. It's maybe. just the hood. Yeah, like, man, I forget. <laughs> um, what was so it? Funny. I remember he's like torturing that guy and then. Uh, Hey, did he, you invite Rob? Because he was hoping to come on. I sent him the invite. He was getting the the back the what was it the backstage ready? I don't know what he was doing. He was playing on the couch. <laughs> I love though an issue too. He like the hood blows that like he's like trying to torture this guy for information. Yeah, figure yeah. out he's like hitting oh. warehouses and he blows his head off and he's like, oh shit. I should have asked him like one que- one more question. <laughs> yeah, one more question. <laughs> it's like, damn, I should have thought of that before I blew his head off. And he's like, oh, we'll get somebody else. I'll ask that guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So did anybody figure what Dan Piercy hated? I couldn't figure well, it out. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. The X-Men Francis for a book um, reading. Um, okay, he's reading book. that, but that's not the one. He said, F that book. He must have been talking about Money Shot. I don't, I don't know. Did I you know, think- Money Shot was good. I liked it. I didn't. I saw you mention Marauders in one of your live streams. Marauders. It, it was my weakest issue of Marauders. This issue, yeah, it was the weakest issue, but I still liked it, and I still think it's better than most other comics yeah. that are out there right now. Facts. It was just the issue weakest six was amazing, but issue seven without Kitty Pride, you're like, yeah. I kind of want to know. And that was one of my kind of, but one of the things that bothered me about this is it's clearly out of continuity right now. Yeah, it belonged. Oh, it was like shot. it should have come out in December, basically. Yep, yep. I don't think he liked Money Shot. Money Shot was like a, it's like a funny read, you know. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, I mean, some, it's not for everybody. You know, comedy is one of those things. Some people like one kind of thing, and some people don't. You, you know, Who it's hard like to playing get with testicles, alien testicles. Wow, <laughs> that got really quiet. <laughs> Marauders was good. I don't think it was great this week. I just think it was it was not great because of some of the other things that were missing from this this week's episode or issue. I think I, I think it could have been really good. I did like the stuff where we get to see Bishop kicking butt, dropping that yeah. grenade through the Krakoa gate was so badass. Yeah, that was one of my favorite things. I think. The artwork also wasn't on point. Yeah. That's another thing. It wasn't bad, though, but it just it wasn't up to par with the other issues. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if they said that quite. Think about comics says uh, the F -Men, X Men said F continuity. <laughs> I think instead they just said like this is not. It's out of order. That that issue should have come before Kitty Pride uh, was drowned. It might have even should. It might have even come at the beginning of Marauders. It might have been. That's how far back in time it might be. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, Did you see TJ? Yeah. <laughs> it made up a little bit for the no, no, no kitty action or no Kate Pride action though in Marauders. It made up a little bit for it. I agree. Because I, I like seeing their uh, her and Franklin's relationship. Yeah, I mean Which maybe I it was in, maybe it was in continuity, mm -hmm. and it was like. Professor X was manifesting an image of her and sticking it in his head, <laughs> sticking yeah. it, making making everybody see it. I, I wanted to, if you guys didn't go to John's channel, you should probably leave this and go watch that video because that video was freaking awesome. Yeah. I, I literally couldn't stop laughing. It was really good. Just How long did that take? Like, just bounce. Um, so we'll yeah, like uh, it. I I mean, it's hard because like, it takes it takes me about a week or more to make one, but it it. The, the the time involved is probably just a few hours um but i just have to scatter it because i just don't have that much free time to edit a video just, just a few hours i have to scatter it um so yeah I, I i spent uh the last two weekends just shooting a bunch of stuff i've already got stuff shot for next week's video um but to to edit everything and then record the voiceover for the lego sequences so it takes a little while but it's i laugh the whole time because i think it's like <laughs> Listening to my Lego jabroni say "do do water," just that's what I meant. I'm telling him Perry when he's like telling me, he's like, "I don't know if I should upload this video." I'm like, "Dude, you're having so much fun with it. Yeah. Everyone can tell you're having fun with it, and they're just gonna have fun as hell with you, bro." So it's like, Definitely. do that shit, bro. And plus, it makes it even cooler because. It's like you're enjoying yourself so much, bro. So it's like, good edge. Keep doing I, I, it. I don't think I got to explain how many hours I put into that Darth Vader video. A bunch. You, you work way harder than I do on your videos. No question. <laughs> like, that was just, like, ridiculous. Like, I thought I was done. And then I looked. I'm like, oh, all right. Well, there's just no end in sight. This is just going to keep going on and on, you know? And then I tried doing another video tonight. And I got, like, almost halfway. And I started at 6. And it ended at, like, 10. And I'm like, all right. This is, like, this is ridiculous. Patrick Wall says his only critique was that Lego Rod was wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. But I will say I've been waking up at like 4.30 in the morning for some weird reason. And then I went, I've been going in and editing for like 30 to 40 minutes before I get the girls up for breakfast or whatever. Or, is it or start making breakfast, I should say. Have a good one, Mark. John, it was a brilliant Lego video and I concur. I thought they were all great. I like them all. The, the, the first one and the last one are probably the best. One. I'm going to the... try to include like a little Lego comic book community segment each week. Oh, so I'm going to have, I think, but the, the new format, I think, is going to be course. like start with Lego, start with Lego, John's Lego neighborhood, and then, then do a couple of reviews and then end with the hot take from the robot. I think that's kind of going to be my my that's system. Good. I mean, you just came out of left field with, with Nintendo 64. Oh, I was like, let's do this. Let's try this. I didn't even know if it would work. It was like, I don't know. And then Charlie, everybody seems to like Charlie with the mustache this week. It's pretty good. And she it's, does, okay, legitimately, she's done two videos now. She does zero, uh, she does one take. She writes zero script. There's no script. She just sits down and I push record. And what you get is what Charlie just does. <laughs> makes some great videos. So he's he's a little bit off. <laughs> yeah, so Charlie is Charlie is a is a bit of a I don't know a, a prodigy or something. I don't know what she's a video prodigy. She just sits there. She put that mustache on and just started doing a voice that she was imitating me. It just your your years of film school knowledge was absorbed into your children. <laughs> I guess. Genetic. I should do that. I should I should read Money Shot. I think I think that's a like a proper book for me to read. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a few books behind. I haven't read like three of my books this week. Yes, I can, Mr. Girl. I like to get my books done like that day that I <laughs> obviously I kind of have to for my review, but then it kind of frees me up to just read a bunch of older stuff throughout the week. Like Which seven. I've been trying to do. I'm trying to find a way to get like a, a video a week where I'm reading a trade. Because I've, yeah. I've been buying these trades and like crazy, and I just don't really need really enough of them. Yeah, yeah. Great I read a little bit off. 
That after, was the quote in the in the in video, video when I was like going into Perry's house. After you uh you got was it no, you didn't just get it, but you showed off that slab of God Country. Maybe it was 90 who just got the God Country issue. I think, yeah, somebody just won a, a, a slab of that one. Yeah. Where? Oh. Man, I wish I could have been entered in that. Man, I, I could have, I so I won mine. It was a yeah. sign 9.6 um from the symbiote club guys so that's like necro god comics and sasquatch 210 and and i got issues and those guys uh mr Garrell, and they did a little giveaway and i entered that and i i could i still can't believe i won that book because it's i have the trade signed by donny case and he drew the sword yeah. in the trade i was like this is freaking awesome Dude, that sword is so awesome. And he I, never draws anything, but he's like drawing in my trade. He he was at my LCS like two years ago, and he was oh, just he was signed. Everybody who got in line got everything they wanted signed, and then yeah. he was just hanging out afterwards. So I just I started buying trades of his I'd never read, and I was like, yeah, hey, I'm God Country, I'm just gonna buy this. And he's like, right. oh, let me draw the sword in it. That's so awesome. Ooh, yeah, I've been doing the same. I've been buying all his trades just to get I, him to sign them. I, I think Bueller knows his now wife. So I'm trying to go to Megacon to meet up with Bueller and be like, hey, Bueller, when I go to see Donnie, I want to go with you. That way it's like I'm not just some weird creep. Like I got like a little bit of clout with me. I got Bueller with me. You know what I'm saying? That way he's not like, oh, you're the weirdo that keeps sending me messages on Twitter of Venom tattooed on your face, huh? I'm like, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's closely connected. I I say she's the is woman. taking me with it. Ooh. You. I got a comic book cousins t-shirt. Heck yeah. ah! <laughs> that all black joint too. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. some of them are white. D D uh, Donnie's Donnie's wife is like important in the heroes and in hero initiative. She's like uh -huh. uh, in the management this now for the heroes initiative. So it's possible she'll start <laughs> appearing on. Uh, in things that the comic core does just because she's obviously a talented artist <laughs> but uh now she's got a an Did, uh, my boys um hero and the kid they sent me a message today did you see the what uh he tweeted well uh, uh, he's i don't there. follow twitter very well it's an yeah AMA. i don't either they he's a uh, guy he, he talked about his image title coming out called god hates masks Just like a, it's a new, it's a new book. It's not a sequel or anything. No, nah, a new image title. All right, let's see. Let me read it. God, it feels good to tease a new image comic book. Y'all aren't ready for this one, and I know a tease, and I know I tease a lot, but this one, this is insane. I don't even know if it'll work. It's so big. That's what she said. Maybe too big. That's what she's never said to me. But that's the fun, the danger, the mystery. God hates masks. Hashtag soon. Hey, talk about he's supposed to be a writer, and he's like, y'all aren't ready for this. <laughs> Is that he's from, that, he's from that's Texas? He's a Texas boy. <laughs> Yeehaw, we got a ten gallon hat. Y'all aren't. Maybe no. I guess maybe it was just the way Perry said it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Perry? I don't know, man. Oh, uh, he released new pictures. I know he released pictures of Thor three, and they look dope. It doesn't smell like a candle. I tried to see if I could get a whiff of something, but I couldn't get a whiff of anything. What do you, what do you JB, that? he likes to hang out in the garage. So I was like, All right, I'm going to get a whiff of some uh, some Californian grade um, herbs. But no, man, he sent me, he ain't sent me none, dude. I mean, allegedly, I don't think. Let me just make sure. It's not like a 50 second here or something. Man. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Hashtag disappointment. Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Dillonopolis. I like that one. Let's see. <laughs> Megan Hitchison, Black M Art. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's his, that's the one, right? I know her. Yeah, she she drew on that cover that we signed for Bueller last year. Uh Donnie yeah. released pictures of his new book. Oh, I thought he released pictures of something else. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, on his on that uh pi that issue three of Thor with the hammer and there's guts hanging off it. I think that's Galactus's guts and blood. Cause didn't he throw the hammer at Galactus and the yeah. whole fucking you know, you would think it would have some type of guts. Like purple, Start this like shit purple. already. I'm right. Trying. Purple, too. Let's see. I tried, but the government saw my interview with Neil Adams, and it won't let me parry as my punishment. Look, 
me and Bueller are in the same boat. I try to get the damn the damn uh, media pass, and then they sent me like this long ass message, and then in all capital letters, they're like, "You must at all times stand at least twelve feet away from all creators and celebrities." I'm like, "What you mean twelve feet? Why is it in capital letters?" I feel very insulted. This is crazy. You could have just said me like, "Oh no, you know, no, we can't give you a media pass." They're like, "Look, we know you're gonna come here. Stay your distance. Don't even don't even get anything signed. You know what? Just stay in the parking lot." Like they were they were really rude. But I'm going to go with Bueller. Bueller's going to raise some hell. John, you eat McDonald's? What you eating, John? <laughs> no, man. I'm doing a BLT with chips, baby. Mmm, BLT. All made. That's BLT. The way, that's bacon, the way to roll. Lettuce. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are tomato. you actually pretending that you don't know what a BLT is? No, I'm, 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 I'm saying BLT. Bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes. I was trying to see if I could put a sexual connotation on BLT, but... I I I was gonna say butt like big lady, titty. big lady titty, <laughs> big lady titty. John's having a BLT, guys. John's that's enjoying that's himself. That's my dessert. <laughs> Yo, I throw I throw some salt and mayo on that shit. Oh, bro, that's the best. <laughs> uh, I have to keep Dylan up on the Donny oh, news. Tomato. Uh, John, Hell sorry, yeah, video. Yeah. Charlie killed it. Yes, she did. Uh, but no, just, no, he ain't jo- chop his. I never. He his arm was just chopped off. Period. Yeah, it started. Uh, episode episode one. Issue one. When he landed, yeah, when he landed, he already had the nub. Uh, let's see. Thanks, Tony. She did it all in one take. Zero scripts or plan. There we go. No teleprompter for John. Let's see. They know Perry's a lurker stalker. They want to protect the creators. <laughs> I was messaging this company today about like that. They have like a racing chair that they sell. And so I was like trying to promote them on Instagram and stuff. And I was like talking to them on Instagram. I'm like, yeah, so if you guys send me a free chair, I could make a video, all this stuff. It just says scene like hours ago. Like they never responded. Like, damn, that sucks. <laughs> you know, I thought I was finessing my way to a new chair. And like, oh, yeah, but come on, man. You know, the people that, that, that like would really promote that chair, right? Are the ones with like 2 million followers and they're a gamer channel, right? Not a not a not a one thousand subscriber comic book channel. You never hey. know, you know. You never, you never know. know, you know. Like hey. I, 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 they were asking me like how many followers I have, so I added up on my Instagram, my Twitter. My <laughs> YouTube. Hey, I mean, added up how many numbers I got, how much money I got in my bank account, my checking. <laughs> Let's see, I, I'm you good. Yeah, have the BLT cut for you. I got the diamond. Hold on, I got the diamond retail summer pass Perry all access. So I could go with you and be, get all access. Is that no, what that means? I'm you're, you're gonna like go behind the red carpet, and I'm just gonna stand there looking at you like you son of a bitch. He's like gonna be like, I told you, you're not my son. I feel like I feel like we're gonna be standing at the door, and he's gonna be gassing me up, and then they're gonna let him in. And he's gonna turn around and be like, "Gotcha." <laughs> I'm gonna be like, "No, oh, yeah. let me in." <laughs> Someone help! I'm uncertain that Donnie that Donnie Gates would, would have uh, drew a sketch that he did for Kai uh, without his wife. Uh, let's see, John to complete the Frank Miller Double D story. Find Daredevil Marvel graphic novel by Frank Miller and Ben Schenkovich, 1986. It completes Electra's assassin. Electra lives again in 1990. Nice. Okay. Uh, so big lick testicles. Piece, right? There we go. You know. Big lick testicles. BLT. Big lick and testicles. Oh, yeah. Perry, where's your suit? It's it's behind me. It, 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 I need to get it washed. Uh, <laughs> we're at the stage where I'm like, all right, it's too hot in here to put the suit on because it's going it's going it's going to get crusty. It's going to be sitting like this. Now uh, let's see. <laughs> Hell no. What you mean? Hell no. Come on, man. Oh man, when Perry's ahead of YouTube, you'll be thinking about that free Jerry never got. Well, I'm telling people, man. All right, let me let me let me open this this song. Bit. Oh look. Pull tabs, you know, he doesn't just preach it, he practices. Oh, and look how easy that was to open. Oh my god. You know what I heard? I was on TikTok today and I was watching a video, and they said, If uh, why is a man like uh, uh, applauded for sleeping with multiple women, but a woman's a slut? And 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 this chick had the perfect analogy. She said, If you have a key and it opens every single lock, that's a really good key. But if you have a lock that's open by every single key, that's a bad lock. <laughs> all right, let's yeah. see what's in the Gemini mailer. I wanted to get that out there. And all women unsubscribe to pay <laughs> simultaneously. Oh, that's fine. All right, let's see what I got. Uh, I got I only got like two anyways. One of them's my mom. Oh shit, that's a Doctor Who. Oh, what's it say on there? 
Perry. Oh shit, I never paid for shipping. <laughs> I was supposed to pay JB for the shipping. I told him to wait. I told him not to ship these books until until I because I, I like I like the pop up shop. So like I could you could just hold them there. Bro, I, I told I told JB to hold them Sons of Anarchy books for me. And, and then he this gave them to two brothers. And then that's the A-OK okay he got me. This Yo, is what I was trying to get. Yeah, this is Usagi. One, isn't it? Huh? That's the Eastman. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. I think that is that Eastman? No. Might be the Eastman cover. There is the that Eastman cover is awesome. It really is. It that is. was like one of the coolest uh, uh the coolest. No, nah, it might it might be the C cover. I think the D one. The D, you know. I don't think D. it's the D. Is yeah, it the D? C. Could've the been D been. is Eastman, and I think that's the C. Oh, and I got this Bro, one in the mail. That, yeah, that one. That's the guy who did that Batman 850. The first. Chad, Chad 90 Miles says Perry would have TikTok. <laughs> Dude, TikTok's worse at boomers. For for 12 year olds, I agree. All right, look, that's what they said about Facebook, and then look at all the boomers. That's what they said Yo, about Instagram. Well, now that's what they said about Twitter. Boomers. Now it's only boomers. Oh, yeah, exactly, because y'all are always late. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, this is what I noticed. The older generation takes a big shit on the newer generation, and then once time passes, they finally give in, and then before they, 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 they're in there, they're like, damn, the boat already passed. You know what I'm saying? Locking Dude, keys. Hashtag Perry Fags. Johnson did that. <laughs> The Usagi, <laughs> it's actually the the incentive A cover. Yeah, it was a, it was an incentive because I, I got the Daniel A. And I think it was a regular B cover. Uh, what was it? Eastman did the incentive C cover, not the D. But I thought um, Daniel Warren Johnson did the cover. You got that one's still fire. That was my second favorite. I go with the Eastman first, but that one was fire. Making me pull the book out myself when you got I'll, I'll hold some bags, Bueller. I'm not even kidding, dude. <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, if I could go with Bueller and just tag along and be like like a fucking like, like that guy who holds this shit, and then the, the the they're gonna be like, Well, who's this guy? And Bueller's gonna be like, Yeah, he has a channel, no one really watches it. They might give me something for free. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> and if Bueller's recording content, I could be in the background of all his videos. So it's a win win, either way. Bueller, I'll hold your bags and uh, Perry. It's owned my Chinese bag. now. You guys mean his luggage, right? Yeah. <laughs> TikTok for thoughts. <laughs> oh, man. Just start Bird to Prey. Uh, Deadpool meets John Wick. A decent watch. You would like that wolf one. Uh, the beers are licking on Perry. Look on him. I'm hearing uh, a lot of good, good word of mouth on that movie. I just I don't have any interest. Which one? The Birds of Prey movie. <laughs> I I've been here mixed. Okay. <laughs> Maybe uh yeah, I heard it was like well, I just heard it was like somebody told me it was like five out of ten. I wish Bueller would come on. I never you know, get... This is what Bueller does. Bueller waits until there's like ten people left at the end of my show, and then he's like, I'll jump on with you. You know, he's like, I don't want no one to see that I'm on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I... really smart. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, did you read Lock and Key ever? Lock and key. Uh, I think I read the first two trades. Yeah, I don't think I got. I was getting them from my library. I, I have. I, I was way behind on it. I only. I'm on the second trade myself, but I was just seeing if you check the show out. It was I, cool. I, it, no, I haven't watched the show yet. My wife's not super into horror, so it's <clears> hard <throat> to get her to watch that kind of stuff. I'd say it's not even really horror though. From what I've seen so far, at least it, it really the book wasn't even really horror. It's more <laughs> thrillerish, if anything, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's horror, though. Yeah, but I think people who aren't horror fans don't really draw that distinction. Um, <laughs> They're just like, it's all have, one thing. Like you know? a magical thriller, if yeah. anything. But, I, I it's a thriller. but there's only one show worth sticking it's around. Like look, every well. other show on Friday night ends in an hour. I don't, maybe. I'm with Dylan. Dylan can talk for like 10 hours, so we're going to go as long as Dylan's like, yo, I got to stop talking. So it's like, this is the spot to be, because if you want to get invested in a Friday show... This is a pretty good show you want to get invested in because we're not going to leave really you in an hour. So my 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 buddy from SoCal is in the chat. That's Tank Collects. If you guys, he's got a really cool Instagram. He drops great uh, stuff over there. He's also got a, a sale channel. You can buy books from him. He, you guys, I I bought several books. I can Fair. verify he's an awesome guy. Um, but he's also part of that Symbiote Club I was mentioning earlier. So they, Tank Collects is an awesome guy. Oh, I know I know that guy. That guy, that guy used to do a, a weekly show with me reviewing comic books, 
and then he disappeared from the internet. I'm like, dude, what happened to my show? I know exactly what happened. It's called Twins. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You have twins, and your life changes forever. So he's got the tanklings running uh, around. Uh, I, uh, John, would you send Bueller the link for me? Bueller yeah. won't give me his number. I got you. I would ask Rod for his number because Rod's like, do you got Sam's number? No, I could talk to Sam. He got Bueller's number. I could talk to Bueller. You don't got nobody's number, Barry. And then, and then Bueller comes up and shows. He's like, I didn't get Rod my number. I did it. All done, Bueller. But you're, you might regret that decision, brother. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay either because uh, I got I to gotta bail here at some point. How do people? I don't understand why people send links on Instagram. How do you do that? Because I'm on a computer. And you can't go on an Instagram message on on the computer. Yeah, right. well, yeah exactly. You can copy and paste. I'm it just messing with phone, you, Tank. But like, it's a pain to get it back onto your laptop. It's kind of a pain in the butt. What I gotta do is I gotta either type it out like separately from the message, or I copy and paste it and just email it to myself. I've sent the links through Facebook, and they work pretty well too. Like, well, I got uh, a couple friends that do that, but I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not a big Facebook guy. I'm just messing with Tank. It was a really cool show because we had like the layout and everything, like all the books and stuff, and then we had like a star rating system. And now me and Dylan, we're like, we're like the scuffed version of that. We're like, yeah, let's just go on Streamyard and talk about shit. But you <laughs> know, I, I like I like Dylan's show too. Dylan, Dylan's cool, man. Uh, Hack, I'm gonna hit you up in your email. I'm recovering from the flu. Uh oh. Thanks, bro. You're all right. That coronavirus is legit. <laughs> Look at Bruce's face. I love Bruce's face in the thumbnail. <laughs> you saw birds too? You like what like kind of birds did birds? you see? Like actual like birds? The the movie? movie? Probably the movie, yeah. Oh, like, oh, oh birds of prey. Oh, birds of prey. Oh, birds of prey yeah. I thought he meant birds. That makes yeah. more sense, birds of prey. Hey, that I'd probably prefer to watch the movie. Is awesome, though. You ever see that, John? That one's so good, bro. I love anything Hitchcock. I'll, I, 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 th I still think I one of the best thrillers ever made is rear window that movie is freaky cool and that's why it's been ripped off by everything from the and... i know that name because i like i used to get on big kicks and i would watch even the hitchcock show it was like oh, kind yeah. of twilight zone but it was hitch or what was alfred hitchcock presents or something yep. Yep. <laughs> my sister loves him and so does my mom like i grew up watching the bird i think i think rear window is one of those movies that like you you could it holds up Come because on, it doesn't man. require any leap of faith like it's just it's 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 so personal and quiet and simple like in those it's just in that one little apartment the guy can't get out the, the he his big weapon is a camera it's super it's just legit it's so good Bruce, so, wow. he, he met a so he met his first fan. So he goes to Midtown Comics yep. to pick up his weekly, I saw that. his weekly books. And he was in there and someone's like, Hey, you're the guy from YouTube, Bruce, right? And he's like, Yeah, that's me. What's up? And he's like, I, I watch your videos. And he's like, Holy shit. And they started talking. They took a picture. And I was sitting there and I was looking at it. I'm like, That's so cool. The first person who recognized me, I was the most awkwardest, weirdest thing. And he probably unsubscribed as soon as he got home, you know? <laughs> we all do, Perry, at one you know? time. Really. You know he, goes, I mean? he actually goes to Midtown to get his weekly books, though. Yeah. That's crazy. If, you you know, know, if you're in that neighborhood, why not, right? You got to look out for that. Donny Cates. Ooh, old Perry. I agree. That's a great movie. Right? I'm by the Donny rope. Cates, and I'll oh. buy it. So that was a movie that Hitchcock tried to make look like it was all shot in one long take. The Rope? It was called Rope with Jimmy Stewart, and so he'll do he would he would do these really long takes with actors talking and whatever's happening in the action, and then the camera would kind of go behind somebody's back and they would cut, and then the next shot would start right behind that back and come out the other side, and so like the whole movie looks like one long shot when it's all done. And this wow. was in the days when you couldn't like do long shots; you didn't have digital filmmaking, so you couldn't. He would have to like stop, and then if they liked that take, you know, put a new you know roll of film on the camera and do it again. This is a good movie. Film school, John. It's freaky, man. It's all about these hey. two kids that think that they're they're so rich they should be allowed to get away with murder. That nice. like that murder doesn't apply because the wealthy shouldn't be charged with crimes. What? So they kill somebody and then invite his family over for dinner and act like they don't know why he didn't show up for dinner. And the whole time they're eating dinner on a table with the body in the table. And wow. James Stewart is their old professor, their philosophy professor who planted the idea for this in their minds. So the whole night they're kind of having these philosophical debates with him about class and how class, you know, value and money should work. And he's starting to under, you know, the whole movie is him slowly realizing what they've done.
Wow. Super creepy. That sounds awesome. I was going to say, you made me watch a movie that took place in one room. Literally, I watched an entire movie for like, what, two hours? Yeah. And it was fucking awesome. It was what fucking movie? awesome. Uh, 12 like, Angry 12, Men. 12 Angry Men. It was fucking... And, and, and basically, I, rope is the same way. It's all in this apartment. You see, that the very opening moment is them killing this guy, and then the rest of it takes place when they they're hiding the body. People are coming over. They're acting like they don't know what's going on. It's all basically in one room. There you go. That new Hawkeye was pretty dope, Dylan. I yeah. do agree. Fallout. It's good. I really I love the second issue better though than the first. Like they were both good, but I really love that second. But one. if there's one thing I've learned, like from doing book club, and, I, and it's probably not a lot, but if there's one thing I've learned from doing book club, issue number ones are freaking hard, and yeah. they, and and for 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 the big guys, the DCs and the Marvels who are just trying to pump them out, they work way too they work way too hard to get those issue ones right. And the problem is, so many editors messing with them. There's been so many books I I go back to later, and I'm like, oh, issue two is three were so good, I should have stuck with it, but issue one was such like. A frustration that I just passed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Book club is whoa. I, I read this book. This is really cool. Oh, it's eleven. It's eleven o'clock. Let's see what John and uh, and Alec are talking about. And it's like, oh, let's find every bad fucking thing about this book and highlight it, and then quickly brush over the good. <laughs> That's not yeah. quite, but I I get what you're saying. Yeah, my, yeah, point yeah, is, yeah. my point is issue ones, which is most of what we review, are really hard for the big publishers to get right. Because the sure. editors spend way more time fussing with them. And then the second and third issues, I think the editors back off and the writer can do and the artist can do more of what they want. And the comic generally gets better. So, like, I didn't like Daredevil issue number one. And I decided not to get issue two. But then I I went back later and I got two and on and on and on. And I've been loving it. Hey! Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. What's you up, brother? My favorite oh, Justin Bieber Friday night. Over his shoulder. It's uh, Lois. Uh, sorry, it's Superman and Wonder Woman kissing and... and uh, Jim Lee nailed it. The art is so good on that cover. Barry, you hating on my boy Meta? <laughs> no. How do I have four dislikes? I want to know who's trolling everyone's videos. Dude, I, don't, I get two. I, don't I get like two like dislikes that. on every video. It's man. probably coming from Arizona. <laughs> John, are you uh, are you getting undone by? <laughs> book? Don't Next tell week? me anything, John. We're talking about that. <laughs> What's that? Undone by blood. weren't we talking? Oh, about I'm gonna that? get that next week. No, I, I don't know it. It's a Western indie. I forget. Uh, I think no, it no, I don't know anything about it. The aftershock. You didn't. You haven't heard about it. No. So um, I have this. I have this cool new video what? where I, I, I go <laughs> over every book that's coming out next week. I don't see anyone doing a video like that yet. So Wait, it's actually pretty cool. What kind of video? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing there, Mister B? I seriously didn't hear hear what you said though. <laughs> Are you talking about the weekly books? He's having, no. a, little, he's having a little fun with Mr. Bueller. Yeah, fuck with Bueller. Because uh, Bueller has a video where he, he previews all the books that come out next week. Uh, and this week, I was like, well, I need more watch time on my hot books for next week. How can I make my videos longer? Why not just talk about every single book that's coming out? So, yeah, I, I don't know. Let's see how that goes. You yeah, know. good luck with that, Perry. <laughs> That video is really uh, well refined, so it'll t it'll it take. It was you long. good, you know. I mean, I don't understand because I literally copied your entire title word for word, and it, I, I thought it would have blew up. Well, I thought I would have got the Bueller bump. My only suggestion would be to put my name in your tags. <laughs> oh wait, you already do that. You already do that. That's right. There the you go. Son. All my biggest the videos in my analytics, all my biggest videos, it says <laughs> the source of traffic came from Comics with Bueller. <laughs> <laughs> I literally get a Bueller bump in all my videos. I have Comic Tom 101, I think, on every one of my videos as a tag. <laughs> there there so. you go. Yeah, he, yeah, uh, I shared. It's related content. I shared the it thing. Makes sense. For the uh, thumbnail, and he shared it, Tom, and I was like, "You should come hang out." It's related the same way a chimpanzee in red. You thought it was Perry's show. I'll go in there and I'll type in like my name on the Google search, and like Perry's video is like the third one down. Like, what the hell is this? Why is this showing up when I directly type in my name? I go and I click on it, and I look over at the tags, and sure enough, Tom Tom One Hundred One. 
uh, comics of Bueller. Or, <laughs> comics or, explained. Yeah, comics historian. Hey, man, we're all. I look, man. I do content that relates to all of them. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna get as much cloud as I can. <laughs> they're, they're, they're related the same way you're related to a chimpanzee, brother. <laughs> hey, whatever works, you know. I'm getting like one one fifth. No, no, I'm gonna get like one twentieth of what Bueller gets. You know what I'm saying? So if I get it, man, I'm gonna keep that going. You know, that's all I got going for me. <laughs> you need it's to true. make a preview video and just say every single book is a key. That's that's the secret right there. A key, yeah. key, every every single one. I've seen his keys video every once in a while. I'm like, that's a key. <laughs> Literally, my, my look, look. So there's people that make a video like on Wednesday of all the keys coming out next week, which I don't know how they know that. But you go I wait for I wait for the no, you can't you can't see the keys because you don't know. You know, when you're going over every freaking independent and like you look at this cover, it's a key. It's a key. I'm like, get out of here. It's not a key. Come on, man. It's like 30 books a key issue every week. No way. That's why I only do five. Five keys. And I wait for key collector to like verify everything. Yeah. You uh, see, John, John this video out. dropped like within hey. like like 45 minutes after key collector <laughs> updates their weekly keys. It's like boom, there's there's Perry's video 45 minutes later. Tom does the same thing. Yeah. Key collector drops the hot 20 list, and then Tom comes like an hour or two later. That is you know? not the same thing. That is very different. Oh, right? is that not the same thing? It's the exact same thing. They give him the list so he can make his video edited. I pay for the app, the so they time. give it to me. <laughs> well, that's the difference. Tom doesn't pay for the app. Well, Tom, look, Tom said, I'm going to give you free access to the app. I'm like, all right, cool. That was like three months ago. So I'm yeah, waiting dude, for it. Yeah. I'm tired of paying $1.99. You're going to be waiting for a while, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Just oh, like, uh, just like he's waiting for that, uh, for that, uh, what was that? That, uh, paragraph that you're supposed to write out for the, uh, for the blog. <laughs> he's still waiting for that. Look, I, I did a, who are they video for Donnie Cates. And he's like, yo, have it on the blog before the 15th. I'm like, I could do that. Fine. I go to upload January 14th. And what do I see? Fire Guy Ryan. Where to start with Donnie Cates? I'm like, what the fuck? There goes my whole damn article, man. So I got I to gotta think of something else, you know? I only have so many ideas. This Harry, is very true. You think that Darth Vader book will be uh, worth anything since Padme came back in that bitch? I have no idea. Probably not, honestly. I would hope. Well, so. Five bucks. That's what I was hoping too. Five dollars. Like five dollars, not the most. Yeah. So cover price. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, they especially when they always lose lose their uh. Their books, books are only worth what they say on the cover. What the what, hell? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> When he leans back, we get a full sprite. That's not worried. Yo, please don't lean back. No, no, he's like watching TV. He's like, I'm not watching your show, Perry. I'm just I, I've man. seen the chest. Now I get to see the rest. Uh, you see everything right now, man. I was, trying, I was eating some ramen noodles. I knew you were eating ramen. Well, you Are know. you giving out free hugs, Rod? But well, that's how I do, man. Whenever my wife is around. And we hang out together, and I, I rock out this shirt, and I was kidding with her. Uh, we spent like 30 seconds, well, not 30 seconds, 30 minutes with the, each other after work. And then I said, hey, babe, somebody said they wanted a hug. She goes, who was it? I was like, doesn't matter. Perry. So went, yeah. And I was like, maybe some gay guy from Walmart. I got, I got kind of scared, man. So, I like, I why are they gotta be from Walmart? <laughs> what? Why does that distinction have to be made? But you know what? He was, Yo. you know, he was like, I get it. I was there out the door. And well, man, we got people everywhere people in cars, people on their couch watching TV. What's up, Kim? Who, who's in a car? Who's in a car? You're in a car. We got one guy in the car. We are you driving? Car. Car. Are you doing it Uber Uber driving around and uh, picking people up? <laughs> no, Perry. no. Perry's my, gonna be my Red bad, Sox. Bro. My Red Sox fan friends are supposed to come drink beers with me, but they're not showing up. I think they think they're on East Coast time or something. I don't know. That's because they're wicked. So. That's cheating. That's yeah. They're cheating. That's what they're doing. Yeah, that's what they're doing, and we stole their best player. So, but. Yeah. 
Yeah. Eh. Eh. Po up, Perry. Po up. It's not. It's not. It's not. What are you doing? By the way, Darth, this Darth Vader comic is the first Star Wars comic I ordered like online, and I'm waiting for it to get sent. So it's not the one I like grabbed off the rack, and it was impossible to stay away from spoilers for that. Yeah. And Don't watch my video. It spoils it. I did, motherfucker. No. But uh, <laughs> it was awesome. It's fine. It's fine. I already know what's gonna happen. That's not Jar Jar Binks. It's not Padme. It's just we need to get out of here. Jar Jar though. But uh, Jar Jar yeah. with a gun. How cool is that? That was awesome. Yeah. He looked like Han Solo too. He had like the Han Solo get up. I was hearing Greg Pak wrote something like that. I keep seeing in the in the chat. They're like it's Padme's sister. So what? She's got a twin sister now, or is it Kira Knightley? Well, she blew up. Remember? Didn't she blow up? One one of her like the body doubles blew up in one of those movies. Oh, oh yeah, in the yeah, movie. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was her body double though. Yeah, yeah. she. I never, okay, I never okay. really t- could tell the difference. What do you say, Ka- Bruce's giveaway? What happened? <laughs> he said chaos. A okay to be Bruce's giveaway, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I get a giveaway? I didn't know about. <laughs> you might have. Didn't you get a giveaway yesterday? Yeah, yeah. rigged. I won. I won two brothers. Hashtag rigged. Hashtag yeah. rigged for sure. Rigged. Well, it, it, in Two Brothers' oh. channel, it's rigged for my benefit. On your channel, Perry, it's rigged to my not bad. Be- how, hey, how does a guy comment on every video you do and it's not even on the wheel? I don't know. How do I buy a lot of tickets? <laughs> all right, all right, look, man, you'll get on the wheel. You were on the wheel the first wheel. Yeah, they yeah. Fuck the wheel. On Longbox Diamond channel, the first time it did a, a giveaway, man. You were trying to use all your internet stuff, man. Longbox Island. Perry. He was trying. Oh. Yeah, man. He was trying to cheat. And uh, you know what? We, we both. Hey, if play. I ever. I want everyone to know right now if I ever do a contest, it's 100% rigged. Like, I'm. Yeah, it's just. It's, <laughs> it's not real. I'm going to win. Yeah. Dude, this movie is insane. He's gonna make a second account and it's himself. Honestly, I have like four I have like four accounts. I got John I think I got John over a thousand with my sports account. Boom. Making magic happen. Yeah. So uh, what are you watching, Rod? What are you watching, Rod? You got mail or sleepless in Seattle? Uh, Dylan's like you're so busy at all those accounts. (laughs) Yeah. Because I'm trying to get to 400, bro. Can we go on a chain? Whoa, man. This movie is coconuts. What movie? <laughs> What's the movie, Rod? Django on a chain. What the hell? Who put me on Soto, I... man? Django. Oh, Django. Django. Isn't that a movie that they... Uh... No. Yeah, behave, Perry. What do you mean Seriously? behave? I'm trying to I'm trying to That's remember right. the movie. That's the movie with um. I hey, don't say hey, Bueller, Bueller's on a chat on another stream. <laughs> or not? <laughs> what are you doing, Travis? Huh? What are you hey, doing? You're, I'm you're looking. Gonna... I'm looking at stuff, man. I'm multitasking. I'm hearing you. He, he's going to read his contest, all that good stuff, and <laughs> Rod's watching. This is like when my this uh, is like when my wife asked me if I'm paying around. attention when I'm on my phone. <laughs> Dang, Django, welcome to 2009. <laughs> That's funny. I've never seen it. i still never seen it. Of course you haven't seen it, Perry. Oh. Uh, you're so behind in your freaking movies. I'm behind in my comic books, but it makes it even. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how that works, but okay. I'll right. do the math later for you guys. <laughs> Somebody commented um, on my video, like, wow, now we know that Perry actually read a book this week. Because <laughs> I literally read the book. Oh, man. It's always, we're always excited when, you, when you're when you learning how to read. It's exciting to see the it, progress. Hey, when I when I watch a Perry review, I'm like, oh, Jim Mint said that. Bueller said that. <laughs> John said that. <laughs> no, like I've, I've, I've heard this review before. <laughs> It's not true. Perry it's makes the best recycled content on YouTube. Yeah, per- hey. Perry is like a Perry's like a li- like a newsletter where you just get links. <laughs> Look, you can see there's like people with like hundreds of thousands of, of subscribers, and all they do is just regurgitate what the next guy did. So I'm like, fuck that. I'm gonna go ahead, you know, and do that. You know, draw from 
draw inspiration from everybody else in the community and then make something unique, you know, like a crock pot. Well, when I was on Dylan's channel, who just disappeared, he probably has to go hit the pipe. Uh, <laughs> when I was on, <laughs> when I was on Dylan's channel, he was, and, uh, and uh, Comic University was on there. He's all, I know for a fact those bigger channels go and find smaller channels. Like, they're on all the time and editing. They, for a fact, go find, like, thousand sub and below channels and see what they say. Because they've already said everything too much, you know, that kind of thing. So, I don't know. I don't know what I think about that, but. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think, because when I look at people that are in our, because I don't watch bigger channels anymore. I see people like us who we read a book the, the moment it comes out and then we see all these reviews start coming out but they're all from people like under a thousand subs and then i'm like i don't know man i, I feel like a lot of these bigger channels they, they be they be watching our our small channel videos and they just uh, say the shit we, we say read two because we know a thing or two man Rod, right, you read, read it do, man. Rod's Ryan, still in 2019 <laughs> yeah <laughs> What the hell? Trying to name Rob You're doing a promo. Do the promo, Rod. You got to stand up and do the jabroni flex. Oh, you yeah. got to stand up. Come on, oh, man. That was like a jabroni flop. Nope. Nope. Not happening. Nope. You're in a perfect position to do some salsa. I'm not doing that. Come on, man. You where can't stand up. Jets? Where the where are the super chats? You got a chubby? What's going on? <laughs> you got a chubby. I got my short shorts on. It's not happening. How short are they? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, no, 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 no. Go watch our uh, John, John Comic with kids. Last Are there like track shorts? Right now, still <laughs> legal action figure is pretty dope. And you know what? You want to see what Perry's wearing on there? He got some underwear. But you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You know, I had to do that uh, shit though, Perry, for the look, team. Look, look, work people. it, Rod. Work it, Rod. <laughs> work it, Rod. <laughs> Right how, you, how, how can you right watch Django Unchained? What the hell was that? He just took like a bag of chips. Something up. Oh, you know. Hey, Perry, you dropped that link in the chat, right? Yeah, I could do it again. No, I'm just saying, like, you're going to get swarmed. I'm going to bail out of here. You can throw other people I am in. not going to get swarmed. I know this show, man. I know this show. Nobody <laughs> watches this show. What are you talking about? Literally, <laughs> my entire audience is on the panel. Probably. Hey, John's. John's trying to be a parent, asshole. Like he's just trying to be nice. John's like, no one's home. It's my no, time. No, we're in bed. I'm trying to bang my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Oh, John's got to. John's about to go bang his wife, guys. Look at that. Yeah. It wasn't anyone on this chat. It was his wife saying it in the background. He's standing right over there, going. She's like, "Come on, yeah. you got to get that mustache over here." <laughs> With that beard, you know, a little little snail jelly, jellyfish action. Yeah, bring <laughs> the Lego, bring the jabroni what? Lego. Wait, what? The hell? Are it's you been a while for Perry. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> snail jellyfish. <laughs> no, you guys gotta go. Only eat my ramen and watch this movie. <laughs> Man. Man. Oh my God. Right, cut a promo. Cut a promo. Cut a promo, man. You know what? Everybody in the place to be right now. These people right now drop out great content. All you gotta do right now is click their channels on the side, on the you know the link below, and all that good stuff. All right, and then you see it, it just drops down. Click the channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is going. Hey, this is going on your year-end video, Perry. <laughs> You know, suck it, man. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's we got we to right gotta, gotta suck it from Rod. Sound bite. Suck it, man, but you know what, man? Three hugs and suck it. You are awesome, man. All you got to do Rod's is... Rod's the best. Everybody in the house. Mr. Buter is the man. Thank you so much for everything you do. Uh, whatever. Bye. El Travis. Don't be... See, are, are you leaving? Don't be leaving. I want to... Oh, my damn, the ramen... I want. I want to. Before any of you guys leave, I want to show you guys something really quick. Okay, uh -oh. so it's, it's a sneak peek, and like oh. Perry said, nobody watches this, Pretty so much. it's. I I feel okay showing this stuff on this channel. Okay, I don't want to get banned. <laughs> is is that all right? I don't want to no, get banned, Bueller. No, this is this is all good. This is all good. So 
Monday is the episode 70 of the copy video. It's uh, my two year anniversary. Ooh, okay. Wow. And I have giveaways for that show. And I want to show you guys some of the giveaways. Oh, do it. Okay. Hey. The ones I have, one of them is a full, huge, big, huge box of Max Pro supplies, dividers, backing boards, you name it, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. That's one of the prizes. Another prize, one of my favorite books I talk about is Midnight Vista. And I have number two autographed by the artist Clara Meth. And number five, also autographed by Clara Meth. She actually sent those to me for the giveaway, which is great. Wow. Another thing, which is on the way, it's probably not going to make it here by the time we film, which is kind of <laughs> fun. But uh, you guys know Shannon Muir? Yes. He is sending me his original, or not original, he's sending me his very first cover he ever did autographed uh, for a giveaway, a total donation. It's in the mail right now. It's on its way. That'll be a giveaway. So that's really cool. It's I can't remember the title, but he's sending that to me personally. It's autographed. That's going to be for the giveaway on Monday. And then this thing right here is a print that is signed by Robert Kirkman, Tom McFarlane, Eric Larson, uh, Mark Silvestri, uh, Eric uh, Stevenson, and Jim Valentino. Mm. This is a giveaway as well. That's cool. All autographed by all the image founders. That is amazing. I want to get it. that. So That's that, really cool. Can so I those enter? four things so far are all different giveaways, and there might be another one. I'm still working on it. It's another big one. Um, but uh, these things, plus the Shannon Muir autograph, uh, his very first cover ever he did, that book sells for like $700. Wow. And he, he just sent it to me. So Monday, you're going to want to watch. Yeah. I love the copying comics video. I watch it. Uh, I watch it while driving on the way to work and then, then finish it at work. If you guys That's don't know, do there's, there's <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina is slowly leaking through Bueller's background. Oh, come on, man. Good We're Lord. seeing a little bit of the wall. <laughs> nope. I don't have the green screen up. Dude. I can't show it. All right, guys, I'm bouncing out of here. Have a good night, Mr. John. Enjoy laying on the pipe. John, the plumber. <laughs> John the plumber. Bring, Bring the Legos. Let me eat my ramen and watch this Jenga movie, man. What the hell, man? Check me off. <laughs> have, have a good night, Rod. Oh, look, it's me. Um, we, hey, we did have, we did have um, um, Mr. Bruce and Stephanie there, and, and they left. I think they, they were like, you know what? We waited too long. Also, Screw these also guys. pipe laying. Also, yep, pipe lane. So. They drink a bunch of IPAs today on their show. Oh, gonna, he's gonna lay the pipe tonight. Friday night pipe. Oh, yeah, that's a good they, show name. Friday night pipe. Friday night sounds like a Super Mario based show. I don't want to uh, be on that show. <laughs> <laughs> Unless uh, you're starring. Not with three other dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you this know, is true. You get what you this get. is true. Friday night Me pipe too. sausage fest. Sounds yeah. <laughs> With with candles, <laughs> no family members. No family alive. members. CNC oh. great. What did I say that was great? Everything. What I feel what, like what everything I say is great. Everything. Yeah, you you got to cite the thing that you thought specifically was great. Ugh. What are you drinking? Whiskey. I don't know how people drink alcohol. It burns every time. Oh, whiskey is delicious. Yeah, but it hurts. Man, I'm like in the parking lot of a bar right now. <laughs> no, that's the saddest thing I've heard all night. Are you on a live stream with us? He's like, I want, I'm, I'm on a live I want a live stream. I was waiting, I was waiting for friends, but like the beer, like at my, what I'm trying to say is that at my house, the whiskey and the beer is like there. But like if you're in the parking lot of a bar, even in Vegas, you can't drink in the parking lot of a bar unless it's on the strip, right? So like you're drinking whiskey and you're complaining. What I'm trying to say, I know that sounded like very like uh, either degenerate or sad. What I'm trying to say is that I'm not <laughs> drinking and I should be. <laughs> the friends never came, so he came to us. <laughs> this oh, is true. Man. This is true. Red, Red Sox fans, they're mad at me. Like if I, if I made that trade. <laughs> Oh, well, you're you're always welcome with us, you know. 
you know. Even, no, they're they're actually in there. They're actually in there, but fuck them. Exactly. There's a better you way. Bailed to on them. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit in a car in the parking lot. They're gonna be like, "What the hell is Chris doing? Just sitting in the parking lot." Yeah. <laughs> He's a sad story all around. <laughs> Oh, I got funny. I got the Gwyneth I got the Gwyneth candle burning Ooh, in the let's background. Let's see that. Let's see that candle right there. You got that little. Uh, you got the oh, Gwyneth candle. Yeah. You got some scallops nah, in good. the air. Nah, that'll get your dog in the mood. <laughs> Pumpkin one. <laughs> Yo, this guy. I swear, Dylan always got peanut butter next to his dog. I don't understand why. Always <laughs> <laughs> got. Pe- uh, let's see. That, <laughs> that was one time, Barry. <laughs> And I judge. tripped and I fell. And I... <laughs> my it friend stood <laughs> stood me up at a parking lot. Someone to bar on YouTube talking to comic books. Hey man, that's a pr- that, I would I mean, yeah. be talking comics. Hey, hey Patrick Wall. Yes, this is. I mean, they didn't stand me up. They just were late. They're in there now. But realistically, like, he was got... supposed to buy the next round of drinks, and he's like, "Whoa, I gotta I go outside out, real yeah. quick." <laughs> oh, my wife's calling me. My wife's calling. I gotta go talk <laughs> yeah. about. Uh, James Tinian Batman. <laughs> You'll hear him start knocking on the window. He's going scared. I, I, yeah, I love my I love my credit card at home, guys. Well, let's be honest. Let's be honest. If they knocked on the window, it would be weird. Cause like the reason there's a comic book community is because we're all not we're all we all don't have friends that read comic books. And so we're all like 30 or older and found everyone on YouTube. That's the that's the basic story. And and Dylan's like the youngest comic book reader I've ever met. I'm almost Harry too, I guess. I'm gonna be yeah. 27 in March, I think. Yeah, but 27 that's in March. Down, that's what I'm it comes down to. So, April. so if they knocked on the window, it would be weird. I'd be like, "Oh yeah, I'm on my YouTube stream about comic books, bro." That'd be. They'd be like, they go back inside and they're like, "Who invited him? What the fuck are you talking?" Yeah, about? yeah. Why are we this guy's fucking friend? Yeah. What are you? What are you smoking out in the car, bro? <sighs> Dylan looks like the guy from Road Trip. Dylan looks like a lot of people. Dylan, Dylan has a look. Get out of here. That's the new guy, bro. Come on. <laughs> He's got the peanut butter. Chip, hey. Scarpad, hey. you got a dog? Hey, he's the one who brought it, not me. <laughs> he's Scarpad's got dogs, too. Yeah. Oh, we can't, we can't hear you. Do sign language. Subtitles. Here, you talk. Oh. I'll do the voiceover. Uh, my dog prefers Chunky, but this is what I got. <laughs> Hello? No, okay, no. It worked fine when he jumped yeah. on Wednesday. Is a, he, this time he's wearing headphones. So. Hey, God Tank changed his picture. He did. I noticed that when he commented on my video. Oh, thank, wow. you for, thank you for watching my video. Hey, that's Thanks. messed up, Agu. I look way better than that guy from Road Trip. Van Winkle? They used to call me a uh, Periwinkle. Oh, that's that just because it matches. DJ Qualls, Dylan? Huh? Huh? Are you talking about DJ Qualls? Yeah, yeah. yeah. God. I just, I now see it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? It clicks now, but but in the legit TV series, not in the road road trip one. Oh my god! If you've give ever me, seen give me one, a he's in a wheelchair, guy. he's paralyzed. Oh, give me the new guy at least when he try when he's like trying to be like a badass. <laughs> he's a badass in the legit TV series. You'll like that one. I'll have to check that out because I actually do like him. He's funny. He's just paralyzed from the weight or neck down. Oh my god! Oh, damn. But he's got a big Johnson. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Hey, that's all you really need in this world. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, that black chick in, in the road trip movie. <laughs> that's <vanilla> ice. <laughs> Would you kill a cheetah? That's vanilla ice. <laughs> Perry or her, Dylan. Nolan Craig's oh, my, my favorite thing about Bueller is that if I had a background like Bueller's, it would be the same. It would be like a whole bunch of facsimiles. I'd do right. the exact same thing. That's right. Oh, dude. those aren't I, real? I, I those, aren't, those, those aren't the original? You, I think well, some most, most of them. Yeah. Except for the amazing fantasies. You have all these people. Except for the big book. Oh. <laughs> or then gi- in the giant the giant size X-Men. That's real though, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought yeah, it was. You keep them you know, just enough distance so you can't see the no. price tag. 
Absolutely. Like, they're all real. They're all real. They're all real, yeah. They're yeah, all not from fake. Marvel. You know what I mean? They're not like, uh, they're not holograms. Yeah. One just may or may not be a reprint. Look at all these 181s. Which one is the real? Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, all of them? I think no, just one. one left. Just, just one of them. Just one. <laughs> I think good. all the way over to the left. They look I good. used to think, like... I used to think 181 was rare until like I joined this community. It seems like everyone but me has one. They're all over the place. And Dylan. Yeah. yeah. I'll never have one. It, it seems I like the, the most sought after grail in a way. Like it seems like almost everyone who's got like a thousand dollars or more just buys that book. Yeah, or, it's like or the most sought made okay to them. I would say it's sought after and gettable, right? I mean, obviously yeah. everyone would want an action comics number one, but I mean People were using that as toilet paper in World War II, so it's just not out there. But uh, like 181 is gettable, I guess. What for? What's up, one two? What up, one two? It looks like they're making the rounds. Let's see, second to the left. I don't get it. I'm very second confused. to the left. Oh, the 181. second to the left. 181. Oh. The that's one that doesn't say 399 on it. That's, that one, that's, that one right that's, there. that's, that's the one I said. I yeah. called it. I said I was like, the, well, it's probably the right. I can only one. see one. Yeah, the, gl the glare's on them too bad, but there's I like know. three facsimiles and one real one. And hey, which is the, the amazing most. Hey, which is the amazing fantasy that Chad sent you that you cracked open? Which one was that? I don't know. I'm just asking. I see a bunch of amazing fantasies back there. Well, you wouldn't. That. Never mind. You know, Chad, Chad is the one that oh, won the torpedo. Amazing. Chad yeah. RCG. Oh, he Bueller won? clearly didn't know that. I didn't know he. Oh, won. you didn't know it either. I didn't know that he won it. Holy shit! Chad RCG. I mean, basically, the reason we all know him, he was opening boxes. I mean, I guess we would have known him anyway. But he's the one that won the torpedo Amazing Fantasy in December. Wow, Ooh, that's man. awesome. So get this. I thought I told this story to you on your channel. Maybe it was on uh, JB's. But Torpedo sent it just like a normal box. Like he came home one day, Amazing Fantasy, uh, slabbed. First appearance of Spider-Man uh, in a CGC slab was just in Sitting front there. of his door like an Amazon <laughs> box. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> he's a poker player, right? So he's going to come out here probably to play or something. And he was like, I'll just pick it up. He was trying to call them. They're like, oh, we already mailed it. And he, when he went home, it was like in front of his door step. Wow. Holy shit. Isn't that That's pretty cool? Oh, let's yeah. try yeah. here. Like, much better. Much better. <laughs> There he is. So what I was saying is, Dylan, if you want to send me your address, I have a nice big job <laughs> gift to send you. An A-OK? -okay. He, he, prefers, he prefers Skippy. Oh, yeah. Chunky. Gift, though. Yeah, you got Chunky? A dog um, likes to chew. A dog yeah. likes to chew. You know, I wasn't a fan or of Chunky. Or Lick, for that matter. Hey, there's a lot of, there's a lot of protein in peanut butter, bro. That's right here. <laughs> I got, I got, I got to gain the weight somehow, man. I can't be looking like DJ oh, wow. Qualls. I feel like Dylan doesn't get the joke. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just laughing the joke off because I know, the joke. I know the damn joke, and I'm appalled by it, brother. The funniest thing is, is I feel like there's like one stream every other week where someone says something to Dylan that's just like it sets Dylan off. <laughs> Dylan just gets hot, dude. He's like, "Nah, bro, we gotta address this shit right now." <laughs> I got a fan on, bro. I'm gonna get hot in this bitch. Donny K. Poor right Dylan. Here. Poor Dylan. Is this the joke about putting peanut butter on your balls? <laughs> that's the one. All right, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> Well, one night you wanted we're... to clarify for the audience. The other night, you had about forty jars of Skippy, empty Skippy jars, man, on his bed. Get the hell out. Oh, drop your link in the chat, God Tank. Everyone, go, go, go. Some, well, three people, yep. you go. Oh, nice, dude. He was oh, at six. Bro. Got him up today. <laughs> Protein shake mix. I got a killer here. Same. Oh, look at that little bad boy. Oh, yeah. it's Baby Yoda. Hey, it's Baby oh. Yoda. Oh, look at Baby Yoda. That's adorable. We could have made him with Dylan's Great Dane and make a hell of an animal. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. A mediocre <laughs> they call, Dane. Call him the good son. Yo, this dog right here. 
I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> might eat him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah no peanut would. butter's waking him up. I would eat him. His ass snoring. You didn't make your bed. <laughs> he didn't make <laughs> your bed. He didn't make your bed. I told you he messes it up. I made it. Right. I made it right before the show. Blame the dog. <laughs> Yo, fuck okay. Dude. Those are great dogs, man. My my daughter has a Pomeranian too. And uh, oh, I thought you were a great Dane. No, that's no, it's not, not a great dog. Dane. No, it's the Pomeranian. It's a pit. Dude. The Pomeranians yeah, are pit. awesome. Why? Why are they awesome? Because they're helpless. I mean, you really <laughs> got to do everything for them. They have little... man control over them. He's helpless. If, if you're not careful, their legs just snap <laughs> down. That's true. This oh dog can't even jump off the couch by himself. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're he needs me. He's stuck up there. I guess Great Dane though is a compliment because he is a beast, and Great Danes are huge. Oh my hey. god, those Great Danes are like horses. I've been someone tell John Vickery. Me. Some of us are all about Tom King. Oh snap! Well, Michael, thought, you're like the one percent. I just got done reading. Uh, I think in '88 on Batman. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. I'm Except not the one percent. It's it's was selling a, a hundred and twenty million issues a, a month. What? Well, look, everyone always buys it, but the rate it, it fucking the book sucks. Come on, it was great. I thought, I thought the reason why he got off of it. I thought not Batman beginning was, to end, but it was yeah. great. Oh, Did comic check. Are are you are you currently reading Picard? Uh, the comic, yeah. Hell oh, yeah! I read really the first issue. I like the first it. issue. It was okay. Nothing that you really I have read, to read, though. Oh, I thought so. People I thought you had to read it. It's a great intro to the show. Uh, not really, because everything, everything, everything that's in the show, everything that's in the book is really in the first you wow. know, 15 minutes of the show as far as what it tells you about what happened. Really? Well, it's, 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 it can't yeah. link up that. It can't link up that much, but I mean, the premise of that first book, especially, especially, and I like Discovery, Star Trek Discovery, but it went off on its own thing. Yeah, it did. But the premise of the first. Good. Yeah, the pre- I like it still, but the premise of the first book of Picard sort of brought Star Trek back, where they're like, oh, we're going to save uh, a few hundred thousand Romulans, and when you get there, the Romulans are like, yeah, save us. We have all these slaves, but let, let them, de- let them <laughs> they're, die. They're like, disposable. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that was like, that's a Star Trek premise, like a classic one. Well, actually, um, I, I agree with you. They, they should have brought that up in the show, because then it would have made a little bit more sense why... Starfleet abandoned or didn't want to help them, it, you know, other than them looking evil in the show. There's no motivation for them stopping in the show, but that, that's yeah. why they should have had that in the book, which I don't yeah, think the moral conflict, women. right? Yeah, the moral it's, conflict. So it was really good in that sense. When Perry liked it, I was like, oh, I, dude, dude, Perry, in other streams, you should see me. I defend you. <laughs> no. I defend you're, you. You're a very brave soul. Perry trashes me. <laughs> He's like, yeah, let me defend Barry, but let's take a big shit on Dylan real quick. <laughs> I never shit on Dylan. I love Dylan too. I know. I'm just clowning. Yeah, I'm you know what I mean. Always backing me. Clearly, I, I mean, clearly his dog loves him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, at least the people. Yeah. Isn't Picard though? Have all three issues of Picard came out? Because isn't it? Three? Yeah, but number two was really rare, so I miss number two. Oh, isn't like that the, isn't that Professor Xavier though? It's yeah. same actor. Same Wait, actor, right? Why I was number two really, really w- rare? Uh, I think well, that people, it, I think a lot of people didn't expect it to be decent. So they didn't buy yeah, it. When they tried jumping. That's, out. that's exactly what happened. So the if you didn't pre-order it, it was low print run, and then it didn't show up anywhere. And uh, so I got the trade coming. So I, I was thinking I liked it enough that I was almost going to drop the three bucks like on Comicsology and just read it. But then. You know, you, that's why, I mean, this is bro. I mean, th- Bueller's been talking about this on his, on his coffee shop show. And like, but this is like some, sometimes the thing is broken. So I, I, I ordered number two for my comic shop. They couldn't get it, but I ordered number three also. So number three shows up. Now I got to buy it or else I feel bad. You know what I mean? But number two didn't show up. So now I just, I just spent four bucks for no reason. Or I just got to feel like a dickhead for leaving it in my box or putting it back on the shelf kind of thing, you know? So, uh, well, I just so did it's... the same thing with uh, Darth Vader. I didn't think Darth Vader was going to be good. It was really good. And I didn't buy or pre-order it, and I read it, ended up reading it digitally. And then I liked You're it, awesome. so I wanted to start collecting it. So now I had to go out in Midtown and order issue one because everybody around here 
Um, yeah. Sold out. Lot. And, uh, yeah, yeah, the same thing happened with Kylo Ren, by the way. The first Kylo Ren, the same thing happened. So, um, and, and, and here's the thing. Like, Star Wars I'll buy because I know it's canon. But Star Trek is like, it's the comics are questionably canon. You know, like, they'll just yeah. leave them in the, you know, they'll just say they're not canon at any moment. You how, know, the, so. how the hell didn't you get issue two if it, was, it wasn't on your poll? No, no, I picked up, I just picked it up. It was like a slow week or something, so I picked up number one. That's what I, I, I may have watched, I may have heard Perry say he liked it. I was like, well, if Perry likes that Star Trek thing, I might definitely like it, because I go, I go hit and miss on Star Trek stuff, mm-hmm. and I know Perry doesn't give a shit about it, so it might have been actually good. <laughs> yeah, I'm bummed out. And uh, and I picked it up. It was good. And then I went and tried to order it. So yeah, you, you I watched the first episode. <laughs> like, Bueller. Bueller's the only person that that gives a shout out, and everybody gets over a thousand, and everyone's celebrating. And he he does one post on Instagram, and then his subscribers start going down, his views start going down, his followers start going down. He's like, I'm never shouting very out again. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see what Picard goes to. This week's episode is the first one where they actually get into space. So I think it's gonna, from here on out, we'll see if the show is going to be good or not. Do, do I have to pay to watch that show? You do. I'm waiting for four to show up. I'm mm-hmm. waiting for four episodes to show up, and then I'll pay the, the $9.99. <laughs> it's actually $5.99 if you don't mind two or three commercials. Oh, you know, then five ninety nine. I'll do that. You're better off to wait until the whole I thing think, episode's there, and then you guys, five ninety nine and binge it. And binge it, yeah. That's if what I did guys, on the DC Universe app with the like if, Titans uh, and, and all and Doom Patrol. I waited for the shows to finish, and then I just bought perfect. it and then Yo, binged everything. Do you guys have? You got to do that. Like, iPhone, like if you have an iPhone and you pay for like Apple Music, you can use your Apple you ID. Come on, come on. You could uh two brothers your Apple ID with uh, Apple TV. Like just download the app, and you can watch Picard for free on Apple TV. If you okay. use your like, uh, your uh, one week, it? your free week, you use your Apple Thank ID. You. No, it's free if you pay for. Uh, do you have Apple Music? Yeah. Hey guys, I gotta go. <laughs> Tell two brothers to send me that killing joke. <laughs> his his friend showed up. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> "Fuck this, I'm out. My friends are here." I think the police are coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or some strange guy look at that, look at that face car. look at that face <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's some dude sitting in the car talking comic books <laughs> later guys we gotta switch i gotta switch to sports now i gotta pretend i'm a sports fan oh uh, man hey man have a good night have a good night have, have, night. have, have fun have, have a drink on bueller well i think everybody probably did the same thing on uh, disney plus they once Mandalorian was done they they that bounced. Yeah. There was no, well, there was nothing else there. Well, you know what got me is during. I don't know if you guys watched the Super Bowl. Uh, Disney had a huge uh, ad about things coming to sure. the service. They showed like two seconds of WandaVision and yeah. a couple seconds of Falcon the Snow uh, Falcon Snowman Falcon and the uh, uh, Winter Soldier. Those things are coming for like at least another year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's well, kind of WandaVision you know, comes first, it's, but it's yeah, advertising to say they're coming out soon. They're not. Uh, I thought it would have been smarter to not have Disney Plus and to just jacked up the price of Hulu. Like to make Hulu like like a fifteen to twenty dollars a month and throw all the all the nostalgia on there and then well, throw all the new that. content. You to Hulu, they have a deal where you can get Disney Yeah, they have like a bundle. That. Yeah, but but if, if you like someone like me, I'm gonna buy Disney Plus. There's literally there's nothing there for me to watch. You know the animated shows. I've I've pretty much seen them already. Uh, the high school musical thing. That's a that's a show. You like that one, right? They got I, that high school musical. I seen it. I seen it when it came TV. out. The TV. I know you did. The yeah. sing along edition. I know I, you're doing that one. Well, I want I, the uh, I want the 1960s. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember. The, the only guy here that's probably old enough, even close to remember, is maybe maybe Bueller. The 1960s <laughs> Marvel superhero cartoons. Remember those? Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. those. With the choppy hockey <laughs> animation, I love those. Yeah. It was actually the real comic books, and they just and they did what basically what Perry did. They're they, on they, they don't have all of them on there, which is kind of frustrating. And they, they have like Spider Woman, but they don't. I mean, they made those nineteen mm-hmm. sixties ones for almost every single character in Marvel. I mean, just a yeah. few of them. And I used to, I've only seen the Spider Woman one and some old Sp- Spider Man ones. I'd yeah. like to see the Captain America ones. I remember those. Yeah. The and uh, some of the other characters. They used yeah, to I, I play think, those I think, when I was a kid. doesn't own them, and then I think that's the problem. They're owned by somebody else. 
Yeah. Mm. Just too bad. I was a kid. I used to watch the reruns for those just randomly. I I didn't. I used to watch like Miguel the Gorilla. I was watching Scooby Doo, TMNT, Power Rangers. I mean, I, I did when I was like, Bat- like Batman, Batman you know? the animated series, dude. Oh, I yeah, that was a good one. I like that one. Um, that was good. There was a lot that I watched. Is that nipples? Hi, nipples. Oh, we see nipples. Titty. That's the first titty of Saturday. She, ha- she hates peanut butter, by the way. I'd show you my cap, but I can't pick him up. So. <laughs> Just plug in your LimeWire computer back in. I remember <laughs> LimeWire. That, 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 that gave me so many viruses, but I got a lot of free content. <laughs> allegedly. Oh, bad. What, what, what is Sam doing? I've seen Sam went live. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I haven't talked to him today. Or no? Did I? no, I didn't. I was busy today. <laughs> what did two brothers say? I finally have seen Bueller's nipples. Yes. <laughs> Are you bring me? Where the hell you at, man? Yeah, where were they? Send them, I don't have their email. I'll, the, uh, the no, chat. you put it in the link. I could send it to him. Perry's got all the viruses. Are you bringing oh, nipples oh, to, to Florida? I only have. I might only have Nick's no. questions. Let me see. Nipples is not going to Florida. She'll be here, and my son will be here, so she'll be fine. No. Oh. My real son. Real son. <laughs> the one, the one, the one I claim and proud of. The one that you claim in your taxes. <laughs> the one I claim. I don't. He's, he's a little old to claim on my taxes now. <laughs> oh he, man, he's the he's the son I'm proud of. He's uh he he's a painter, right? He he paints. He does a lot of stuff. He works at the he works at the produce department of a local uh, grocery store. He's been there for a while, so. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he, he likes it. They're, they're all it's all union work so i mean he gets good benefits and everything and uh normal uh, raises all the time and stuff so hopefully, right. hopefully later this year I'll, I'll be selling bananas so that'll be a step up from what i'm doing now i emailed both of you guys the links though yeah cause right now I'm, I'm, a, I'm a designer and engineer but hopefully by mid-year i'll be selling bananas so I'm looking forward to that. I'll be honest. Awesome. Only hope. You can you can always dream, brother. I can always dream, you know. Let's see. Uh, Spider Man and Amazing Friends was dope. I remember the X Men episode and how Firestar would sleep with Iceman and then Spider Man. Oh boy! I think he's watching a different cartoon than I watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, just be John must really be multitasking now. <laughs> Very at all <laughs> magic, or maybe I'm as fast as John went in the bedroom real quick. He a little slap and tickle, a little snail jellyfish action, and then he's out. What the hell is a snail jellyfish thing? <laughs> what is that? So is you gotta, you gotta, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new never. thing. You, you, you know how people go up to people and they give them like a pound and they like they pound it. So when you're about to go pound it, you stick out the snail and you go snail. And you're like, what the hell? And then you go, jellyfish. And then you just walk away. Yeah. I, I seen Jimmy Fallon do it. That's where I got it from. So it's nothing original you came up with. I mean, come on. It's almost like your YouTube content. <laughs> I have a question for uh, Bueller. Yeah. Is, is Buddy Bob there when he does his coffee videos there? How come there's never a soul in the place? It's like, do they clear the place out before he goes in there? Or? No, the, he <laughs> films it at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> On a Saturday. Oh, is that the only time he's allowed in? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, they, they open like 6.30, but nobody, I mean, maybe one or two people come in in between the time he films it. He has a, he has a great show. Every once in a while, you get one guy with a camera just going by and giving the evil eye, you know, but. Yeah, he, he actually enjoys, he, he actually likes to photobomb the show. That's kind of his deal. <laughs> he doesn't know, what he, he doesn't even know what Bob's talking about, but he always tries to jump in and look at the camera a couple times. He actually, he sits there purposely so that he ends up on the camera. So I think it's pretty cool. He, he's a nice guy. We got to get Perry out live. Perry, you need to go to some more live, live places. Yeah. I, Maybe, I, I, get any Taco Bells or anything close to you? I got a Taco Bell pretty close to me, yeah. I, got, I don't know. I, I got I to do it, you know? like I, I did it a couple times, and it was pretty fun. So I got to do it a lot more. I'm, I'm waiting for my Perry survives on fish fillets and Taco Bell. Come on. Fish fillets are the best. They're amazing. And now you can get buy one, get one free, so you can get four for the price of two. Oh, they're on sale right now? 
No, and now they have a double fish fillet. Hey, Where's the fish fillet sandwich? What with two fish fillets in it and a piece no. of cheese in the middle and tater sauce on top and bottom? What is yeah, tater? They have like buffalo chicken dip fries now and a buffalo chicken dip burrito. I just wow. saw somebody do a review. They like did a review on a movie and they did a review on the food all in one. That's some channel. Isn't that crazy? Well, they mainly do horror, but yo, <laughs> so what's up? When are we announcing what we doing, bro? I even changed the name of my. Well, I, I feel like it's not like, Dylan like, Rants. It's I want to Dylan... put some more content out there on the on the, on, on some channels and then and then start like gassing up a little bit. But yeah, no, we're gonna try to do some more uh, some more content, grow another channel or two. And uh, see how that works out. That way we can diversify because, you know, we don't have enough on our plate. <laughs> Yo, great idea, though, with the DC shit, bro. Uh, Meta was like, I don't think you know how much that shit really uh, is, like, step going to step your shit up. What DC? The, my logo. Oh, yeah. Just like, yeah. This is, yeah. When I first made my logo, um, Perry Comics, the PC, Bueller was actually the first person who noticed it. He's like, hey, you got a new logo. I like it. Very cool. He I told me. That. That. Yeah, he told me that. Uh, when, 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 I, when I first started YouTube, Bueller was before, very nice to me. Before I got to know you, he was very nice and very supportive of me. And then he's like, "You know what? Nah, let me just let me crap on him. It's way more fun." And I I, I do agree. <laughs> it is pretty pretty entertaining, you know, because there's too much nice people in the community. We gotta we gotta we gotta bust some balls. Uh, let's see, a Big Mac, filet fish quarter pounder, French fry, icy Coke, thick shakes, sundaes, and apple pie. That is one hell of an order, and I, I'm very hungry now. Let's see, James said, okay, fellas, just pulled a rack of ribs off the grill, got some jalapeno peppers with them. You're all Hopper. invited. Hopper. I could have swore. I could have swore you were going to pull it. Were... I could have swore. You... Oh my God. <laughs> I just about threw up a little bit. And now and I realized what I was looking at. It's my pussy. <laughs> you kidding. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. That is a nice pussy. That's what I, uh, yeah. I thought we were going to see a rooster instead. <laughs> <laughs> we got two pussies on the camera. That's very fun. <laughs> Jesus. He wants me to pull a pussy out of my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Never let my sleeve. <laughs> this is the first comic book YouTube channel we'll ever have two of them on at the same time. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, we, that's, that's the new tag. Late night comics has the most pussy on the, in the community. <laughs> you hear what he's saying about you, nipples? She doesn't like it. Oh, no worries, brother. We'll get we'll get there. You, yeah, no worries at all, brother. So, should we talk about is it too many is there too many comic book movies coming out? Nah, not, not this year. year. Well, I don't think this year. Yeah, I, 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 I went to see I went to see Birds of Prey today, right? And we saw <laughs> I previews before the movie, and they were. Bloodshot, okay. Black Widow, uh, and there was a couple other comic book movies in there. Morbius, Morbius, Morbius. Uh, and Venom. there's Let one coming Venom. out in the fall. I forget what it was. There was a four or five previews. They were all now, you know, it was you know Birds of Prey, so maybe they did that on purpose. Yeah, but, probably. But, but still, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's just too much coming out. Maybe they should slow, cut back on a little bit of it. I think so because we got what? So we we got Birds of Prey, we got Morbius, we got um, Black Widow. Oh, what's the other one? The Eternals. That's coming out. Yeah, um, Bloodshot. I think that's it. Like five or six movies. There's one more. I'm trying to think. Black Widow. Oh, Wonder Woman twenty. Oh yeah, Wonder, yeah, Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder out Woman. Out in the, yeah. There we go. Oh, and New Mutants. All right, yeah. Now that yeah, now New we Mutants start, in April. Yeah, now, now that we start making a list, it seems like it's a little bit bigger. <laughs> Black Widow looks pretty decent. Yeah, yeah but it's like New Mutants. Mutants. We should have got that last year, so. Well, it's a it's a prequel anyway, so. Doesn't yeah, matter. it's like a standalone. So. And I, I guarantee you, the next, you know, this uh, poison. Uh, not poison ivy, but uh, I think I think uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy will be the next one they do. Because I was surprised that would be in cool. This movie. Sure, uh, yeah, I, I thought you know when I whenever I think of Harley, I think of Poison Ivy. You know, mm -hmm. they kind of they always like they they complement one another. But what did you think of the movie since you've seen it? 
I liked it. I thought as it was entertaining. It was um, I, you know, I thought it was shot well. The the action was good. She's excellent as as Harley. I mean, she owns that part. Um, the people who were supporting, like Rosie Perez, was in it as Montoya. Thought she was a little old for the part, but she was good in it. Um, some of the other characters didn't have as much screen time, mm. and it, it was good. The only thing, the only my only negative thing would be is I still the the, the costume is really janky. Mm. I mean, especially Black Canary, she's just wearing like le- you know a leather jacket. It was really like CW type costumes, but That's the movie was okay. It's it was I would say I'd give it like a six or a seven. That's not I bad. I would out to see it, but if it's on TV, something it's worth seeing. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go see it in the theaters, but like you said, like if I see it on like even if it comes to like on demand, I'll pay the four ninety nine and I'll watch it. You know, okay? you know why not? Well, um, at least for the first ten minutes, and well. <laughs> maybe twelve. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I might go see it see it tomorrow with my bo- with my uh, one of my buddies. Yeah, it's worth seeing. I would say it's worth seeing. It's crazy because like it. I I try to go on Twitter and I feel like Twitter is like the most worst place to get advice for a movie because I go on Twitter and the first thing I just see is like horrible reviews and people hating on it. And I'm like, well, that's weird because I was just on Instagram and I heard a lot of people talking really good things well, about it. Pretty good word of mouth. I think the problem with comic book people are they just they kind of burned out on Harley Quinn. I mean, she's overexposed in DC and uh, I, books I, coming out at the same time. I feel very confused because Harley Quinn came out in Batman the Animated Series, but f- before that, the, like the 40 years before her appearance, we had the Harleen Quinn. Who no, literally looked um, exactly like Harley Quinn. Like she had the exact same outfit, but a different color palette. Like literally. So I'm very confused. Why does no I one thought, ever talk about her? I thought her appearance in the animated series was the first time. That's what I thought too. Yeah, but we have the Harleen Quinn. Well, it's a and then the same character. And then and then uh she was in that comic book Mad Love, right? That was the first appearance in comic form. That that one shot. But before that, yeah, they, that was it. That was the first time she was around. <laughs> Caroline, on, he's on probation, so he could only um, enjoy marijuana once a month. Hey, Perry, I'll, I'll be right. I'll be right back. My, I got to plug in my computer. All right, yeah, yeah. You, you go stick whatever you need, in whatever hole. Thanks. <laughs> How's it going, Delphia? Oh man, definitely need more cowbell. That's so, oh, squashy. Oh, new, new, uh, new thumbnail thingy picture, Majiggy. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, if, if anyone follows Squashy, I think he still does prints. Like he, he, he he's fucking awesome, dude. He's a great, great person, man. Uh, let's see, Morbius, Black Widow, The Eternals, Wonder Woman two, and Bloodshot. I have high hopes for. I feel like The Eternals is a little bit ambitious. Yeah, I just you read know? the comic book for that. I'm not sure how they can. I, when I was reading it, the first thought I had was. How are they going to make a movie out of this? Exactly. Like, I don't, I, I, and the fact that we haven't seen anything yet, not even a poster. So I'm like a little bit spe- skeptical. Like, all right, what direction are they going in this at all? You know? Are they going to go play it straight? Will it be like Guardians of the Galaxy? Hey, Bob. You know, I don't know. I haven't seen anything on it. Let's see. I had to get some ice cream, man. <laughs> <laughs> When I when I was first doing YouTube, I made a joke about like putting ice cream in his mouth, <laughs> and he, he made a meme of me, and he took my picture and he put it over a bunch of ice cream. Like I was eating. I- like, Chris is a funny man. The Eternals is gonna be awesome. I hope so. You know, I I I never expect a negative for a movie. You know, I feel if people are gonna spend millions upon millions of dollars making a movie, it should be a great movie. You know. Let's see. Uh. What was the what was the name of that show they they tried doing on ABC that bombed the one with the big dog, the big the big bulldog? Uh, was it? Are you talking about Clifford the Red Dog? No, no, no. I'm talking about that Marvel show that came out. Oh, in Humans. Yeah, Humans. Oh, okay. And and that they couldn't do. I mean, obviously that was television, but that yeah. didn't that didn't translate well. And I kind of think the Eternals are kind of in that vein, no? Oh, uh, let's see. John said, how do you guys feel about Amber Heard, the ex-wife of Johnny what? Depp, being fired from Aquaman 2 for being debunked as proven that she was the abuser in the relationship with Johnny Depp? Uh, 100%, I am perfectly fine with her being fired because they fucked up Johnny Depp's life over that whole situation. 
and she bit his finger off and took a shit in his bed. So that's a little much, you know. I mean, he was okay. fucking Captain Jack Sparrow, and because of that whole bullshit that went on with her, he he lost his position as the fucking captain, man. Wait, so, she I'm did fucking. that? Like you're being literal that she did yeah, that? Yeah, well, all, all the all the court documents are coming out, and it shows that the, that realistically the... he he didn't really like. I mean, he probably played some part, but she was literally like making him live in a uh, hell. But I during that whole time, she had a smear campaign against him, so he lost just, everything. I just listened to like a video, and she was like, "All he kept saying, he's like, you just physically attacked me." And she's like, <laughs> she's I'm like, not "I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'll beat your ass again, boy." I was like, "Oh, damn, she's crazy, dude." He's like, she's "I like, love you. Let's not fight no more, please. I don't want to." I never anymore. wanted to get that way, and he's like, "Well, that's all you fucking do is try to beat my ass." <laughs> Or she I, really like took a shit in his bed. That's kind of salt though, because she was. I kind of <laughs> liked her as Mara. I, I don't like. Mara, I, I wasn't even aware she was. Yeah, Mara. She, she was Mara and Aquaman. So, I, and you know what? I like Captain Jack Sparrow too. You know. Me too. <laughs> you know. So she that whole situation. Well, was Mara. Mara. He didn't get fired from that part. I mean, was, I think the last movie he was in bombed. They didn't want to make anymore. I, I, I guess. Yeah. So. And now he he did that what that Doctor Doolittle movie. Eddie Murphy's Doctor Doolittle. Come well, on! I thought, no, I thought it was uh, that's Iron Man. That oh, that, that's who? Who is that? that who is Downey. it? Downey. Oh, yeah. Rob, oh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I seen a commercial for for Doctor Doctor Doolittle is a guy who works in a veterinarian clinic, and he's like talking to dogs and talking that's, to cats and stuff. That's, you know? that's, that's, that's the Eddie Murphy movie, though. But that wasn't yeah. was it Eddie Murphy. There's, I don't know. I haven't that, seen that since like I was a little kid, man. The one that Downey's doing is based off the real book. Yeah, there's a book too. Wow, there's yeah. a lot I don't know about anything. Harry <laughs> doesn't read. No, no, but that's good, you know. So I come here and I just start saying stuff, and everybody corrects me. So that way I, I learn stuff, you know. So yo, that's how are they gonna wise. do an Aquaman too, though, without Mara? Pretty so recent. So we cast it. Like like last that's week. Kinda, I, heard I wonder who though, because I kind of liked her as Mara. She was she looked pretty good. Whenever you go to McDonald's, they always say their ice cream machines broke. <laughs> Because they, they don't want to clean. You really take a shit in his bed? Yeah. <laughs> Dylan can't get over that. <laughs> Dylan's stuck on that. He's like, out of any, she burned him with cigarettes. Because it's really off. Don't worry about it. Oh. Well, the, the shit in the, in the bed is like, I can't even think. It's like, I thought she was hot. She's like ratchet as fuck. <laughs> right, just like, she, she took a dump in his bed. She probably took a piss too. This man, yo, this man, this man, Johnny <laughs> Depp came man, home. Oh, what a great quote! <laughs> this man came home from probably doing a <laughs> doing a fucking big Hollywood movie, tired as fuck, and he's like, <laughs> "What's that fuck? smell?" <laughs> I don't got no dog. What the fuck? <laughs> and he just pulls the cheek back, and there's a thing. Instead of like doing pulling the Godfather with the whole head horse, he's like, <laughs> it's a big old yeah. dookie. Jesus it was God, probably God. under the pillow too, so he probably laid down and just started coming through. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's a fantastic he's piece. Of boy, yeah. He's got it all stuck to his face and shit. What the fuck? I feel so. I was listening to that though. I, I was listening to some video. And she's dogging him. I felt so bad for that dude. He also really lives in a ranch with rescued animals, so he thought it was fitting. I guess Johnny Depp, uh, the master. At his when I, yeah, I mean, down. My favorite movie by him is Blow. I could watch Blow over. Oh, uh, dude, what that's my favorite. I'm trying to think. Is there? That's my favorite one for sure. There might be. Oh, Donnie Brasco is another good one, but Blow is definitely <laughs> probably my favorite. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mark with the quotes. Who walks in? Smells like shit in here. <laughs> Dude, uh, what was I gonna say? The fucking... Damn you, oh. Mara! You, you take remember in Suicide Squad? <laughs> Captain Boomerang's talking to Harley Quinn. He's like, you know what they say about the crazy ones? What do they say? You know, they took a shit in your bed. Is what they say. <laughs> Every man she ever gets with now is like, yo, she's crazy. Yo, she ain't never getting no man now. <laughs> she, she's I know she's kind of rich, though, you know, so she might get somebody. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey holla at me, Amber. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan's like, you can shit in my bed. My dog does it all the time. <laughs> 
<laughs> yo, and, and she gonna try to mac on some no, dude. No, he's he's like, I can't be fucked with peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, all that peanut butter. He's gonna be like, I ain't letting <laughs> shit in my bed. That's gonna be the first thing a dude says when she tries to pull up. I ain't letting you shit in my bed. I'm gonna shit in my bed before you get a chance to. <laughs> Oh, hey, man. I'm gonna just let you know if we ever get serious, don't you ever shit in my bed. <laughs> only, only number one, bitch. Only number <laughs> one. Yeah, McDonald's, they, 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 they never give ice cream at night. It's pretty sad. Really? What the fuck? Yeah. Well, I used to work at McDonald's when I was like 15, 16. And so you would, every time you make something in that like McFlurry machine, it would spit out ice cream all over the place. And so you have to clean it every time. So at nighttime, there's usually the manager who doesn't give a fuck. So you're like, the, the machine's down. Doesn't work. Yeah. Or they just, don't they just turn that bitch off too? Or they... yeah. Just flip the switch. Fear and loathing, that's a good one too. But that one's so wacky. I Blow is just like awesome. I like Blow. Blow has a lot, a lot of good uh, m like remembering quotes in it yeah um, like money isn't real doesn't mean anything. boston, boston george boston george perry's still working at mickey d's <laughs> i wish i had a discount i used to eat so much food i one time i had a big mac and it was really hot out so i went in the cooler and i passed out i fell asleep it was really fun uh, my homeboy was in prison with a guy george young who blew up oh. uh was about uh, oh wow that's crazy Dylan said nah. going to shower is okay but nothing more man Hey, it really ain't okay, but maybe I'll put up. He's got, with it. He's, got yeah. he's got standards. You can piss on me, but you gotta, don't you gotta think it's dope. You gotta you gotta have standards. And then what man, kind was it? Was it a solid? Was it a solid or like did she have Taco Bell the night before? <laughs> you ever see Public Enemies? That's a good one too. About John Dillinger. <laughs> the guy Boston George, that's the movie. That, oh yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know she was a stripper, but dude, well, no, nah, see, that's she was in that movie Alpha Dog. You ever see Alpha Dog, Perry? I, I, I don't remember. True story. It had Emil Hirsch, Justin Timberlake, and J Justin Timberlake's all tatted up, and it's based on these oh, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Hollywood, like, Florida, and then yeah, they yeah, kill yeah. that. They kidnap that kid because their brother, crazy brother, owes them money, and then they end up killing him at the end. And that's just real. Oh. That she shit had, really happened. She had White Castles before she took a shit. Oh, yeah, that's Dude, shout out to White Castles. We don't got that in Florida. White Castles is great. I yeah. mean, it's really bad, but it's really good. You know, dude, you can get them frozen. You can get frozen burgers at the. Gas. I know, but it's like they're not, not it's as not good. The same, you know, the bread like, is like all. You said the gas station. No, no, no. At oh. the <laughs> John Eagle. At the grocery store, oh, you can okay. get a box of frozen ones, like two packs. They're not bad. How you doing, because, Biller? Yo, I'm telling you, those frozen ones are better than what you get at the damn real place, anyways, because they end up just being disgusting. Like, I, I like how Bueller before he came on, he put his name as Travis, and everybody kept calling him Bueller. So they're like, "Fuck it, let me just come back as Bueller." <laughs> you guys forgot about two Johnny Depp movies that were good. Um, From Hell, the one he did about Jack the Ripper. I don't know if you saw that. I I I would remember that one. Okay. I was actually just watching guy. Sweeney Todd. Hey, got, Sleepy Hollow was another one I liked. Sleepy so, Hollow. Was dude, that's one of my all-time favorites. I was trying to think of it, which the, a couple of his movies because I, I actually looked them up on IMDb. He's I, some good movies. Dude, I used to watch Sleepy Hollow like faithfully every oh, year. If not, I could watch it like any time of the year. That that's just a great movie. Like I love that. Ichabod, he plays a great Ichabod Crane. Yeah, some creepy scenes in that movie, especially when I think there's a scene where there's a tree and there's yeah. no bodies coming out of the tree. The heads, all those the heads. heads. Yeah. Like he's hitting it in the blood and the branches got blood in them and he's Ooh. getting all splatting all over him. Yeah, it was a good movie. That is dude, I love that movie. Yeah, say <laughs> that song Say Goodbye to Hollywood by Eminem is in Alpha Dog. Oh, let's see. I had to Google White Castle. Oh yeah, because you're in uh you're in Australia, right? You're in the Outback, eh? 
that's Canadian. Um, there's a movie called White Castles too, but um, yeah, no, there's and for some reason I used to live in New Jersey because they don't have White Castles. Down down down. It's called Crystals. Well, there's Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Yeah, which yeah. is cool because it takes place in Jersey, and I was living there at the time, so I was like, this is awesome. But yeah, White Castles is always located in like a really bad neighborhood. And I'm always very scared going to White Castles because it's something like Newark, New Jersey. And it's like they have one of like the highest murder rate capitals in the, in the whole country. So like I'm over there. And I'm like, all right, I want to get some White Castles. And I get it. And it's like all messed up. And I don't really say anything because they, they look really intimidating. He's scared some some big black guy named Bubba is going to try to give him a cock meat sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, you well, already know that what I'm talking about if you've seen the second yeah. Robin Kumar. When they were in uh, the Guantanamo Bay. Oh, he's like, right. he's like, and I got a lot of sandwich. <laughs> hope, you, hope you boys like extra mayo. Come on, man. Come on, Come on man. man. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I have to go get something. <laughs> What the hell is going on here, fellas? What's going on, Jay? Cheers to everybody. Hey, Scarpids, how you doing, man? Tell me if I'm pronouncing that right as I butchered it all day. Uh, that's right, Scarpads Comic Tracks, yeah. Scarpads Comic. Well, thank you so much for that contribution to the show this morning or today. That was fantastic way to start the show off there. You sent 12 books, which was perfect, and we just opened them up and gave them away in the first round there of the show. That was awesome. Dude, that was awesome. X Men was the best one in the bunch, I think. Well, I, was, I, I got first pick. You know, I, I had to. I had to make up a whole new rule now, man. God, mm -hmm. I felt terrible. I was like, you if know you what? Open the box, you get first pick. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, if you own the if it, and I, I even threw out the new rule that if someone buys a round, they should get first pick on the round. You know, I'm just saying, just in case there's something they wanted on there, and they actually going to give away all the books, you might as well give them first shot at it. Oh, yeah, so. Scar is pretty bad. Uh, Camden and Newark, they're they're pretty shithole. Scarp has my <laughs> only patron. Hey, there it is. Oh. First time. Oh, that's pretty out there. Comic book cousin, yeah, motherfucker. Yo, where the hell is my? Where's mine, Woo! baby? Where's Damn. mine? You gotta be a, you gotta be a Patreon shit. member, right? Oh yeah, yep, yep, ah. yep. Yep. Actually, I ran out. I had to get more again. Damn. I give away so many fucking t-shirts, man. It's going to take forever for them all to come in. I, I want to find like a jersey, like a, like a, like a oh, football, shit. basketball jersey, and just put A11 on the back. A11. Nice. Just go. Just go. <laughs> nice. I missed you all week, Disco. I feel like I haven't seen you all week, man. I was You've just in... trying to. I was. I was. I'm getting on. I'm thinking, okay, I've got to get ready for tonight's stream. And I look, and it's packed. Fucking, there's a shit ton of people on right now thinking, what yeah. What yeah, I'm so yeah, a lot of I'm people. trying to see the stream. Do I really need to be on? I'll just come on Perry's and just, just let him keep this. going. What do you think? Dude, Perry, there was like that much left. Stop there was so like I'll this just, much left. I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'm just kidding. I saw. But yo, Scarf had my only Patreon member. Y'all better make sure you go support my brother and go. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit! Up. You were serious? Oh my god! I feel I'm so embarrassed. I thought you were fucking playing a. You were fucking with me, dude. Ooh. You seriously? <laughs> what? What? I thought you were making fun of me with the Patreon thing, dude. You actually nah. got a page. Hey, yo, yo, I got Patreon. Patreon you were making PayPal. fun of me, dude. Patreon's no. so cool. <laughs> Dude, I'll I sign up right now. Fuck, I'll sign up right now. Yo, JP, I got a page. Right. No, I'm going to go set it up. Me, bro. I thought you were fucking just fucking no, with me, dude. I, was, <laughs> I, you were... I was trying to get you to be like, yo, I'm proud of you. you I didn't thought you were making Patreon. fun of me, you jackass. <laughs> Dylan, accept All your right. brother. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, shit. Hey, I'm really trying to put the donation. I think I think the Patreon uh, is great, I, but the hard weird. part is trying to put the content on there because I'm like, I'm trying to put uh, content on there because I'm like, you know, like I appreciate everyone. Who, I thought you even were if you give me a dollar, bro. dude. Patreon's <laughs> awesome, man. Because I'm like, all right, now now I can afford to finally ship out these mystery boxes. Uh, no, nah, baby. Because uh, remember, I'm I thought you're fucking you trolling know, me every time I'm on your show, and I'm like, oh, dude, I don't got. That's my what PayPal. I mean. I was <laughs> like, there's a there's a problem. It's got my it's, right, it's, it's a problem with my checking and my savings. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a big thing. So, right. so is it, it is it in stuff. the description of your video? Yeah, here it is. Hold I on. got them both, PayPal and the thumbnail. Damn, we get hey, JB, you like the thumbnail? Like a champ. 
You like the thumbnail? I love your. I stole the fuck. I, what are you talking about? You know I love your thumbnails so much. Look at my thumbnails today. They look like fucking Perry's thumbnails. That's how much I love it. <laughs> it's 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 Harley Quinn, and she's got her feet off, and she's like holding her her, oh, her no, high yeah, heels. Definitely. I was talking oh about God, how you yeah. put the, the, you put the three the blocks the three blocks with the letters. I, I oh just, yeah. I stole that today, it's easier yeah. to see. Like I, I, feel I stole like that, that today, dude. Better. You hey, know, man. hey. Keep passing it around. You know, like Travis. Yeah. How you doing tonight? Cheers to you, man. I'm doing good, man. I, I don't know if you guys know this. I'm going to spill the beans about uh, JB. Oh, but, fuck. Uh, Here we go. When I had him on my show, <laughs> it was just him and I. And I <laughs> wanted to highlight the show. And I ran through uh, uh, the stuff I wanted to talk about. And I go, I want to mention that you have a Patreon. And, he, and, and JB is like, oh, oh shit. I don't, I don't think we should talk about it. <laughs> you know, I like, did. I said that. I said, no, I don't think we should talk I about it. I go, just... Let me handle it, and it'll make sense. And then we got on there. We talked about you know, his Patreon and everything, and mm -hmm. I kind of broke it down for him how many hours he puts in and what he was asking. And yeah. I think I think it made more sense, and I think he felt more comfortable talk, about talking about it after that point. So Patreon helps out the creators and supports yep. the channel, so it goes a long way. There you go, Dylan. I'm in. It does. it does, man. I mean, hey, my brother. It, it actually does. I I had not cashed out any Patreon, and I ended up taking all of that money and buying T-shirts with it, and gave all the T-shirts away. Hell yeah! I mean, I'm, come on, right? Come what on, else? Bro. I mean, the shirt that I'm, Perry's wearing right there was the first cash out of the Patreon. Right there, I, I bought the T-shirts. I'm, I'm leaving all my Patreon stuff in there for the trip to Megacon. Nice. There you go. You can pay me for my ticket. <laughs> Yo, one one god tank is four subs away from a hundo. Can we get him? Oh, hey Perry, I'm gonna. What Double do you think, man? Are you just gonna I, keep I, this I stream rolling? Should I cancel I mine? Gotta do your thing. <laughs> Perry, you, like, it, JB comes on and makes me feel like a piece of shit. No, like, I'm hey, gonna cancel hey, my stream. Should I cancel my stream and just stay here? Then? I do. I just want to stay here, man. <laughs> just chill. Why not? If you want to, why not? You just you can hang here, you know. <laughs> You go, let you know, let you know. There's shit if, I don't think there's, like, there's nobody in there waiting anyway, so fucking cancel that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I actually, I feel maybe I should pop in the chat and say, go to Perry's. <laughs> you should just start the stream, but screen share it on this stream. Like, let's go there. there are people in there, son of a bitch. What's up, one, two? <laughs> Hey one two, you like when oh, so one two liked when I did the the Thor review because I was like talking and like the Thor voice and stuff. So I dropped the video uh, on Darth Darth Vader issue number one. If you didn't get a chance to see it, um, I literally I talked in every single accent. I did every single like sound effect that was in the book. It took many hours to do. Did you Very record good. it? Did you record it? Yeah, yeah. I just I, I uploaded it yesterday, last night, I think. Okay. Hey, and give it, a few explosion noise. Let's hear it. It's well, it, it, kaboom. You know, like, like literally, like, <laughs> like vin vin kaboom kaboom. Yo, because he has a, he has a lightsaber. lightsaber. Did you give me some? Vin, vin, vin. Dude, he did the breathing and everything. Yeah, so so it's like, I literally acted like 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 my girlfriend walked by and she was like, I looked like I was insane because I'm like standing up behind my desk acting out the series of the comic book. And it was just it was it was it was crazy. Cheers. Then in San Francisco, they won the Super I, I Bowl. I said, right? "Don't cancel, JB. This channel sucks." <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you know, I uh, guess you, you ain't lying. This <laughs> has <laughs> better effects. <laughs> the first thought I have, I saw, is here comes the cease and desist. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's well. Look, before I uploaded it, I'm like, I hope Marvel doesn't try to come for me because I showed every panel in no, the entire Marvel, comic. Disney's coming for you. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Uh, they claimed his shit for the fucking intro. Oh, man. before I even premiered it, like I got an instant thing saying that everything was copyright claimed. Uh, so I was making no money. I'm like, I don't really care about making money. The yeah. video is like by itself, it's really fun to make. And then I even had people comment well, saying that they're like, thanks, I don't have to buy this issue. Just keep re <laughs> keep reviewing them. So that's what I said for my Power Rangers TMNT when I did the voice along. But it's see, yeah, my shit, I even said at the end, I was like, my shit ain't nowhere near like Perry. So go <laughs> check his Darth Vader review out. I was like, Darth this issue was just so much fun, and I wanted to just read it read it out loud to y'all. 
Perry would know that if he watched the whole video. <laughs> oh man! And then I did folklore. I did half of folklore. I sent that. Send that to you, Dylan. I know. I watched it right before we went. Before I oh. hopped on, I think it's good. I think it was you awesome. Think so? All right. I'm I loved it. it. I thought right. that the. Uh, I'll talk to you about it, like, because I want to. There were certain voices you were doing that I was really Man, like. Where's it going? What am I been doing? It's really weird because like there's like a like a big bigger guy who's a friend and I'm like all right how do I like channel this guy so like I sat in my chair and I was like hey, how are you doing you know That's That's really a girl by the way, Perry your thumbnail what, for this is say? fire bro That's the girl that you're talking about in the uh, folklore the bigger one Yeah Yeah the Perry big, this thumbnail is fire oh. man You like the thumbnail right <laughs> this with thumbnail Harley Quinn is fucking fire man I want to show you the one I was gonna use Hold on let me, let me Holy see. shit share it. I think I might use this one next week. Uh, he's this like, we're he's like, now we're in the community. We're in the feet. Because <laughs> you got Chad and John and all these people showing their socks on Instagram. I'm like, what are we a foot fetish community now? Biggie, Biggie went feet sockless today. Oh, he pulled he pulled a pair. He's rocking sandals all day. <laughs> no, he, yeah, and he fucking. I, I I hope he didn't break his toe, man. That shit, dude. When I was doing labor work, man, we had these like uh, cement pole breakers, like to break cement. And they're these big ass iron poles. And the fucking dude, my, like, <laughs> where, my oh dude, my god, Barry, <laughs> go come on, why man, did you go with that. I felt like you know this might be appropriate. <laughs> is, that, is that copper approved? Is that copper approved? Or I I, I hope Holy. you know. You know, but I mean, you know, this one was, it was kind of sensual. You know, she's got her feet, you know, she's looking seductive. She, you got the Harley Quinn symbol. She got the red bottoms, the Louis Vuittons, you know? No, I think the other one's worse. Yeah, I like the other one better. <laughs> <laughs> that's like foot fetish. Yeah, that, that's the community we're in. I'm trying, I'm trying to branch out. I'm trying to get people in, you know? Uh, do you want to try and read on Thursday's show? I don't know, maybe. I got to try. I feel very shy making noises in front of other people. Folklords is pretty dope. I actually got, um, oh, yeah, fucking JB with the ah, hookup. That's the Daniel Warren job. What do I do now? Look at this bad boy. Yeah, baby. How you like me now? I, and, and then You're I was, on my waiting, list. I was my waiting list. to pay for this because I, I, I'm, I'm always tuning into the pop-up shop. And then he's like, fuck you paying for shipping. I'm just going to send it to you. Well, I had to send the shirt anyway. It was all perfect. So, you know, I'm looking at, I was looking at my list. I got to tell you this quick story. I'm, I actually am. I'm going to head over here in a couple of minutes. I am late, but I got people waiting over there. I feel guilty as hell. Hell no. Okay. But so I think it's the coolest thing because I've got little stacks of books for all these people. What better way to, uh, to do an AOK than to give them some shit they actually fucking wanted? This is shit <laughs> they actually wanted. You know, I mean, and, you know, I look at the, the stack. I'm like, shit, he's got four free claims. You know, four dollars in books. Fuck it, I'll just send it to him as an A. Okay, so I did that for uh, Craig sixty nine, and I'm feeling all good about myself. Oh man, I feel. I'm like, yeah, dude, hooked him up first time. You know what? Hey, check this out. I sent him a picture. I was like, bro, first one's on me. Yeah, here's the tracking. Yeah, the next day I found the rest of his books. He had a whole nother fucking pile of books, man. So I only sent him just fucking a few of them. I wish it looked more like a hot dog instead of a mushroom, just a little bit thicker, like a Franken wiener, but like the thick kind of Franken wieners. Yeah, because it's all about the girls. There's only four people. Should I can't? I should cancel. I gotta kid. My butt. Dude, I can't cancel. I told my wife I was gonna actually do it tonight, man. So I told her I was going. Let's go. JB, thanks, man. Hey, fuck, there he goes, another AOK jumping yep. out, baby. How you like me now? We appreciate it. I just uh maybe he's giving out all kinds of uh, I just met Dustin halfway between here and Atlanta. I gave him his. Oh shit. Um yeah, now we're <laughs> packaging up stuff from the sale and getting ready to ship off the slab. So wanted to cool. pop on and tell you thank you for that. We do yeah, appreciate my, it for my, sure. My list is getting long this year, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Hey, I think I got books in that pile. You do, <laughs> you do. And look, over there is where all the the mailers are. So let's see, let's see. We're getting ready. Let's see the room tour. We got some love. Room tour. We got the back room oh, casting bro. couch. No, that's the two from, brothers from one couch. No, that's the back room couch and casting couch. That's the. And you ever seen that with those videos? Those are pretty pretty good. No, Perry. I thought you were on the brother, <laughs> sister, <laughs> cousin, <laughs> uncle <laughs> thing. Hey, hey. For some reason, it keeps recommending brother, sister stuff. I don't know why. <laughs> 
That's <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bounce, man. I am going to jump over there. I'm going to start something up. I got, you know, whatever. Hop over when you guys are done. If you're on for a little while, who cares? Okay. Maybe it's I'll come back long. in an hour. I'll come back it's in an hour. You're still on. You'll still be on. I'll go for an hour and I'll come back. There we go. I'll lurk you. <laughs> what are we doing? We're taking up disco. Later. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. Later. Hey, JB. Oh, I wanted to tell him. La that. La last week we went on before disco, and then he came out when, when he finished. He's like, hey, so disco after dark's done, but you know, I have somewhere to, to hang now. Because I feel like, you know, look, so whenever I do a show, I, I, li I like Dylan. I'm happy I found Dylan. Dylan's the guy who's like, yo, you want to go six That's hours? Good. You want to go six hours? How about we go seven? Like, he's he's down to hang. So, I like that. You know, that, that's all my boys, awesome. man. Heck, yeah. The, the the man. Got a lot of uh, on, uh... Harry, I want to ask, since you guys are all in the chat, you guys are probably the ones that will hang out anyways. Are you guys busy tomorrow? Because I got a couple of hours of stream yard. <laughs> I want to use them. Yeah, use them. Use them. Didn't like, they just reset? Them. No, they reset on the 10th. So, I figure I'm going to just use them because Monday uh. – Monday, yeah, I'll, use I'll just use slobs Monday to do my uh my what's new this week, so I don't even need it. That's why yeah. I was saying I don't with uh Perry helping me figure out how to set up all my shit for OBS and Streamlabs. I'm good now. I'll be able to maybe uh use it a little better, <laughs> why, more wisely, I guess. Actually, uh, Bueller has a real good show. I'm looking forward to it tomorrow night. You should pimp that show a little bit. Which one's that? You look at a show on Saturday. Well, it's it's uh, it's on my channel. It's on Bob. Everything. Right. Yeah. But uh, it's all of us guys from the Pacific Northwest. Myself, Sam, Bob, and Sleepy Reader are all getting together to do a roundtable in-house discussion. And yeah, I think it's at seven o'clock tomorrow at Pacific Standard Time. There you go. Pringles. Wait, you're eating Pringles? <laughs> the spring roll. Oh, spring roll. You're eating Chinese food. Wow. Man, Chinese food sounds good. Dude, that's crazy. That's, crazy. that's, that's, what, that's what we did. We, 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 we had Chinese food. That's right. I ain't got no job. I ain't got shit to do. I'm out here. I'm JB. <laughs> Just hanging out. I got some music. Do I got some music? Are we going to do any music in this stream? We're going to do some music, folks. How you doing, everybody? Thanks for joining me for another edition no, no, of no. Disco After Dark. Let me get my brain. Do I got my little thing up there? It's like, it's like yeah, you're never thank alive. you for for another edition of Disco After Dark, the adult comic book What's up, Sam? Sam, are you going to come uh, on? Chat? I haven't seen you, you know, come in a long time. we got a bunch time. of stuff going on tonight. On my tonight show. has been fantastic. The comic book community, community is on fire tonight. <laughs> and I, 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 you know, you know, man, I had some people in here know. earlier. I was over at Perry's. I was this close to like going canceling. You know, I ain't going to cancel it. Why not? People want to see disco. Let's do it. You never know what's going to happen on Disco After Dark. And as a matter of fact, at any given moment, you We're might actually watching. hear a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. It's Friday night. <laughs> it's a comic book community. I got my killer ass t-shirt uh, from Brian at Simple Man. Look at that. Is that cool? Is this carnage up in there? You know, I didn't even know it fucking said carnage in his teeth until somebody pointed it out to me. Got the Simple Man's logo on the sleeve. Cheers to that. This is my gift from my bolo box, by the way. God damn, that's loud. I got to turn that down. This is the gift from my bolo box, by the way. So, anyway. Oh. Be what do we want to talk about tonight? What do we want to talk about? Who's out here? Who's in the chat? Who's not, not out more playing watching. tonight? I like how JB is like, I'm going to go do my show. Like, bro, you know I'm a lurker. What are you doing? You know I'm going to look at you. I like, yo, Mr. Rogers. He's an awesome guy, dude. Padawan. I want to see everybody who left my show to go to JB's. Shorty, doing the disco dance. Hack 79, did you get your camera ready, man? I'll shoot you the invite. I want to see what Hack's got going on. Let's see what Hack's got going on. Dylan says, we lurking. You got to be lurking. Come on, man. You know you lurking. Perry's out there lurking me. The boy who had seven says he's, oh, he's popping in the chat right now. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> it's always fun hitting up JB. Mm. Uh, all right. Let me, let me see. So we lost Bueller. Bueller's taking a deuce. Uh, <laughs> Sam said, I'll be I'll be home in 45 minutes. What time is it? It is 12.43. All right. So it's going to be a late night because I need to have Sam on tonight. So, Sam, you better hurry the fuck up. Got it? I'm she very hard. Nice already. 
I love you, Sam. Sam, you guys guy. read this at all? Let's see what's that. Backtrack. Backtrack. Who's mm -hmm. that by? It's Oni Press. It's an excellent book. Probably, okay. I'd give it number two after Darth Vader. Oh wow, yeah. that came out this week, huh? Came out this week. Yeah. Wow. One of two things about time travel: this and the uh, man who effed up time. Okay, I, I want to see I think that. I like Backtrack a little bit better. It's kind of about this guy, mysterious guy who comes and uh, it finds all these drivers, uh, criminal drivers and drivers. Mm -hmm. and he has them go through a race and he's going to offer each one something that they, they need or something they want. Yeah. Lost loved one. And then they find out they're going to end up racing through time and they're racing through different eras, through dinosaurs and, <laughs> and all sorts of stuff. It's really a good book. I'll tell you, you sold me on a mysterious guy who comes. <laughs> <laughs> the mysterious guy that's all coming. that's all he needed to hear mysterious oh, man did. and coming let's go i oh was waiting God. for perry to say it <laughs> you got your peanut butter out tonight no. have a good night Mark. i'm all out scarf has he said instead of donating two dollars to the patreon he's just gonna send me a jar every month <laughs> hey, you get a deal out of that I'm me a case of skippy <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And a spatula. So how you doing, Nick? How 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 was your Friday thus far? Man, work all day, little baby who's so got what her. You, what, what do you do for a living? I can't tell you, it's a running thing. I gotta wait for somebody to guess it right. I was waiting for him to flip up. <laughs> I still think you're a male stripper, but I, I keep going. Yes, my big ass is a male stripper. <laughs> hey man, you never know, man. <laughs> no, I run a professional Pornhub channel. Hey, that's why he's at the black room casting couch. I called it. Yeah. What do you win? He's at the black uh, couch in the back. All the all the all the all the college girls go there. He's an right. Yeah, no, my wife's totally cool with it too. It's no big deal. He's an online stripper. <laughs> that that there you, you go. Boy, you got him. I got him. <laughs> Oh man! And then me and Dustin, we were gonna meet up first thing tomorrow morning, but now he's got to work all day, so I had to go pick up the books we sold um, from Big Wheels Auction. So I just got back about fifteen twenty minutes ago and got everything packaged up. Is that your we're first almost auction? packaged up. No, we used to do them on uh, Facebook all the time. Hi, Bueller. Hey, hey, Travis. Hey. Are you gonna ever do that on the channel? I don't, I don't know if we, I mean, if we do, I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know if that's it's something we're going to do. It's a lot of work, do. that's for sure. It is a lot of work. And to be honest with you, we did it. Um, he invited us. So we were like, okay, we'll do it. And uh, it helped kind of raise some funds for shipping, you know, the slabs off and cover yeah. the cost of that. So, you know, we yeah. want to ship as soon as possible, not hold on to things. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm very. Joke. I'm very bad with shipping. <laughs> so you gonna spend the wheel tonight, or is that tomorrow? I can't do it on here. Only on Streamlabs. Oh, you need to get you a, a physical wheel. Uh, you know, if anyone wants to send me a wheel, feel free. What city in Alabama? I bet I can guess. Ooh, are you in Alabama, Nick? Yeah. So we're, I'm actually from Atlanta. That's where me and Dustin are both from. That's what I thought. Uh, but uh, I moved I'm up. I won't tell you where in Alabama because if you want to guess, go ahead. But yeah, my wife and I moved uh, for work, so we moved to a very him. lucrative job market. Ooh. Well, he's a baller, is what he's saying. He's like, no. I'll tell you what I do, but I'm balling. A police officer. No, Stop. he's like, I do all. Right. I'm not brave enough for that. No, it just th this this city we're at. Construction. If, uh, no, I'm not construction. The city I'm at though has just got a lot of government growth. We'll leave it at that. And see, yeah. so data, data, data analyzer, marijuana. <laughs> no, Alabama will be the last city in the world that uh, proves that. Well, be for real. We can't even get a, a lotto. Like you can't buy a lottery ticket in the state. Swear, I've never yeah. bought a lottery ticket ever in my life. That's yeah. just like the biggest waste of money, in my opinion. Oh, Kachun. So later this year, I'm moving back to New Jersey, um, and I'm, so I'm going to go by myself. Before I sell the house, I'm going to go drive from Florida to New Jersey. And I'm going to be passing Georgia. And one place I want to go, because you guys refuse to go to Megacon, <laughs> I, I need to stop and see Kachun at least once. So you better make that happen. Why are you moving back to New Jersey? Because uh, my dad sells bananas, and it makes a shit ton of money. And I'm trying to make a shit ton of money, you know? 
that's not funny, but just the way you put it, like he sells look, bananas. Look, my dad came from Cuba. Hold on, I gotta change my battery. <laughs> I think we all gotta hear a banana buy him a cord. Yeah, if anyone wants to buy me a hundred dollar cord, it is not that expensive. Free. Yes, Come it on. is the official one. I'm not buying oh, a you... Chinese jump fucking knockoff. Come on, dude. Break my camera. I got one somewhere for my Canon 5D. Yeah, I don't I got trust no 5D. It in that. That's, yeah, the expensive taste. Canon 5D. <laughs> I got a fucking bottom of the barrel, fucking used eBay camera. That well, what sucks is like I can't even use that because Dustin doesn't have anything like that, so it like it wouldn't mesh well. Look at that! Somebody's giving you enough almost for a cord. Hold on, I can't get the camera. I gotta stick it in the hole before I can do anything. Right. Does he even realize he has a YouTube channel? All right, let's see. Fourteen ninety nine. That's like one of my biggest <laughs> super chats. Holy shit! There'll be let's some see. Taco Bell in the house tonight. Holy shit! Today That's was awesome. stressful. Passed out at seven. I was happy to see Perry live when I woke up. You know, most people, when they pass out and they see me when they wake up, they're usually not happy. But I'll take the compliment. Hopefully, you get $1 from this other doctor's <laughs> head in the face. This will probably be your highest super chat ever. Awesome. It is a compliment and a roast all in one. Thank you so much, Delvia and Cachon. You guys are awesome. Uh, Cachon isn't too far off. Can't make this up. Yeah, all right. So my, my dad was born in Cuba. Yeah. And then he came here on a banana boat. And then he grew up. Every time you put that camera down, I, I feel like you're going to show your willy. Uh, <laughs> and now he sells bananas, you know? And it was it's it's pretty lucrative market selling bananas. Yeah. You well, know, there everyone, you go. Everyone's got to eat. And I'm like, all right, you know, I'm tired of fucking working a, a, a shitty job when I could be a boss, you know? So let's, let's <laughs> yeah. bring in some real money. Agu said his mom won 40K off a dollar scratch off. Yo. The one place Perry I'm not, GA I'm not that house. lucky. I wish. Hey, don't. Don't tempt me. We'll do a live stream and everything. Two bros. Hold on. No. You're, you're a gynecologist? No. <laughs> you look at Vag all day, huh? You couldn't pay me enough to do that job. That, you that could pay me enough. Terrible. You could pay me a little. No. <laughs> there are some really great ones, but 90% of them were probably very bad. I've seen some videos of gynecologists. <laughs> I know we just saw some videos of vaginas. Oh, my I've God. Seen, <laughs> I've seen quite a few. L lots yeah. of the stepsister stuff, right, Perry? <laughs> Look, for some reason, that's like trending in America right now. Is you buy a kid? It's disgusting. Like, it's, think about that. That's wrong. I don't think so. <laughs> Look, if, if you had like Pamela Anderson as a stepsister, no. come on, Bueller, Bueller. If you had a stepsister, like <laughs> one day, and it was Pamela Anderson, and the parents <laughs> leave, and she's like, "Hey, I'm scared." Do you think you could hmm, cuddle me in bed while this thunderstorm is going on? Hmm? That's so wrong. Perry's been watching too much Pornhub. <laughs> hey, she's not blood related at all. That's what I'm saying. You see, Dylan be jerking into the same thing. <laughs> oh my god. His live stream has gone down. <laughs> <laughs> but Kachu, oh, he though, he's right though. I do live in Huntsville. Do Huntsville. Is that a is that a um a county? Or city. Uh, so that's actually the city. The county itself is Madison County. But yeah, big companies like Boeing, Lockheed, um, the oh, rest so you work for Arsenal. Boeing. I don't work specifically for Boeing, though. No. Um, but what, what do you say? Oh, no. No, no, no. Come on, man. I'm trying. <laughs> no. do, you work on, do you work on airplanes? No, I do not work on airplanes. Do you work with your hands? Are you a gremlin? I do oh, that so a lot. You, you type a lot. You don't. Okay. He's a data, data. Aerospace engineer. No, I'm not an engineer. He works for the government. He's, he's, a, he's a coder. He's a programmer. Nope. You're My a degree's sitting right up there. If y'all can read that. Ooh, a degree? You went to college? Holy shit. <laughs> he's a dentist. <laughs> oh, yeah. He did. One of the billions of Americans and tens of thousands of dollars in debt. College. You're in debt too. I'm in debt and I didn't graduate. I was in there and then like I took all my major classes and then my last teacher was like, hey, you realizing you're going to have to go to school for another like two years and it's going to be a lot of money. I'm like, it's ridiculous. I didn't think about it. Oh, so I fucking dropped out. <laughs> I changed my degree three times 
uh, because they kept making me take day classes. I'm like, dude, guys, I work full time. I'm not, I'm not giving up my job to go take some day classes. So I changed my, my job three different or my degree three different times before I ended up graduating. <laughs> Wow. I did the, the whole business, the business administration. That's what, I was like data analyst, but Agu said graphic design analyst. No. Well, I, I went to business because my dad runs a business. Like he runs a small yeah. business. So I, I he think, runs banana boats. Yeah. Well, no, he sells I, like Chiquita banana. So every, yeah. every Chiquita banana you see in the Northeast can't, comes from him. He's like the, the biggest major importer. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, is he trying to get his dollar job? Because that's like. Uh, that that's that's serious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh man, uh, but you know, it's it's uh, there's a lot of funny stories there. But yeah, <laughs> fucking Chiquita banana, you know. Do they have banana oh. wars between like Dole and Chiquita? Yeah. Um. Well, no, we we supply some some Dole too. We supply a lot, actually. And it's not just bananas. It's like uh, we got like mangoes and limes and and, and baby banana. We got um, <laughs> um, Jamaican hot peppers. Um, trying to get into tomatoes. Tomatoes is very tricky. There's almost like a cartel running the whole tomato market. What do they call themselves? I don't know. They call themselves. I don't, I don't know. What they, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to get into the tomato market. It was hard to get into the banana business. My dad literally had to sue, um, like Chiquita Banana. We were in the news and everything. It was crazy. It was a big, you know, the early early two thousands, late nineties was a big deal. <laughs> That's pretty That's sweet. Chaos, yes, we're we're still on chaos. Did, did your friends leave you again? Because you're always welcome to hang out with us when your friends abandon you. Because I know all about abandonment. Because I actually just wrapped up chaos as rye number one. Maverick came through and claimed his. Oh, chaos! He wrapped it up for you. Yep. I may or may not put it in a box. I don't know yet. Uh, so we got issues. How's it doing? He's a comic collector. Hey, we finally found it. You're a comic collector. No, <laughs> I just caught the joke. I, I do collect <laughs> comics on occasion. Oh man, uh, Nick ever take a flight to home base? I'm confused by that comment. Flights, ever take flights to home base? I don't understand. That's, Me neither. Maybe he's calling me an Heading alien. Home in seven minutes. All right. So I thought it was see. forty-five. Then seven. That's quick. Yeah, Sam's pretty quick. You know, he gets into Becky, gets out of Becky, in and out. <laughs> Bueller said Bueller you literally have a show with him where you guys sit inside of a vagina come on <laughs> you guys literally sit in a vagina for 45 minutes that vagina is only made for two not three pairs <laughs> I always wanted to, <laughs> always wanted to join um, alright so you, you don't work on airplanes You're, you don't work for the police nope. you're not a male gigolo you, you you don't have a Pornhub channel that's very lucrative because you might have one just not making money. You, <laughs> you and I'm not a DevOps infrastructure administrator you at Starlab shirts. Corp. You wear collared shirts. I do, and actually, like two or three streams ago on your channel, I actually had my company shirt on. Didn't realize it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You work in the automotive field. No, nope. you're a car salesman. No. <laughs> I would not relocate my whole family up here to be a car salesman. Oh, so it's big bucks now. Here we go. Well, it's not big bucks. No, no, no. You see, you just took a big salesman. shit. You just took a shit at all car salesmen. You're like, <laughs> I would just saying, I wouldn't, Atlanta has I massive car lots. I wouldn't move my family for some <laughs> shit job like that. <laughs> Why That's would I go to Atlanta, said. one of the largest car markets in probably America, to Huntsville? <laughs> no, they're still building Toyota dealerships up here. You work at Star Labs. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I do do things with DevOps folks. You, you do what? I do do things with DevOps folks. So he's not messing like the DevOps Ooh, things is real. What's the DevOps? Um, uh, you ever heard of like AWS or anything like that? No, I, I design trusses. I'm very, I'm very like narrow minded. You're an engineer. Come on, man. I know. I'm very shocked by it too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's basically like a cloud based yeah, uh, infrastructure. Is like the simplest terms I can think of putting it in. Wow. And I still don't get it. I'm retarded. Um, the cloud, the cloud, right? So Amazon's cloud Who service understands the cloud. <laughs> exactly. It's like it. once it goes up there, it's, 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 it's gone. There. I know the cloud is how we get celebrity leaked nude photos. That's, that's, that's all you need to know, know, right? I guess what is what you're saying? People no use wait, to eat dozens of types of bananas 
we're, we're all... Yeah, AWS is Amazon <laughs> Web Services. You know, there's actually a fun guy wiping out bananas. Banana business is pretty like it's in peril right now. Um, you know what's <laughs> fucked up? I didn't I didn't know. Tolerating um, you guys this long. So from a ship, if a ship goes from Colombia or South America to the, like a, a, a port of Newark in New Jersey, and they find an insect oh, on on the ship, any ins any any type of insect, they literally send the whole ship back. And in that, that time, be- all the fruit goes bad. That's crazy, you know? That is. I guess they don't want to, like, spread disease. He works for the CIA. I can see that. FBI. No, but the FBI is relocating their headquarters here and bringing 4,000 new jobs. Wow. Interesting. Yep. My boss was uh, about to be FBI, and then he said he, he dropped out of the program because of his moral compass, which raises <laughs> many questions for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> AWS is Amazon. <laughs> Yep, Amazon Web Services. Oh, Amazon Web. Oh, so you work. Uh, you're in marketing. Nope. Mm, but I'm getting close. You're a little bit closer. My my, my stepsister works for uh, um, Amazon. She works in, uh, in the marketing ads. Like she places ads on websites for Amazon. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, did you guys ever read the '90s Amazing Spider-Man Super Special, where Spider-Man, Venom, and the Scarlet Spider hid in a vagina cave from the attacker of the symbiotes? I have not. Um, I would assume maybe Bueller has read this. Oh, but S- Sam has. Sam's the Marvel guy. Sam's the encyclopedia <laughs> of Marvel. So anything vagina and Spider-Man related, Sam has to know about it. It's pretty factual. What do you What do you got there, Bueller? What do you, what do you got? What are you, what are you holding on to? What do you? Man, doing? I want that. Oh man, that's Ooh. the only. That's the one I want so bad. You gonna send that to Dylan? I have every print but that one. Same here, dude. That's the only one I'm missing out of uh, the whole run. I have every every issue first print. That's the only one I don't have. But Bueller, will you introduce me to uh, Donny Gates? No, introduce me, Bueller. You're not going, okay? I'm going. <laughs> and, hey, you don't know that. No, I I, I literally want to go to Donny and I want to. Hey, this book. Can you sign it to Dylan? I'm gonna get a book signed directly to Dylan. Hey, hey, I'm not, you gotta keep it though. Don't even there, it. Bro. I might come down there, brother. You may not find much on me. Uh, let's see. He's like, make me happier. If I, got, and if I'm not down there, I expect a signed book in Dylan's in name with Dylan's name on it, and then a video saying from Donny Kate saying. Welcome to Dylan's Comics. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to be on that Gem Mint status, bro. I need to have Donny Cates in my intro. Did he Donny, sell that? Donny Cates signature is awful. <laughs> it is pretty bad. Look at that. It is. Which is why he stopped becoming an artist and went to writing. I want. <laughs> you know, the whole important point of the book is his signature. They got uh on Midtown. They got Donny Cates yeah. and Stegman doing the signature on that book. I want to order it so bad because I'm trying to have both of them, Stegman and Donnie. Mr. D, I always call John's comments to kids a boomer because it's very funny. So in the title of this video, I did, I don't know, I, I know I, I put in dirty socks. And <laughs> for some reason, whenever I put dirty socks in my live streams, I rank like number one. So I'm going to keep dirty socks up there. And we get a lot of foot fetish community members join because of that. And then. John's a boomer, so I, I call John a boomer, and so boomers are welcome. So that, that clarifies. Mr. Really Dirty Socks ranks you. How did you even find that out? You just magic or well, m- I used to have down? a lot of. I used to have like like uh, so we used to have like a, a cleaning lady, like a maid almost. Yeah, and she wouldn't clean our socks because she was like, "Those are dirty socks." And you know, one day I was just like, "Let me throw dirty socks up there and see, you know, how I rank." And, <laughs> and we this guy's ranking before. higher than you are right now. Not in the long run. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That's it. Every title from now on is going to have dirty socks in it. Howdy, guys. How's it going, Captain Comics? He's got dirty socks and lurking eyes. He's in the right place. <laughs> Let's see. I met Donnie Cates. He's a punk rocker, dude. He's really cool. I, I, I went up to him. I'm like, yo. And he looked at me. He was like, sup? I was like, can I take a picture with you? He was like, and I was like, all right, let me, let me get into position. Hold on. You shared what was the position? Fuck off, dude. 
It was really. Let cool. me get in position. You know, it's crazy. There was no one at his booth at all. He was just sitting there talking to his lady, and I feel like it's gonna be like that this year because we have Jim Lee. Yeah. So every, everybody yeah. was in. Everybody was in the Perillo line because Perillo's from um, Italy. Or yeah, so he is like a rare guest. We have a bunch of rare guests coming this year. That number one, they don't normally do cons, and then number two, they're only doing one con this year, and it's Megacon. Yeah. So I don't, I don't see I, like a lot of people when they when they go to cons, they want to see people who they know it's going to be hard to get another signature. Donny Case is all over the place, just like Neil mm-hmm. Adams, he's all over the place. How the hell do you know who's coming? When I looked at the thing, it was only Jim Lee who I saw for like oh, creators. You, you or they go keep adding over time. No, I I could show you right now if you want if you guys want to see. I got, you I got, think I got, Segment I got, will be there and Kate's? Or just Kate's? I can find out. Dylan, if you make it down there, dude, somebody needs to record your reaction the first time you meet Donnie. Yeah, it will be Perry. Right, we're <laughs> Megacon right now. This is Megacon. I'll, be like, be, I'll just be like, move, bitch. In Orlando, Florida, uh, from April no 16th way. to the 19th. Uh, let's oh, yeah. The Hobbits are going to be there? These guys are yeah, the shoot. Hobbits are going to be there. Uh, we're also gonna get uh some fucking what? Brendan Fraser That's action. Hilarious. Look at that sexy god of a man, dude. I'm gonna have um, to bring my, my Lord of the Rings novel. That's insane. Yeah, I need to be... Mr. Mr. Sulu love. See, I was excited because Murr from Practical Jokers and Joey Fatone are showing up to ours. Uh, so we're gonna get George Lee. Look, George, George motherfucking Perez. That's all awesome. gonna be here. That's insane. Author Adams. Uh, Joshua Middleton, are you kidding? I, I always call him Joshua. I hope that's his name. I don't want to meet him and his name Josh. But Joshua Middleton, uh, Mike Grell, um, John. Let's see. Um, who else? Who else do I know? Let's see. Michael Golden. That's fucking dope. Uh, and Huck Lee and Chuck Lee, Lucio fucking Perillo, another rare United States appearance. Let's see. Uh, you know they know the real cons to go to. Who we got? Um, who else we got? This is just you know announced thus far. We don't we don't know who else is coming. Let's see. Canceled guests. Who canceled? Uh, nobody canceled. That's what. That's who canceled. Who else coming celebrity wise? We have nice. you know, Donnie Cates. Yeah, Donnie, it, they they always update like as the days go on. They add new people. So we got you know the Hobbits. We got some Star Trek people. We got Alfred Pennyworth. That's pretty dope. Uh, Mario Lopez, <laughs> Papi Chulo, right there. Uh, we got the Office cast, like, come on, dude. Uh, Adam's family. We got the guy from the Mandalorian, dude. Fucking Yo, I want crazy. Pink, we got weird, weird Al Yankovic. What? Yeah. Yeah. He was like one of the first that they announced. Let's see. That's well, insane. Got, let's see. We got we got some cosplayers going too. You know what I'm saying? Who we got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Here, look up, look up Washington State SummerCon and look at the uh, lineup of the. Uh, all right, Washington State. What is it? Washington State. SummerCon. Uh, SummerCon 2020. Yeah, there's a anyone else? Yeah, look at this. We got we got some cosplay people coming. You know how how cool is this? What? Yeah, no, I'm going to the website right now. I was just saying, you know, we got some we got some cosplayers coming. Look, we got Harley Quinn over here, dude. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, I want, I want the real one. I bet you do, man. All right, so we got guests. Let's go look guests. Let's go. You gonna find me coming out the bathroom with Margot Robbie? If she pull up. Good lord, you gotta catch a charge. You be like, yeah. Uh, oh shit, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Eastman, Whoa. Kevin Eastman. How crazy is that? We got Marv Wolfman. All right, that's pretty dope. Who else we got over here? Oh, Eastman. Oh, Peter David. Harlan. Yeah, bring some TMNT shit. Let's see who else we got. Who else we got? Starlin, Jeff Starlin, Snyder, Fire. We got. Ooh, we got Snyder. Holy shit, dude! I wish Snyder would. You know, uh, Keith Griffin. He came here last year. That's my fucking guy, dude. I want him to sign all my Omega Men threes, and I want to tell him <laughs> I'm not selling any of these. It might look like I'm a flipper because I got like twelve of these books, but I'm not. Uh, let's Thank see. We got Capullo. No, do, you have to, do you have to buy uh, separate admissions to all these? Uh, no, not, no. The, uh, usually they have something called like Artist Alley. Where they're just sitting there and you just go up to them. Now the the actual celebrities, like the real celebrities, like um Brendan Fraser or Tom Hanks, you actually have to go and, and pay to like take pictures and then get signatures separately, which is really, really weird. Like these guys, like who wants to pay to get a picture with Oscar? I don't know. I might. Barry, this is the Comic Con that I'm a host at. Hey, oh, Ray wow. Park. So Ray I get Park, to dude. host the panel for a lot of those creators. Dude, That's you're awesome. to host a panel for Mr. Cobra Kai himself? 
dude. Well, I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in the celebrities. I'm interested in both. You know. Oh, oh. You're interested in all the men. All right, let's go. Yeah, you know, and, and, uh, uh, so this is, all right, so Bula, out of all these men who you're, you're going to be um, sharing time with, who are you most anticipated <laughs> to share time with one of these men? Well, a lot, a lot of them I've already talked with. And, and, all right, but, that's fine. Who is that? Who, which one is that? But the one that I really want to talk to you is JM, JMD Mateus. And I don't know if you know who that is, but if you ever read the Craven uh, storyline, that's his work. Let's see. JMD Mateus. Um, yeah, I've seen friend. that name. Yeah, he did Craven's Last Hunt, right? Yeah, that's my favorite storyline ever for comics. He's All right, so fun. that's awesome. Let's see, he's American comic book writer and television novelist. So let's see. Um, let's see, notable works he worked on: Justice League, International, yeah. Captain America, Doctor Fate, uh, Craven's Last Hunt, Moon Shadow. That's pretty cool. Moon Shadow. I wouldn't mind talking to Eastman. Eastman is on the list. Thanks. Holy shit! Man. Look at this. Look at this DC category he's got. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit! Look at the Marvel. Holy fucking shit! Wow. Yeah, he dude. did a lot of books. He did a lot of books and television. Wow. You got a you got a good amount of uh, content that you could bring up when you're interviewing him. He's like, I just got one. Craven. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, they got they got a really great lineup this year. Oh I, yeah. I if I don't. If I'm not mistaken, but they got 20 or so really legend. For most of them, they're all legends. I mean, Kevin Eastman to me is like, I one day I hope to meet him. Like, that's insane. I mean, yeah. Snyder, I want to meet him. Greg Capullo, they pulled the carpet right from under me when I was about to meet him, which I'm, I'm very salty about. <laughs> well, like, Who is this? Who is this? Well, Kevin, Kevin Eastman, is the is... Washington is just some small town in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, no, well, you know, it's, you know. It it is really cool. It's extremely cool. Snyder and Capullo, they're gonna be trying to press that uh that new Justice League book they got coming. Or the what whatever metal book it's called. Uh Death Metal or Dark Metal? Yeah. I don't know any other cons, but that's cool, man. Uh, Nick, what what con are you going to that you're gonna neglect to go to come to MegaCon, which is like a couple hours away? Instead, you're gonna go over here. So Huntsville Comic Con is happening the same weekend, and I would love to go to MegaCon. However, Dustin's man crush, uh, Jason David Frank, is gonna be there. So Ooh, there's no way. All right, let's I mean, go. Yeah. Let him that? go, and then you come and hang with us. And yeah, we, we 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 all want you to come. <laughs> want Not you. Dustin, right? No, Dustin could come by himself. I mean, he could he could come over there. <laughs> he can go there. Um, Chris Claremont will be there, which is cool, but nothing it, like what it, you guys is are this, Is this the event in seventy days? Yep. All right. So let's see your your guest. Who you got? Uh, what What is that guy done that Dustin has a man crush on? Jason David Frank. You don't know who yeah. that is? Oh, fucking White Power Ranger, dude. Oh Green yeah. Ranger. Okay. White I'm Power bad Ranger. with like name. Well, like I don't. I can't <clears> tell you any of those actors' names. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but yeah, he's the original Tommy. He he comes uh, to like a, he is, a yeah. He is a, the Tommy. He comes to like TampaCon and stuff. That's right? yeah. That's my favorite Tommy too. Yeah. Oh, Chris Blair, not very cool. Yeah, he ate cookies for yeah, Bueller, right? <laughs> yeah, he, he, he yeah, Bueller went to go like give him a um, what was like almost like an interview on uh, like on a panel on the stage, and Chris yeah, Perker, was, he came yeah. late and ate, ate ate cookies and got crumbs everywhere <laughs> and didn't give a fuck about anything. And Bill is like, all right, well, this is fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So if I want to talk to him, just bring him cookies then? Just bring him cookies. See, I'm excited about Murr just because <laughs> I, I he cracks me up. It was a good interview. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any time to prepare. It's like I met him there on stage. The first time I met him is literally him taking the seat and me introducing him to the crowd. That's the first time I met him. And I was like, it would have been nice to talk to him before and then introduce him and have him come up and do all the stuff. But no, I literally met him right then and there on the stage. That's crazy. Like, could you imagine, like, seeing a legend like Chris Claremont for the first time and it's, like, instantly on stage and you have to go into, like, interviewed Bueller mode? <laughs> that's, 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 that, that takes a little bit out of you. you know? like, I would be like, hey, man, like, you want to, like, 
talk five minutes beforehand. No, those you two know? are cool. That's Sean Gunn um, and uh, uh, the dude Gunn. from Walking Dead and Shazam's dad. I know this guy from Impractical Jokers. He's pretty funny. Yeah. She, Kimberly, these are all like celebrity guests. They don't have comic guests. Okay, here we go. Kevin Strokes. You know what he strokes? <laughs> hey, Kane's going to be there. Mayor Glenn Jacobs. Jen, Jen Glenn, oh, he's a wrestler? He, yeah, he's Kane. Oh. Undertaker's brother. Very cool. They always bring like the most washed up old wrestlers, man. It's embarrassing sometimes. He's going to okay. come in a suit and they're going to be like, what the hell? We thought we were getting Kane. <laughs> Let's see who else is coming to this thing. He still wrestles Kane. Oh, he's the mayor of Knoxville now. He looks so badass in the match. Yeah, he, was at, he was at the Royal Rumble. He wrestled for a short time. That's funny. He, he's old now, man. Yeah, but he, he, was so, he was the one you were like scared shitless of, man. But yeah, everybody's pretty much. Oh, and Joey Fatone's coming too. But yeah, Chris Claremont and um, uh, JDF are the only two that people are really coming for. So. Who are these guys? Marina. Probably some girl Power Rangers. Not that Joe. What's that Joe with the Pink Ranger? That's the only important Power Ranger that there ever was. You can go see Counselor Troy. Let me let me let me let me let me whip this back around. All right, let me see. Um, yeah, that looks fun. Now, well, Bueller left. I was going to ask him if he's going to be uh, either live streaming or or after the fact streaming any of those things he's doing panels. Oh well, since he's going to MegaCon, I'll be I'll be trying to like be like a, a thorn in his ass the entire time he's there. So I'll try to like capture as much footage and live streaming capabilities. As no, I I, can. I, oh, some of those panels they don't like your live streaming or even recording them. So yeah, but you know I, I like to do things that people don't like to what do. And you know, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna I, show up and put a camera in Chris Claremont's face and just see what he does. Yeah. How you like that, bro? Like ten feet. I mean, just just how they sent you that warning from MegaCon from the actual office. That applies towards me as well. <laughs> what was the warning? They they sent like a crazy email saying that like the email started off in like regular letters and then it slowly graduated <laughs> into all capital letters. Like, please stand twelve feet away at all time from any guest or celebrities. When you're recording or we're doing anything, or you'll be kicked out, non-refunded, you'll be put on a ban list. We'll delete your YouTube channel. A bunch of crazy stuff, you know. Just, just they're they're just total like they're they're assholes. I should have said I work for Fox News or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the comic books. What comic book, Sam? You're the comic book guy. You need to bring the comics here. What are you doing, Sam? Come on, man. Let Becky rest, man. You got to come on here, man. You've been powing it, powing. Going to Pound Town too much, man. Come on, oh, God. Sam, take my spot. Sam, come on, come on in, and I'll bow out, fill my hole. Come on, Sam, fill my hole. <laughs> come on, Sam, fill my hole. What a great quote. I asked. <laughs> Brendan Fraser, what's the last even watchable movie he's been in? Hey, man, he's, well, he's, he's he been through. He was in Doom Patrol. He killed he Doom Patrol. Yeah, he was, he was the best part. He was the voice. I don't think he was in the costume, but he was fantastic. He was. No, I don't think he was in the no. costume. Oh. But he was fantastic in Doom Patrol. I thought he, he was had sex in the movie. Like, I mean, he was banging the nanny. He yeah. was, dude, wasn't his big old ass. I seen his ass cheeks. I was like, oh, <laughs> come on, girl. I was like, oh my god, he's he's getting after it. And then and then that flex guy when he flexed in front of that flex, whole town. Flex Matalo. Yeah, he flexed the wrong muscle. <laughs> that was a trippy series. <laughs> the mummy, yes. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> uh Nick Skinks Inks. I win. <laughs> oh, Nick S C I Inc. No? No? Yep. So that is one half of the company I work for. Wow. So look at this. So he's, we're, we're, he's really getting into it. We're he's really the onion bat. He's like on some fucking Batman detective shit. Yeah, he's, he's got the Batman logo. Man. He's over here. He's got all the lights off. He's hacking. He's got like five computers going at one time. He's like, I'm trying to wake up in the morning. He's going to be on their doorstep, probably. He's like, I found you. I found you. (laughs) Nick, how crazy would it be if one day you, you like, you're walking around the office or something, and then you notice one of the guys there has a YouTube channel and you're like in in his streams or something? Like, I've always felt like I'm going to like go to work or go somewhere like I'm I'm used to and then see someone that's a part of the community. (laughs) I'm going to be like, that's a little weird. 
You know? Yeah, I see. Yeah, I don't know what I would do to be honest with you. I don't know. I think it would be weird if somebody like came up to me and was like, "Hey, man, I see your YouTube channel." It's like I really don't know. What, I don't know how I'd react. It is. I probably extreme. would just stare at him like, "I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I, I'm not on YouTube." That's not me, man. <laughs> I, I, like, walk, I walked. I walked. Somebody else. I was walking into the shop, and this guy was walking out, and he yeah. said, "Hey, you're Perry. You talked about Batman Who Laughs. Like when I first kind of like started, like I had like two, three hundred subs, yeah. and I was like, yeah, that's me. I'm on the YouTube's. I, I talk about Batman. I like Batman Who Laughs.' He's like, yeah, you got me to buy that issue. I just picked it up. I was like, that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I didn't know what to say. I was like, "You want to shake my hand?" <laughs> you know. And so I shook his hand. You want to sign your baby? <laughs> no, it was, it was the weirdest experience. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and I like, I, I was like, "Oh, but to shit my pants right now." I don't know. I I never been, you know, I never been approached in this manner before. And I think, yeah. I think after that, he's never tried to contact me ever again. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know what I would do. I would it's be so happen. uncomfortable. It's going to happen because. Like, I don't even like being in the center of attention to, for anything. So just the simple fact of doing this is, like, stressful enough sometimes. But to, for somebody to come out and say, oh, my God, you're you're one of the Two Brothers comics. Like, no, dude, I don't just jump out. It, I'm, it, I'm, it, it, it is weird. I don't know how, how Bueller, his take on it, but I've met multiple people. And they've all, like, said, hey, you know, you're, you're Perry Comics. How's it going? And then they say, like, they're, like, their tag name. And I'm always trying to be, like, Oh, that's awesome because like I talk to you like all the time in the chat, you know, like I message you and shit, and then like when I see him, I'm like, hey, how's it going? And it's like I don't know, I don't know what to do right now. It's really <laughs> weird, man. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna walk away. You know, <laughs> it's very weird. Bueller, do you have any yep. similar experiences? Um, up, he weird. probably had us on mute the whole time. <laughs> he said he didn't want to deal with it. I get recognized quite a bit. Obviously, if I go to a Comic Con or a comic shop, I usually oh, get yeah. recognized, and uh, it's it's always kind of weird. There's actually one time that it's kind of cool. I was at the Comic Con, and I was I had my camera with me, and I was gonna go set it up to film something, right? And I'm walking, and the camera's turned on, and then somebody come up behind me, and they tap me on the shoulder, and they go, "Oh, hey, you're Bueller," and stuff like that. And so I'm like, "Oh, hi," you know, and so I set the camera down. And the camera's still filming, and you can hear us talking on the other side of the camera. The camera is filming um, this other gentleman. He's with his wife, and they're like in line. Turns around and sees the camera, and then looks up and says, "Oh, that's Bueller," type thing. So it's literally like three people recognize me at once, and I was <laughs> wow, this guy recognized me, and I didn't realize I had that footage until like a, a month later when I went and looked through it. I went, oh. Cool, you know, so it's it's kind of nice to have that memory. So I actually saved yeah. that video. You've never seen it. I saved yeah. that video clip, but uh, it's it's not happened to me outside of a shop or uh, a comic con. Same. And I think when that day comes, that'll be really weird. So listen, like I'm so worried about it. Like I started just going like to the comic shops at the very last second before they close. <laughs> like. I'm just so worried that one day it's like, you just or like what, everybody <laughs> <laughs> or like um, when we did the uh, the interview with the uh, the local comic shop I go to, I'm like, no, dude, we're showing up at eight o'clock before you ever open. When they start coming up to you in the uh, grocery store, that's when you got to worry. Yeah, <laughs> because we're in I don't know. I guess so. That, that, maybe that is, you know, that, one picture, Sarah, that one picture I put on Instagram of me talking. To Embrace it. <laughs> what, what happened? That one picture I saw on Instagram, me and Thomas. Um, I can't. I can't hear. Oh, I can't hear you. you cut out. You cut out, Bill. Maybe if we make you big, Bueller. Can you hear me? A little bit. That one picture I put on Instagram that has me and Todd McFarlane talking to each other. Yeah. Um, that picture was actually somebody took that picture in line, and then other. I didn't even know who this guy was. He took that picture. <laughs> he posted it on Instagram. And instead of people saying, oh, that's so cool, it's not a phone, there's a bunch of comments saying, hey, that's Bueller, that's Bueller. That's Bueller. And then I go and I look at this photo, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. He didn't he didn't know who I was. And so How I screenshot that? that and shared it online. And then he went back and he changed the caption. He goes, 
uh, saw Tom McFarlane today and apparently comics with Bueller. And I thought that was pretty cool. So that is cool. That's awesome. I, like that I, I, I think Tom, Todd McFarlane's one of the like the few that I would pay a lot of money to fly somewhere to go see or just to meet for no other reason than just to talk to the guy. The, the, the dude seems just insane and like he would have some of the best stories. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very I wonder if it's uh, Oscar who, who's on the Lost in Comics right now because that's kind of like uh, two brothers. You never know which one is on it, I think. It, yeah. Yeah. yeah fun. But, uh, yeah, Lost in Comics, come on, man. Take my spot. I'm going to jump out, fill my hole. I'm not going to leave until you come in here. So come on in, man. Yeah, someone's need, someone needs to come so he could so he could leave. Here, I'll so, send him the link. Needs to I fill send him the link. link. Hey, you're you're more than more than happy to duck out. You know, I, I know it's a little bit late. You know, it's it's a little on. late. <laughs> it's late night. You know, so this is a night where you know we got to hang out with the night it's owls. Night. I had a feeling it might be Chris. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, it is Chris. Yeah. Well, I sent him the link on IG, but I see you sent it too. The uh, I bet you I see. Be- Agu's like Bueller 6'5". I'd probably be one of the few people that stands next to Bueller, and he's like, thank God somebody is as tall as me because I'm the I'm same height as Bueller. That's a, that's a myth. That's a myth? Yeah. I'm, I'm actually only about 5'3". Oh, wow. I'm 4'11". <laughs> yeah. So uh, Bendis must be like, a, he, must be a, <laughs> he must be a hobbit. He's a midget. Oh, can you say that word? I'm not sure if you can say that anymore. What is it? What is it supposed to be? Dwarf? I think it's dwarf now. Little person. It's a little, little person. Yeah. I don't know. In New Jersey, there's a town called uh, in Fort Lee where there's a whole neighborhood full of little people. Damn. No way. I it's swear. Oh, I, I don't so, know what it's called, but it's it's a lot of people go there to like it's like a sight to see. It's so early when you come out New Jersey, man. That's... Because look, it's very rare to see one little person. So to see like a whole little neighborhood of them, it's, it's like, like a village. It's like a little village, you know. And like the houses are like made the Shire. Let's see. Oh, he's almost out of work. Ninety mf. How's it oh going? yeah. What what is it? Two o'clock. Yeah, he he's the guy with the foot fetish. So Yo, I made this, this thumbnail for him. Where the fuck is Sam? Yeah, what the fuck is Sam? Sam was there, he but said, he wouldn't come in. He wouldn't come in. Why wouldn't thought, he come? Come on, I told Sam. I plug my hole, but he wouldn't do I it. I saw him what? He said, oh, my God, LOL, the mummy. Yeah, screw that. Oh, we started, New- started talking about the mummy, and he bounced. Yes, that that that. I think Weird New Jersey is like what started the whole weird saga. Because we, we had like the Jersey Devil, which the the hockey team was named after. Oh, the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil. That's like a like a like a actual lore in the in the. Yeah, we have like the Devil's Tower. Um, we have um, there, there's like a lot of crazy stuff in New Jersey that has to go with like like spookiness stuff. Like uh, like there's a lot of kids in my high school which I never was invited, but they would go out <laughs> to all these crazy events, and it was, it was like haunted houses and stuff. I would Why hear about it, it. I don't know, but I would hear about it. <laughs> hey, no worries, Lost in Comics. You know the the doors always open though for the future. Got to work in the morning? Come on. Don't be a bitch. Dylan just opens up every, everybody's doors. That was hey, good. Well, good night. Uh, everyone's welcome to come hang with the, with the comic book cousins. Where's yeah. hey? Where's JB? You know he ain't still going live. What hey, maybe he is. I didn't check back in. Oh, he's probably ending soon. He only lasts an hour. Oh, wait. <laughs> he started late. I should have been home by now. Sam, what are you doing? No, yeah, he's still alive. Sam had Taco Bell, so he's dropping a deuce real quick. Let's see, Perry, he's, got, he's got D. Runk and Chad RCG on it. On Does the, he really? Here, yeah. let's, let's go check out. Off, he just showed off that purple Nosferatu spawn uh, San Diego Comic Con slab. That dude got books, man. For real. What this guy's doing. Get rid of the nine sixes and upgraded nine eights. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew it. I knew it. Except for that one. I mean, there's only five hundred. Oh, so you know, there's only two other nine eights. When are you gonna go hit those fuckers up? These are all the two ninety nines. There's only five hundred of. Yeah. There's only five hundred of this one too. Patrick Wall is in the house. Is disco disco? There's only a thousand of this one. So. Damn. Oh, it's signed by McFarlane too. Wow. He's like, that's my Chad is my fucking idol. idol. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, very cool, man. Hey, so, so wait a minute, let me get 
I just, I just want to review some for the because you know we were talking about mystery boxes and everything, and, and this is the king, the king of the mystery boxes. So you reached out to me, and I'll share this now because I think it's it's kind of funny oh, how ironic this is. And you said, Hey man, what's up with this bake box? Yeah. You asked me, you said, I, I trust you, JB. What do you, what's yeah. up with the bake box? And I said, Bake's a good dude, man. Yeah. You know, he, he may have he may have gone off a couple times on live streams and people aren't cool with that, but hey, he is a good dude. Check it out. So then everyone that gets a bake box gets entered into a raffle, <laughs> a randomizer for some extra prizes. I got six of the boxes out of six. I said I'll be here when JB leaves you like all. <laughs> and you hit not just first place, <laughs> but second <laughs> place too. Yeah, no, this guy is crazy. The so king of the mystery box. He's a Patreon member of mine too. Spot. He, yeah, um, what'd you think of the boxes themselves individually? He, Were they okay? I, I just, Literally buys well. like every mystery box. I'm I, I have not heard anybody that did not do well on theirs. My thing, like I told him, I told Jay Blitz, who has his box out now. I think he's got like 18 left. I would rather have five decent books, if not drink, good man. older yeah, books, than 20 bullshit books, man. Any day of the week. I don't want two good books and 18 well, shit. Like, I I mean, I no I four opened up. Over yeah, that's what, what happened? I, when I sent the books to Discovery, I sent those bake boards that uh, Bake sent me in my box to Discovery, so I passed on the boards and He's going to sign them so that everybody knows eventually you're going to get a board that's going to have about 50 or 60 different signatures on from the community. Wow. Knowing that these boards have gone through so many people. Because everybody seems to be passing them on. Oh, yeah. I I'm Perry's super jealous. Do that with the, what? With the, you're going to do that with that shitty Mighty Morphin Power Ranger book. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually got like, like seven or eight, eight, eight trades I want to send out. But I, I want to do what Bueller did last year at MegaCon. He shipped out Steve Whiting a uh, Immortal Hulk number one, a blank sketch variant, and he got it signed by like almost the entire Florida community. Which if it feels like Florida has the biggest amount of people in this entire community. It's because no state income taxes. I was gonna say that almost everybody I've seen online have been from Florida. Almost. Yeah. We're, we're we're pretty strong down here. It's a good amount of us, you know. Or, or, or there's just not a lot to do. There, there probably isn't, you know. Well, all we got is comic collectors. <laughs> Strip clubs and comics. Yeah. And gators. You ever they, see a gator? I, I've seen multiple gators. Have you really? Yep. Oh, yeah. I there, bet there's, you, there's I very, bet you there, would probably wrestle one, wouldn't you? I would never. No, I, I'm terrified <laughs> of anything like that. I had a friend. We're well, not really a friend. I moved down here my senior year of high school, and... This guy is like, he's like, hey, you want to go hunting with me? I was like, I don't want to go fucking hunting, dude. He's like, well, I, I could take you home. I was like, I appreciate it. I don't want to go on the bus. And then as we're driving home in his Bronco, he slams on the brakes. And he's like, you seen that? I was like, I, uh, what are you talking about? He's like, there's a gator in there. You want to go get it? I was like, no, dude, take me home. What is wrong? Sort of rednecks are the best yeah. right now. <laughs> he's like, I'm, not, I'm from Jersey, bro. I don't, I, I've never even seen like the wilderness like this before. This That's is, awesome. Oh, there it is. There it is. Bueller's got that. Wow, he's got it on hand, too. Look at that big PC. I have a horrible signature. <laughs> this, one, this one's better, I think. Yeah, that was Donnie Cates. That Cates's is wife. nice. Yeah. Yeah, Donnie Cates' wife. She knows how to draw. Yeah, this is pretty easy. Honestly, Perry, thank you for this, buddy. This is one of my prized possessions in my collection. I bet. I, I can't wait to... I want to get an expensive one, an expensive sketch cover that's hard to find so I can get everyone's signature on it because... That's like like stuff like that. What Bueller just showed, fuck any any one in one thousand variant like that. Like that that right there is you you'll never find anything like that again. And it's, yeah, it's, it's us, it's, you know, it's us. It's like my kids' book over there. This, this I mean, it's it's better than a than, than anything. Like the people that you don't even know. Wow, these, these are just re regular viewers that came up to me that don't do YouTube channels. Wow, and I need to find that for me as well. That's amazing. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I have to, uh, I have to go do some trash bin diving before it gets light. So, <laughs> oh no, you're fine. I appreciate you hanging out. You hanged out for a good almost what, almost three hours with us, man. You're a trooper. <laughs> uh, you guys have a good evening. We'll catch you later. Take it easy, Very man. Cool. I appreciate you showing your pussy. Everybody. Multiple tell, times. Tell, tell, <laughs> it's back. The peanut butter's on its way. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I'll let him know. <laughs> uh, yeah, night. That's a good one. He's awesome. Oh, oh man. man, he's so funny. Oh, let's see. Kirk. Well, we got Kirk over here. Let's see. That's freaking awesome. Pay it forward. 
with trade paperbacks, read one, pass it. That's what, yeah, we had, um, well, me and John started doing that in the summer and then it kind of fizzled out and then Jabroni came here and he was looking and then he's like, hey, can I take this? I'm like, I don't care. You know, like, that's the thing with trade paperbacks is once you read them, they just sit there. Yep. Do you really yeah. care about reselling them? No, who the fuck is selling trade paperbacks? You might as well share the stories with different members, you know, and pass it around the yep. community. Uh, let's see. The comic I don't know if paying it forward with a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers book is, you know. I mean, they sent it to me, but... so I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to Dylan because <laughs> Dylan loves Power Rangers. Oh man, see that? Yeah, that. Oh, let, uh, Beulah, you got that '90s uh, Mile from Comics signature on that Immortal uh, Hulk? I didn't see it. He's got a little nah. baby. He's got a little baby signature. Mm -mm. All that little. What, what what is with all the people signing in the bottom right hand side? Like little. Like they, they can't write. I wanted to do some John Hancock shit, which is why I did like a big PC. I don't want you to see that shit. I don't know. <laughs> you know one of my there, favorites? There's some on the backside? No, there's not. That's what oh. I'm saying. You can see back. There would have been better if you signed it. I'll be down in a second. Good night, Dylan's mom. Can I see your uh -huh. mom? Can I can I meet her? Nah, that's my little sister. Oh, can I meet your sister? Perry. <laughs> that's wrong, man. <laughs> what do you mean? That's, that's so wrong. wrong. Oh, Rod the Regan. Oh, wow. She ain't gonna put she ain't gonna put herself on camera. My mom my mom won't even do that shit either. That's cool. You might have said one time a live stream, my mom said I. We want to meet the Dylan family. How cool would that be? First appearance tonight. Dude, you know I'm the oldest of seven. Damn, Ooh. we got a whole gang in that house. <laughs> yeah, a whole dude. It says on the outside, it says "Welcome to the Zoo." <laughs> and I no fucking lie. See, I got. I think I got eight kids in my family now. Wow. Really? Yeah, eight kids. Yeah, bro. that's because my dad remarried. Uh, I thought yep. you said you had eight kids. I was Ooh. like, throw a condom on. Man, seven, eight, seven um, kids. Oh, one dad. Seven olds is enough for me. Yeah, I got one. I don't want no more. Let's see. I got three brothers one and guy. three sisters. Two, uh, Florida be repping hard in the community. Yes, Chad, we go hard in the mother. Yeah, I was just gonna say too. Ninety beat me to it, but that Carnage book that he's got with his uh, daughter's footprints. Oh yeah, that. That was one of the coolest things ever. Yeah. Oh, so that's her footprint. Yes. Yeah, so if you zoom in on it a little bit, well, so you see at the bottom here. I don't know if you guys can see. You put but it on Donny Gates' book. I did. Well, it was the most popular book. So it says Ellie's first comic visit, 10 5 19 at Haven Comics in Huntsville, Alabama. And then uh, I sent it off to get it slabbed. And they wrote up top uh, everything I wrote on it and misspelled visit. So I had to send it back to get it fixed. But yeah, that's her actual footprint from that day. Wow. And when they mess up, do you have to pay again? No, you they'll fix it. You no, it's really their fault. They'll fix it. You, yeah. Oh, okay. fix it. That's awesome, though. The, uh, what if, Carnage book what if it came back like a nine two? No, Ooh, dude, definitely my, do it. That's why I put it out there. My son is gonna be born by Monday, so the baby hasn't popped yet. Holy shit, Chad! That's huge. That's awesome. Congratulations, congratulations, team, man. man. Wow. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll be right back. When you cut the umbilical cord, I, it was very weird for me. I didn't do it, dude. My my wife was a just straight. She killed it, dude. She had the baby. Touch it off. Pulled the scissors out. <laughs> Like, I was still freaked out just because a baby came out. And I'm like, I was there. The nurse came up to me. She's like, You got to cut it. I'm like, I don't want to cut it. She's like, Cut it. I was like, All right. I feel like you're going to cut me. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had an aggressive. Uh, her nurse was aggressive like that, too. And this guy's like, No, no, no. I want to cut it. So I let her do it. I just couldn't, man. It just, ew. Stuff like that freaks me out. Really? Did you cut the umbilical cord? Yeah, I cut it. With the teeth? Yeah. I my I cut my my son's umbilical cord his uh, but my my daughter was born through a cesarean but I was in the room for that and that was the growth yeah pretty much yeah. yeah we were close and I was so worried I I was worried I was gonna pass out <laughs> go check my video I dropped it Sam stop promoting your video you dropped during my live stream and just jump on the stream and promote it live. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! No, but definitely go check out Sam's channel. Sam's the fucking man, dude. Uh, I love that BS show. Yeah, no, the the BS show is is just the best it, part it, about uh, the the best part about it is just <laughs> just, <laughs> just staring at the phone for the first ten minutes, waiting for it to show up. 
I love it, man. It's so funny because because Bila knows he's live. Like in like when you, it, when you, it, when you live stream a lot and you press the button, you know, like you just have yeah, to it's know. gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Nick and I definitely have to make it happen. It's such a great. Hold on. Yeah, dude, definitely do it, man. Just pick whatever popular book is going on. Get the blank and uh, put it on there. It's uh, <laughs> maybe I should make a hashtag for it. They didn't even give me the option of cutting. <laughs> Why is Bueller so quiet? Because he's waiting for you, Sam. My wife's umbilical cord looked like a rope you tie up a crab boat with. <laughs> I think they all do. Seriously, man, that was. So, so Perry, what do you think about that logo Dylan's got? I don't know how I feel about it. Well, look, I look. I told Dylan I, I wanted to like help him make like a new logo, but I'm like, all right, I see like he's going in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? And I got him with the intro. I'm gonna get him with the intro, kind of like mine. But like more like videos of him. I don't want to have his intro be of me. Um. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so like he kept messaging me. He was like, "Hey, you know, logo, logo, logo." And I was like, "Would well, you need help or do you want help? Is that kind of what you're getting at?" And he said, "Yeah." I was like, "Okay. Well, what are you wanting to do?" And he's like, "I kind of like the DC logo." I said, "Okay. Well, I'll alter it or whatever and kind of make it look like your own." But yeah, I don't know. I told him because he's like, "I don't want it to look like I'm biting off of you." I'm like, "Dude, fucking bite away, dude." Um, I felt like. Some because he showed me a couple of them where like you could see different things in the background. But when you're looking at that shit on your phone, you don't know what the fuck you're looking at. Yeah. And see it. and that was kind of the thing. I'm like, I can make it a solid color, I can change it, you know, you, you know how it is, you can do whatever, but he really wanted some Captain America in there. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if you know, if that's that's you know what Dylan likes, that's what Dylan likes, you know what I'm saying? Like like I told everyone, like YouTube is your own expression. My son's name is Luke, like mine, and Hialeah brought him his first book already, Star Wars number one. That's cool. So jealous because that book had eluded me for years and my son owns it before I do. Damn you, Hialeah. That's awesome. Bueller's just chilling, enjoying his Friday. Hell yeah, man. This is the first time that that Bueller didn't jump on the last ten minutes of my stream. And he's like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. That's a that's a bold face lie again. <laughs> you look like you're about to pass out. This is the worst. <laughs> Looking forward to having coffee with Chad down there in uh, my era, uh, Florida. What about me? Well, he said something in the chat, so I just want to recognize that. So. Yeah. But I want to have coffee with you too. You drink Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks? <laughs> what are you shaking your head for? You want to go have? We we could go to Super Saiyan. You're, you you like Dragon Ball Z? I'm so disappointed. I didn't know that existed. It is literally a restaurant called Soup or Saiyan. That really upsets me. And the whole thing is Dragon. Ball. Yeah, it is insane. It's cool. I used it's to go down there shit. all the time. And not one time. I see. I used to go down there to uh, Ebor City, that little area with all the cocks, um, and uh, <laughs> it's filled um, with cocks in Ebor. <laughs> Literally, cocks all, all over the place. place. You can't touch the cocks, though. No, no. I be home in five quickly. minutes. You told me you'll be home in seven minutes, Sam. You need a watch. We need the hashtag. Get Word Sam a watch. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. That's why the BS show is always late. <laughs> there's, no, there's no time for the BS. It's not on a schedule. I always ask Sam, "What size the BS show?" He's like, "It'll be sometime this afternoon." I don't know. <laughs> We're literally just sitting on the couch. Like, are you want to do it now? I don't know. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> are you playing video games? You're fucking sitting there playing Destiny. You know, no, it's really hard to get Sam off his phone. I mean, Sam's phone is connected. You know, all the time. He he never looks up. Like, I mean, I'm surprised he hasn't got hit by a truck. Because he's literally <laughs> staring at that thing 24-7. He does it on the live stream. He's sitting there looking at it on the live stream as we're doing the show. I'm like, dude, the screen is right there. It's <laughs> 10 times bigger than your phone. <laughs> That's awesome. Where, where do I find this Mocha Express? Yo, there's a real, there's a good burger in L.A. Home of the go, burger. Can I take your order? That was a good movie. Good the burger, Mondo boy. Burger. Good burger. Can I take your order? I know everybody wanted to try a Mondo Burger. What up, Wolf? How you doing? Wolf, are you coming to Orlando? I'm gonna... oh, Wolf, you live in New York, bro. I'm moving back to Jersey, bro. I need to hook up with Wolf Warner, dude. 
We need to do some stuff, bro. I, I'm surprised that Wolf Warner doesn't have like like a thousand more subs than me. Like he's his shit's fucking on point, man. Perry's gonna go play with bananas. Pretty much. My grandfather, he was funny because everyone would always try to come in and get a deal. And he was like, Yeah, you know what? I'll give you a whole box of plantains because you, you don't buy single bananas. You buy like a, a box of bananas. Yeah. And he's like, You want to get the box for free? Okay, stick the Hawaiian plantain up your ass, you get it free. Hawaiian plantain is very thick. <laughs> so they're like, go ahead, stick it in your ass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he, he was he was yeah, he was very before the Me Too movement. He was very out there. You know, Clearly, he didn't, he didn't. He didn't care. <laughs> Just rewatch. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> Bueller, we love your chemistry. Though. Yeah, Bueller and Sam is like is is literally. It's just fun watching. It it's really is. Watch, you know, and it's perfect because the day after I go lurking and then I start to run out of content. And I just sit down for 20 minutes and just put the show on. And like Bueller's content is content for me. It's great. You know? Hey, recycling programs. Recycling. I don't know what, what I like more about Wednesdays, new comic book day or watching the BS show. Like it, it it's a talk. Like, I don't know what to pick. It's so funny, man. It makes my Wednesday dude. Cause I'll be just sitting there bored as hell. Yeah. Cause I'm, there's like nobody live on Wednesday. There's not. And, At and least Biggie not Shack's not live. Day. Like I, I look forward to Biggie Shack being live in the early afternoon, and if he's not, I kind of get pissed off. I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Why aren't, why aren't you out buying comics? I need this shit. Come on, you know. And, and my road trip, it should be towards what, what is the the first of summer, like May June ish area. That's when you're relocating. I, yeah, after after MegaCon, because like property values went up so high right now in my area that I'm in, that it's yeah. kind of stupid if I don't sell. Oh, for sure. That's yeah, what I'm waiting like, on in here in Huntsville. Like, 100% profit. I mean, when the fuck do you see that in real estate? I mean, I mean, I don't fucking see 100% profit, you know? Like, I'm going to come out with a bag, so I'm pretty happy. Let's see. Nick and Dylan, you guys are great, too. <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> Perry, eh, is mediocre at best. But I'm the best at mediocre. So you know what? At least I'm championing in my own thing, you know? That's what you got to do. If you're going to do something wrong, go hard doing it. Oh, yeah. Hey, send the link. How many times did I put this in the chat? Literally anybody could jump on at that point. Anybody could come in. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you want to come, you are more than welcome to come for me this evening. <laughs> Heck, I have to be a Patreon member to get the link. No, well, Patreons always get first dibs. I feel like that's kind of cool, you know. And then I post like very embarrassing videos, of me. like like I did folklords. <coughs> I don't know if, if you guys. Let me see if I I, got, I forgot it somewhere over here. Let's see. Let's see. I got folklords. Yeah, you should be one of my patreons. I'm just saying, you already use my content. You should at least use one. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So this is literally what my channel is turning into. Where is it? Where's the screen share button here? Let me let me share some audio. This is, you should this do a whole lurking, whole lurking session. session. And, oh oh oh! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I think I hide this. Hide this. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. So this is once upon a time. No, just as one time. And so <laughs> this kid. Aren't you supposed to be there by now? <sighs> This thing never works. This kid really didn't belong. This kid dressed crazy. Like, how cool is that, man? You know? So that Darth Vader one. Darth Vader one was awesome. Phenomenal. Well, it was more like, it's like action-packed, and it's kind of like a character that we all know. Yeah. You know, so like, when I was sitting down doing this one, like, I'm like, all right, we, nobody really fucking knows folklore unless you're reading comics. Well, that's I'm why like, I want the Kanto one, because the, the little guy needs a voice. He does. I, I, I could do Kanto, you know? David Boer's going to be on. I Fuck should do you. I should do a, a a Patreon tier for like fifteen or twenty bucks, and I'll I'll read an entire comic for you. Remember, <laughs> I told you. No, dude, that's not worth it. That is totally worth it. It takes like eight hours to do. What do you mean? No, that's what I'm saying. It's not worth it for you. Oh, I mean for twenty bucks. So twenty bucks. Yeah. 20 bucks. Twenty bucks for ten hours worth of work. I mean, it's fun work though, you know. I guess. Remember, I told you one two comic talk wanted to do like the live stream reading a book out loud. Yeah. But that's too that hard to do first. live. I know I'm. Like, I don't know how he wants to do it, but he still wants to try to do it. But uh, the he wants to do Canto for the first book. If I was on a workout, hop and go to the bathroom, Chad. Fucking go live from the from the urinal or something. Yeah, Perry you know? live streams with people from the shower. 
I don't mind, dude. You want me to take you to the bathroom? Let's go. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, hold on. This is this is the the celebrity guest of the hour. Sam's motherfucking tangled web is in the building. How you doing, Sam? I, I'm I'm doing okay now that I'm home. Dang. Hey. What what were you doing? What were you out like slaying the night, getting all the ladies? No, no, I'm trying to get home. Jeez. From where? What were you doing? I was watching watching a little bit of uh, the wrestling, and uh, you know, so it took me a while to get here. I like to watch wrestling, like stepsister, really? stepbrother wrestling. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> Oh man! So now, yeah. As soon as you show up, that's when Bueller disappears. Yeah, but what's no. up? <laughs> You're excited to come down to Florida too, you know? I, yeah, I am. I can't wait, yeah. man. See, like every, every, you see, this, this is the thing though. Everyone wants to go, you know, because it's Bueller. Everyone wants to go see Bueller. But I'm like, <laughs> all right, you know, I'm gonna see Bueller. The the guy you actually want to see is the man behind the scenes, the one who gives Bueller all the great content, Sam. There. That's, that's right. <laughs> you heard okay. that, Bueller? Oh, Bu- he, he turned me off. He don't want to. We B- Bueller and I have been challenged by two two people. Uh, so, what are you talking about? I'm talking about those comic cat dudes. What are you challenged? They, they challenged us to uh, a comic, like some kind of comic quiz thing or something. I don't know. I forfeit. <laughs> Is that comical? Yeah, they, no, oh, no, comical. no. They like had like a Ray Mysterio mask on, and they were like, "Bula, we're gonna get you!" And all this, you gotta see it. Oh, <laughs> Try <Probably> trying <laughs> to troll. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, when we were on. I thought you were talking about Comic Corp because whenever me and Dustin went on, they're like, before they went live, they're like, "Oh, you guys want to do the first trivia night that uh, uh, the Hero Initiative is doing." Maybe we're like, sure, whatever. They're like, okay, it's going to be Bueller and Comic Tom. We're like, uh, no, just kidding. No, 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 <laughs> no. I feel like I feel like Bueller has a persona of knowing a lot about Marvel, but I think really all that knowledge comes right out of Sam, and Bueller just regurgitates a lot of it. I feel like that's what I, that's what it is. <laughs> well, the first, <laughs> the oh, first oh, question. That Sam? <laughs> <laughs> well, the the question they gave us was like, "What is Superman's religion, and what episode, or what what book did it come out in?" And it's like all this crazy stuff. I'm like, dude, I couldn't tell you a thing about about any character. <laughs> can religion. I use the Kika like the rap? <laughs> That's what I told him. I was like, as long as I can Google, I'll take on anybody. But I mean, come on. That's so cool. I got a free shirt. Not really. I had to pay. I think ten dollars for this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm like I'm a Patreon member of uh, Discovery Bay. Yo, Sam, can't wait to meet you as well. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like JB just takes his Patreon money and then just turns around and spends it right back on everybody else's Patreon because he supports everybody. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Comics on the Mind's coming to Florida too. Whoop, whoop. He's flying down to Florida. How cool is that? I'm blown away by how many people in the community are are coming from out of state. Yep. To MegaCon, it's amazing. It really you is. Come up with a census and figure out everyone who's coming. I think that would be kind of cool to figure out exactly who all is coming. Like have a spreadsheet. Yeah, I should get a spreadsheet and a clipboard, and that way I can knock off. Check names. them in. Make sure we meet every single person. Are you gonna have a little whistle too? Should I get a whistle, Sam? A little whistle. And would you like, like? Would you like me to blow a whistle? You're gonna put somebody in timeout. Yeah, I might. I might have oh, okay. to, you know. I might have. I might have to get Sam to to ruffle some feathers up. Oh, I can ruffle them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I love Sam. I, I I thank you so much for coming uh, on the yeah. show this evening. Oh, uh, hey fellas, we kept thanks. it going for you, bro. We could, we couldn't leave until we got you on. Oh, of course. That and 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 we all have hey. nothing else to do. <laughs> Where's ninety, bro? It's almost. Oh no, it's not two yet. It's not two. Oh, so he's gonna come on when he gets out of work. I told him to just go to the bathroom. Perry skipped out on Silver Age Sunday last MegaCon. It was the first official Silver Age Sunday. Well, I can't skip out if I don't have no Silver Age. You know, I don't. I don't. 
I mean, I do. I got. I got some. I got some right here. Tell them you got to do a video for for your sock off ninety, and just come hang out. All my socks are hard. Damn, guess what? Chicken butt. Uh, I went to Max Pro today. Oh yeah, what what'd you say to him? You know what that I means? means I got goodies for you, buddy. Oh, I got the Punisher boys. What you got on that? It's ninety. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What you got? What you got? What is that? Whoa! What is that? What <laughs> What'd you get, Bueller? What'd you get? Tell everybody what you got today. Let a, let let the people know. Let's hear. It. <laughs> uh, I think I think maybe 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 he froze. He froze <laughs> He's frozen while blinking. He's out of <laughs> 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 frozen my wall blinking. <laughs> oh well, I'll get you some silver age. <laughs> yeah, send me some free books. <laughs> oh, we went hunting on Sunday at MegaCon and, and deemed Silver Age Sunday from that. Yeah, I I I don't, I don't know, like. I don't buy a lot of books at cons. I mostly go to like walk around and, and meet creators. And then uh, there's a lot of local artists and then smaller indie publishers that I like, I'll, I'll rather spend money on. Like, I don't know. I don't really buy a lot of back issues. I do like go hunting. Like I'll, I'll go hunting and, and find like maybe one or two books I want, but I mostly like to see like, 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 like this chick back here, California blend. I want to go buy a couple more pieces from her. Hey, What's Chad that? responded with his sock of the day. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. Birth yeah. of a superhero. What key is that, Sam? Uh first Mary Jane. Wow. Nice. As in as in marijuana or as in the, the girl? The redhead. The redhead. The redhead. Oh. We got so competition. Are we talking about a strain here? We got a battle going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mary Jane brothers, Sam. We're Mary Jane brothers. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the Mary Jane brothers. Oh, are you yeah. okay? I... We get a tag teamer. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nine, and ninety. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, look, ninety responded on Instagram. Oh, look at that foot right there. Hold on, go back before you got some titties pop out or something. Hold on, oh, you got. Oh, let's see, Chad. Look at Chad right now. He made it on my stream. Finally. <laughs> I don't know, man. I got the Punisher. I think beats the the Stormtrooper out. Hmm. I got, I got, I got, I got no special socks. But I, I know ninety, ninety got the sock game on lock. So, uh, but hey, I, I keep mine, on, I keep mine on the low. But I got, I got some fire socks, I got uh, Marvel socks myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you got some Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah, I got those too. I got those too, Bueller. Those Damn, are hard. bro. I need, I need some big socks like that. Yeah, these are socks. This is my condom. <laughs> you already know much love always 90 <laughs> Bueller only has two condoms I love the Captain America <laughs> ones that came in that pack Bueller Actually, I, got, I got four I got four there you go that's funny that's another 20 years <laughs> Chad with the troopers hell yeah that's awesome man I like how we just we do a little inception on a yeah, I, I want to get some Star Wars now. I'm jealous of those Stormtrooper ones. Those are awesome. Because I just got like a shit ton of Marvel. I don't know. I think, yeah, I, I got Marvel mainly. I think I have a couple DC. I only have white and black socks. Yeah. I got I to gotta step my game up. That you do, Perry. That you do. You got those dad socks, don't you? I, I He's man. He don't even got black. He just got tube socks. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the tube socks. Yeah, I don't wear room. a lot of socks. I, yeah, I as long as you're not obviously... showing them. Do you really wear those sandals to work? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I, I, Tara, I don't wear socks either. I, I never don't... wear socks. I just yeah. think like you I, got my, I got my foot. I got like a really big toenail. You got, know? Some big, got some big fat feet there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I either wear sandals or literally like uh, slippers. That's it. That's all I ever want. No, they sell my fat feet. No, yeah. So I, I, you know, like my job is weird. Like I go into an office and then I don't see nobody until I leave. Just so continuing like, the foot fetish. Why not? Why not be comfortable as hell? You know, I don't gotta see nobody. The only time Barry. I leave is when I go buy fish fillet. Barry, you need to leave the people <laughs> that love feet wanting a little. <laughs> 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 
You just you just blew the your whole load. What did I, what did I do? You you just gave the the foot fetish crew what they wanted. I mean, you know, you got to give them a little something, something, a little slap and tickle. <laughs> oh my god. They hit. They like wear sandals. Hell yeah, dude. Well, not really. You're not supposed to wear any open toe shoes. But I went to my manager. I'm like, hey man, I really need to wear sandals. <laughs> and he didn't ask why. He said, okay. I was like, oh, all right. He's yeah. like, just make sure you wear them tube socks with them. No, no socks. Just straight open foot. Oh, you know? and that God. was like two years ago. And he never said anything again. So I just rock sandals, you know. And then people ask me all the time. They're like, why don't you wear shoes? Why don't you have sneakers on? And I was like, I don't know. I'm telling you, dude, it's all about the Crocs. I, I, I guess I, I do got to rock some Crocs. He's like, I like to be comfortable at work, you dipshit. He's like, don't don't judge me. Exactly. He's like, did, did Jesus wear Jordans? Did he, huh? Did Jesus wear Jordans? <laughs> Oh, JB can't. You can't lurk the lurker. What is wrong with you, JB? You think you think you can handle this? I'll lurk for like twelve hours. Don't no, don't come on me. I'll lurk <laughs> every single one of your videos you've ever done, JB. What are you talking about? You gonna lurk me? You gonna like, lurk me? Lurk. Come on, yeah. son. Yeah. Exactly. You see that? We got Sam back here. Sam said, "Bring it, bitch." <laughs> come on, son. You've been discovered. <sighs> well, gentlemen, I'm like, gonna come to us, if he if he lurks us lurking him, would that break the internet? Seriously, where are you going, Nick? Nick, you ain't going nowhere. I'm just asking. <laughs> they ain't good for the internet. <laughs> and, no, well, no, Nick, if you have so to like, leave, you know, I appreciate watch, you jumping by. Watching him watching us, them watching him. Ah, huh, very interesting. Here's your <laughs> <laughs> this goes lurking you back, man. That's right. Let's see. Let's see. Can we hear that's anything? The first Eric Red, Eric the Red appearance, and that one's the first Savage Land mutants appearance. Hold up. No one wants. Oh, to... to... so hey, if he's not there, so if you number your run, they want to see us. I'll see what I got over here. Yeah. Let me get off, and I'll, and I'll get back to you on that one for sure. He said, "True lurkers." Ooh, there you go. <laughs> Come on, Perry. I gotta put, let me go back here. Let me get you back into the share so we can. I'm share. so sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, How do I share it again? It's this one. Look at Jay. Oh, you've it's been this discovered. One. There it is. There, Perry, there it don't is. come at me. He's lurking oh. us, lurking him, lurking them. <laughs> Wait, where am the I again? The cycle is complete. <laughs> <laughs> the cycle is complete. I lurk really? him, him lurking yeah. us. Everybody's lurking each other. We are. We are yes. That's awesome, man. Like, Liefeld is this is hard. What are you talking about? It Liefeld. makes everyone just. <laughs> oh, that's right. Perry, you've been discovered. Like, <laughs> oh, look at this crazy oh, man. We're breaking the internet. Oh, my at this God. Point. Look at it. <laughs> it's a, literally it's an ultimate inception. It just keeps on going. Oh, you my know? God. Has it that just, ever happened before? I think John did this once, didn't he? John's comics of kids. I think Biggie Shack did it. Back. Biggie Shack was the original lurker. Cheers to the lurkers tonight. Cheers everybody. to JB. Friday night comic book community. We're all out here having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> 81 right. minutes. Get out of here with your Thank 81 you, 81 minutes. You. We've been we've been pushing four hours, JB. <laughs> My balls are sticking to the leather on this chair. Oh. <laughs> nice. Someone said Bueller looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's okay. Yeah, he looks like he's about to pass out. No, he's not. Bueller's a night owl. That's what you don't know about Bueller. When, when you guys w w look, when Bueller uploads a video at six o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, he's awake. He's up. Yeah. He's in the chat. He's saying hello to every fucking person, which I do applaud Bueller because it's very hard for me to say hi to everyone. And he's got way more people in his his live streams. He <laughs> says hi to every single person. He's like, "Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend." And then I come, and he's just like, "Hey, Perry." And I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened to the my friend part? You were real friendly with everybody until I came here. What the fuck just happened?" <laughs> Very oh, pull out before inception. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brain is mush now. Yep. This this will do that. Uh this will break YouTube. It might. Uh, it's already broken. 
Yes, we've we, we broken things. <laughs> Get that Bueller a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, so Bueller, yeah, since you don't that. drink, you don't drink. Duncan, you don't drink Starbucks. How do you get a fresh pot of coffee? Yo, Perry. Biggie, I'm looking at the uh, disco chat, and Biggie's deleting all of Air Spider's messages in the chat. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What was, what was that saying? Well, you can't just whip out some stickers. Oh, we got to get you got to get that logo on a condom. You must be doing it. <laughs> You gotta be that, an original Bueller gangster. Come on. <laughs> tell him. Tell him, Sam. Oh, he, tell him. he's hating on it. He's hating on his spider. He's saying we're doing foot fetish videos. Whoa. <laughs> it's all right. We know who the foot fetish community is over here. You know, we got well, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. You, you gotta get some sleep, Nick. I know you got a, a very important job doing pancakes for the little one in the morning. I thought I was gonna get it out of you. I think what? you oh, you messaged no. me what you did for a living. No, no, no that was no. Nick. Then Nick told me. No, no, Dustin. Nick. Dustin. Okay, so too many people. let me clear something up here. If you ever get like something really weird from Dustin or or from Two Brothers Comics and like Instagram or something, we're like he'll put a Facebook post all the time, and then he will message that shit out to everybody. Pretty I'm like, much. dude, do you not understand how Instagram works? He's like, well, I want people to see it. I'm like, dude, it's on the feed. That's what it's there for, Dustin. And so I think he sent it out to like. I think it might have went to Bueller, Dylan, Perry. I think it went to all of you guys. And I call him. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Well, I just want everybody to know the the, the video is coming out. I'm like, you just posted it on the feed, dude. So he's like the most inept social media user. But I want him to guys. have his his own account where he could just like do some random shit. Because I feel like if he had like, I don't know. I feel like he could put out like a lot of random content. You know, because he, he can do whatever messages. he wants. Just like quit being weird. I don't know. I think being weird, you know, a little strange for some change. Is, it's, it's just like the good. funniest thing in the world. I'm like, dude, why? And I'm like, why would you send out that? Like, you just posted it, and now you're going to share it to everybody who's already going to see it in the feed if they follow us. And it's like, well, and that's his response is, well. Well, I did it. <laughs> like, shit makes sense, I guess, right, dude? Oh, man. What's he doing right now? Sleeping. He's got to be up at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. What? All right, so we'll stay yeah, on he's up early. Up. Yeah, we'll stay on. Yeah, Spider was lurking us, but not saying nothing in the chat. What type of what type of oh shit is that? Yo, he was trying to dog us on uh, the chat. Was it really lightweight? And a biggie clowned him and deleted all of it. <laughs> That's my boy Biggie. Yo, Biggie Shack, I love Biggie Shack, man. If you guys don't know, like random videos of mine, I I leave like the last ten seconds. It just a black screen, and it says subscribe to Biggie Shack. <laughs> yeah, I love that, dude. After you do the that, it goes subscribe to Biggie Shack. I couldn't believe you added that. I was like, that's so awesome. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna come to the walking <laughs> six. All right, Nick. Well, I, I appreciate you jumping on for us for as long as you did. And I you appreciate know, it, man. You're always man, welcome, man. Nick is tired as hell. Oh yeah, it's 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 been a long day. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. I don't see how y'all do it. Yeah, I'll be up. I'll be up at like. Probably about like seven thirty ish, eight o'clock. And it's two o'clock your time. It is two o six, yeah. So we're gonna make pancakes and then we're gonna drive out to Tampa and go for a walk in the park. <laughs> Yo, he lurking. He's At eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Probably around like nine thirty ten. You know, we, we that way we get some exercise and like get to witness nature. Yeah, I'm about to exercise pancakes in my mouth in the morning. That's how. Hey, you know, everyone likes to put something in their mouth in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all, y'all have a good one. We, we... Yo, peace <laughs> out, Nick. Take, take care, Nick. Night, if you guys don't know, uh, too, brother, you, you, yeah, you probably do. <laughs> yeah, whatever. If you do, if you do, great. If not, we, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have a good night. Yeah, have a good one. Oh man, what, what, what are you up to, Sam? How's it going, man? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm good. I can't complain. You know, I'm over here. I'm just, you know. Having a, a grand old time, just, just you know, chilling, you know, just yeah, chilling, chilling like a Darth Vader villain. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I loved your, I loved your reading. That's awesome. Right, I felt like, like I rewatched it like three or four times. It felt a little bit more entertaining than if you just would have like read yeah. it, you know. Yeah. I gave it a little bit of pizzazz. Yeah, I like it. 
I was watching videos of um I don't know that guy's name. Um Lawrence Fishburger. I don't know. The guy who actually voiced Darth Vader. Oh Lord. oh yeah, 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 that guy. Yeah. yeah. So I was watching videos and he was he did Mustafa from The Lion King. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know so I, I was like I was trying to figure out how to like talk like him and people kept saying to watch the Lion King. So I was sitting at my computer for like three hours mimicking the Lion King. I'm like, all right, let me just let me just do this video. <laughs> you he like accentuates his words. Very cool. I don't know. I like voice acting. It's fun. Have a good night, Mitch. Nick, you're awesome. He is very really cool. Uh Lurkers, how how's it, how's it going, Fish Tropic? Fish shark with the eyeballs. You get some. You get some great people up in your chat. Look at that. Man. Oh yeah. I mean, not not as good as the BS show, but you know, we're trying. Oh, what, what kind of mug is that, Ryan? Look at that. He's got. That's uh, is that the Bigfoot? Oh no, wait. Big foot yeah, Bigfoot. Mug. It's a Bigfoot mug. Holy shit. That's awesome. That's a boss move right there. <laughs> I, I think I got Spider upset. <laughs> he, said, he, like, he said it me and you were calling him a hater. Who, me? <laughs> it probably was more me, but oh. I was just clowning with him. I ain't got no foot fetish, I'll tell you that. I fucking hate feet, I'll it's tell you It's Harley Quinn. You know, I should have put the, the picture of her. So Sam, did you see that picture? I told I told him, huh? I was like, we're just clowning, bro. I don't mean no offense to him. I felt like that was a really cool picture of Harley Quinn, like, yeah. sucking a hot dog. Great. <laughs> You know, I mean, everyone needs that in their life. I mean, we got Harley Quinn. She just had a new movie. I'm trying to promote her by putting on the thumbnail, you know? Trying to help her out. I know. Trying to help her out. You know, next week, we're going to get a little bit of this. You know, if oh, you think oh. it's sexual, that's on you. She's just enjoying dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> there's, that, so, there's so much going on there. Okay. Yeah. That 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 uh that artist um he does a lot of characters on Twitter, and yeah. he does a lot of Marvel and DC characters. But then he adds them like he puts a sexual twist on all of them. So he has very unique art, and it's very good. So okay. well, I'll be on the lookout. Right. <clears throat> no, but, uh, yeah, post some stuff on Instagram. I uh, gotta hit some comic stores too in San Jose. I, I think that's in California. I'm gonna try to go hunting this weekend. We'll we'll see. I'm not sure. Maybe. Bealer, you got anything planned for this weekend? Yeah. What? We're doing a show tomorrow. That's right. Oh yeah, on Sleepy Readers Channel. Is that yeah, on, on everything yeah. comics channel. We almost got it right, Perry. <laughs> we got the Portland Four. The Portland Four. The Port is that what you guys are calling yourself? The four horsemen? Yeah, the the four. Portland Four? We're the Portland Comic Crew. The Portland Comic Crew. I feel like you guys are gonna start breakdancing. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. Actually, Sam's got some good moves. Do you? Yeah, Sam's gonna bust a move. He's got a little bit I can, of rhythm to him. I can get. I can get down for you. I mean, no. But you I'll, 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 I'll wait. I'll wait on that. All right. I, I, I'll, I'll hold you to it. When I see you in Megacon, I'm like, "There's Sam. He's about to bust it down. Someone put some cardboard on the floor. You know. That's right." <laughs> The dog is enjoying it too. What is the dog enjoying? Dylan, what you doing with that dog over there? My dog. <laughs> oh, he's laying by the door. I was like, "Where the hell is he?" <laughs> so this is gonna be your new setup. I kind of like it. it. Looks cool. You got like all the pops in the background. It looks pretty dope. I like it. Not too bad. Yeah, you always have all those, Dylan. What? The pops the behind me. Yeah, I just moved. I just moved my like setup because I actually I get a better connection. So far, I felt I, I just kind of noticed I get a better connection because like right through the wall is uh, it's literally like I would just like move like hold on like the com my uh, setup was literally like right here in this corner, and my knee would be hitting the desk. So like right now everything I'm like looking at all the posters and that's what behind me. I still have a bunch of posters behind me. They're just kind of covered by pops or a, a shelf. So I got like the Deadpool with the unicorn and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to try a different setup. Just and it actually the connection works better. So well, that's good. 
I still kind of like the posters better, but it's just like it was such a small. Like you guys think Perry's got the small corner, that ain't nothing, man. My corner was like I was smacking my knee against my dresser like every two seconds. How you doing, ninety? Yeah, I'm doing good. Just got off work. Looking home from uh, the parking lot from my neighborhood, and I was like, "Yo, what are these guys still doing?" So I figured I'd hop in and say, "What up?" Yeah, yeah, he's he's out What's there. What's up, in, Sam? In, What's up, Bueller? In Miami. What up, Dylan? Can't wait to see y'all at MegaCon, Perry. I guess my brother. See you, but you better have my five bucks. <laughs> the way my bank account set up, it takes two business days to come from this transaction to go to the savings and the checking. You know, it's a, it's a process. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got you. Hey, if anybody wants to make a uh, uh, a a give, not, what's it called, a mystery box, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a bunch of them and just put them in my trunk. So before I leave, everyone has to follow me to my car, and I'll pop the trunk. Well, I'm just getting home, so I'm gonna get inside, get settled. If you guys are still running, it I'll hop back in on the jump queue. on. Yeah, when you come back, yeah, don't don't right. don't don't stress. Sweet, be here. I'll see y'all in a little bit then. Thanks for letting right. me pop in real quick. Heck yeah. Hey, and for all the ninety hogs in the chat, YouTube is ninety. You'll be fine. Oh. Really? Did you say I sound like a serial killer? Yeah, dude, that's how Buffalo Bill got the women to do back the van. All the way back here. Yeah, that's right. I have something for you. Come over to my car. I have something for you. Yeah, how do you put these couch in the back of my van? Oh. I don't want to walk around with mystery boxes. I'll just keep them in the trunk, and then when I go to leave, you can all follow me. <laughs> they wake up the next morning in a pit. Hey, man, I'm not going to tell you what. Look, you have to roll a human skin with your wiener t- Yourself. He's ninety ah. muggins from com- <laughs> He's ninety muggins from comics. Get it? Because he's gonna get mugged outside in the dark. <laughs> uh, needed a shower. I was worried that the chat would smell. <laughs> oh, does he got the link? I'll send one too. A link if he wants to come hang for before we wrap up. Or I don't know how long you plan on going. I don't know. I feel like, you know, we never really go for a long time, and I feel like I want to outdo Discovery Bay, so I'm going to keep going. Yeah, until he that's why I was like, I was thinking I might just use up my hours for tomorrow, because I felt like we haven't done a long stream on my channel either. <laughs> oh, yeah. And if I run out of hours, I'm just going to set up Skype with Streamlabs, so Wait, just do that. You guys run out of hours, does StreamYard have a limit or something? Yeah, 20 hours a month. It's annoying as hell, dude. Unless you pay. Yeah, unless you pay. So how dare they give you 20 free hours? Yeah, how dare, how dare they? they? Yeah, how dare they? Oh, <laughs> Bela, do you pay for the monthly? I hardly go live. I hardly do live stream, so why bother? That's what I'm saying. I only do but Friday does, and Wednesday. But he doesn't do collabs either. So if he did, he would just use Streamlabs. I'd say. Well, it's well, like why pay? Why you stream Streamyard when him they just do the BS show and they're right next to each other. Collaborate. Oh yeah. Yeah, we need to get, we need to have Bueller collaborate, and that's how you can get people up to two K subs. Yeah, Bueller, you did the Bueller bump to a thousand. <laughs> Let me get a Bueller bump. I'm pretty sure I can go up to like two K. Never. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to get to two thousand by like the summer. I'm pretty sure I could do it. Hey, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get to the one k by by the end of April. So I'm gonna need a Bueller bump. <laughs> Otherwise, it ain't happening. Terry, here's the thing. Seriously, man, you can get to two thousand, no problem. Just change everything you do. <laughs> <laughs> what do I mean, you mean? It's like, it's, just do the opposite. And you'll you'll do just fine, just like the George Costanza episode of Seinfeld, where he never had success, where he just did the opposite of everything he always did, and all of a sudden things started working out for him. And that's the opposite that you should do, and you'll be surprised what happens. You'll pass me, no time. I don't think so. I think you pull up my yeah. leg. I think you're trying to sabotage me. Whatever your initial idea is to do something, just say. What would Bueller do? <laughs> so, all right. So instead of instead of my top five keys of the week, I should do like my top worst books of the week. Perfect. There you go. Go, go the other route. All right. So instead instead of instead of my anticipated reads this week, my least favorite books I want to read this week. Yeah, you could be the Debbie Downer of YouTube. 
I don't want to be the Debbie Downer. I, I get happy about comic books. I don't want to be like like white whale comics. <laughs> that one, that was nice. He's very look. Every book I like, I watch his shadow. I'm like, wow, I don't like this book anymore. <laughs> what up, Mister Wayne? Is Robert that's Kirkman? That's, one of my, that's actually my, one of my homies. Uh, what up, homie? Um, Robert Kirkman going to MegaCon? I would hope so. He's been doing a lot of deals with. Um, my comic shop and also a comic shop in Orlando, so it might make a little bit of sense, sense if he does go to MegaCon. Uh, let's see, Bueller bumping. <laughs> Just changed everything. One of these days I'll have to sit down and watch the content and I'll tell you exactly what you're doing wrong. Hey, if you want to audit my channel, feel free. Uh, you, do a, you do a good job, Perry. You're you're all. Your audience that has found you has enjoyed what you put out, and that'll keep going on for months and months. <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to get a pop. I'm trying to get a, like I can't I can't break a thousand views. I see so many channels that like they have videos that broke a thousand views. I'm like I'm not doing no CGC unboxing, you know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. One of my biggest videos is my worst video. It's me reacting to Morbius. Literally, I'm just sitting here just. Well, my, my largest video, I'm not even in the damn thing. So that should tell you something right there. I mean, my largest video is like 50,000 views. I'm not even in it. Wow. You know, I was like, oh, great. Ten of my top, or like three of my top ten, I'm not even in the damn video. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I, 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 I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to like. I don't know. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that, that YouTube bag. I'm trying to make like a good 20 bucks off an ad. You know? I've, tr I've tried new stuff and uh, my, my my thing is if, if if it gets a thousand views within the first 24 hours, I feel pretty good. But if it, if it somehow to get there, I kind of just, okay, maybe I should read I mean, I I, I, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. But, like, look, I, I did this Star Wars video where I read Star Wars book, right? And literally everyone who watched it, I either got comments or messages or text messages on how they loved it. But, like, it bare, it didn't even get 100 views. I'm like, what the fuck? It blows uh, my mind away. I don't know. Maybe, maybe instead of putting my name in your tags, you should do some research. <laughs> <laughs> how about that? <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, let's see. Uh, uh, hey, the wind keeps knocking your shit out. I'm sorry. That's horrible, man. I hate that when the power goes out. We don't get you, Barry. I guess not. You know, I'm on a whole different plane. I'm like Vincent Van Gogh, you know? Let's see. How's it going, comics? Uh, I'm back. Wait, is it the same day? No, we are actually in a different day now. We are in Saturday. And what was how's... Your, what was the title of your Star Wars video? Uh, let's see. I changed it multiple times. <laughs> I was trying to see what maybe something would work differently, and it, it feels like nothing's worked. I I found out I found somebody who has like three hundred thousand subscribers, and yeah. they did kind of the same video, but it was very boring, and they got like half a million views. So I just copied his whole title, and nothing happened. Uh, uh, let's see. My video name now is Let's Read Darth Vader. That's it. Yeah, then it no, it says let's read Darth Vader, um, and then I had that little that solid bar, and it says best way to read comics. Yeah. <laughs> you should have something like is this the best Star Wars comic ever? Like something like that. That's all it. right. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna edit that right now and watch. I'm gonna go viral. Oh, here yeah. we go. Here we go. <laughs> Just... We're... <laughs> We're learning the secrets right now. Bueller is 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 under the influence. He's letting loose. He's letting he's letting all the secrets come out right now. So here we go. Is this the best Star Wars book ever? You were one of the first people I told my secret where I get all the covers from. Get that yeah. hot tip. I'm gonna put must watch at the end in capital letters. Must watch. Save. Boom. Update. Oh, I got two subscribers in a lot since I started. That's pretty cool. I can't even look at mine because I'm using my phone. Oh. My laptop won't charge. Put on my charger. 
What? You gotta stick the power cord in it. The power cord in, in the hole. Right, so come on, it's all this next thing is that the magnetic thing just grabs it and it's supposed to start charging, but it's not. The light's not coming on, so I gotta. Oh no. Got yeah, to serve I... power, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You know, uh, so Bill, you use a Mac? Yeah, everything I do is on Mac. Really? Uh, yeah, all every video I've ever done is done with MacBook uh, on my MacBook, and I use iMovie. You got a MacBook Pro, right? Yeah, but iMovie is like the most basic editing software. You, it's a free software. It's the most basic thing you can use. And, yeah, but yeah, I, I've learned how to use it to the best of its ability. <laughs> you, you learned how to use every feature that it allows you to use. Yeah, I'm pushing the hell out of it. <laughs> Uh, oh, I thought when you get the MacBook Pro though, it's like a updated version of iMovie compared to like the free one you can get on your iPhone. Well, it, it's better than the one on the phone, yeah, because it's, it's you know on your computer and a lot more features. But my MacBook Pro is an older MacBook as well. Uh, yeah. And, so it's it's, well, it's it's updated, but I mean, I, I know the software that Perry uses, and if you were to compare his software to my software, his his stuff is like twenty times better. Than what I can do. I can only, I can only lay one image on my video at a time. Oh wow! I have to literally put one image on there, process the video, and then reload it and put another image on there. Oh no way! So that would drive see, me nuts. Yeah, if you see a video and there's five images on the screen, I literally process that video five times to get all those images, and then I have to line them all up, and make sure they come out at the same time, and all the graphics. It's. It, that's that's one oh, of the shit. things you know, the iMovie it, it only lets you put one image in. But that's a thing, lot. I I that would drive yeah, me crazy. Yeah, one of the hard, hardest working guys on YouTube right there. Can't lie. Why don't you just use like like I use DaVinci Resolve it, and that's to me it's like so easy. Well, here's I the mean, thing. I'm, I'm I'm getting old. I'm kind of stuck in my ways. This is the basic program that I figured out. I'm afraid to try something else. <laughs> but if it takes me three times as long, at least I'm comfortable doing it. That that's true. You know. You know what? Yeah, you gotta. If you, if you watch and if you see my video that has the new comic book day video, there's literally the comic book, the uh, coming soon logo, the character logo, and my logo, and the background. That's five different processes that that video had to process five separate times. Wow. To get that one to one. That's crazy. That's what I've been doing for like two years now. Wow. You know, if you just learn how to do something else, you could cut that time down to like yeah. half. Yeah, but if I did that, then I couldn't complain that I was working all the time. <laughs> no, you just make more videos. I'm a, I make enough. <laughs> Me too. I, I think I'm doing like 8 to 12 a week now. I feel like I'm about to get burnt out again. Oh. Is that month I do a video every day? I, in October, I did a video a day every single day of the week, or every single day of the month, and because uh, I, I was just curious to see what it would do, you know, as far as like growth and maybe more exposure, it didn't do shit. I did I did more views than the month after with half the amount of videos. It was much better. Yeah, maybe I need to take a break. Do less content. How's it going, one two? I'm all right. How you guys doing? Hey, we're hanging and banging. So, hey, um, Gary, I watched one of your videos, and after seeing it and showing Kai, he, I had to get a copy. And you wouldn't believe the blood feud out there for these Gretz, uh, Gretz Before I did my key crazy. video, yeah, I, I seen it. It's a, like a Netflix phenomenon. I'm like, oh, people are going to want this. Like, whenever you have like a cult following for a TV show, especially like an anime type of show, people want the book. You know, they don't really care about if they're going to read it or not. They just want that token of a book. I don't want it. Well, Kai's a big anime guy, so he already knew about it. Plus, he already knew it was going into the third season. So he, 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 yeah, he, he pretty much gave me an ultimatum. He's like, you better get that book or else. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> you, you gave me a day's notice. <laughs> I'm going to break some kneecaps around here. <laughs> exactly. He runs the house, not me. <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah, and then, just... yeah, I also got, of course, the Ant Man. And then, um, obviously, you know, I mean, had to get Yasagi. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fire. You see the uh, the one yeah. I got from uh, the AOK I got? I'm so happy I got this from uh, JB. God, I know. I was checking out that, that variant, man. That thing's killer. So 84, I think, was selling this in an auction, and JB sniped it for me. Like, how cool? Like, this community is insane. It's beautiful, too. I dig that cover. Oh, yeah. I really do. And by the way, hey, not to miss out, you know, hey, Dylan, what's up? Trav, Sam, it's nice oh, to brother. be here. You got the fresh air, but... you, man. you know, this is cool. I'm digging it. <laughs> I see you got the fresh haircut, brother. Yeah, yeah. Every, you know, I, I, I have so much hair that I have to get the sides all trimmed out. You know, and Dude. if I was actually let this thing loose, it's more out this way than I it is. I thought you down. cut the whole thing for a second because the top was so short. Or you just had no, it I, back. I'm an old hardcore guy from the back in the past. So I'm one of those guys that were able to have that huge mohawk and, you know, oh. yeah. I gotta get yeah. it. I gotta get my like shit Sam. on. Sam used to have the big mohawk too. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. But it wasn't on his head, it was on his back. Yo, mind, I thought Ant Man, uh, the new Ant Man one that just came out was dope. I thought it was like Hawkeye Freefall, just, you know, really funny and just, uh, you know, goofy. I thought issue one was, I thought issue one of Ant Man was better than Hawkeye Freefall issue one. So I thought Ant Man actually started off better than Hawkeye, but Hawkeye Two was awesome. Yeah, they're hey. actually doing Ant Man justice. That's the way Ant Man was supposed to. It was always written, you know. To me, if you look at what Ant Man was, and if you take that and you mix in a couple other little seasonings and stuff, voila, you got Deadpool. You know what I mean? Meaning the way he approached things, the way he talks about things, the way he's he's a guy for hire. You know, that was some of the precursors, the predecessor of what we have as as a Deadpool character. Sam, what was your, uh, your your best read this week? Um, uh, I got to go with that uh, Immortal Hulk uh, one shot. Oh, with uh, Spider Man. Yeah, that was pretty cool. You know, I, I liked it. I felt like I could have done with a whole mini series of that though. Sam, so I'm like, Sam's important. like, nah, I just wanted one. Yeah. <laughs> It needed down. more though, man. It wasn't it. You didn't feel like it was missing like a little bit of action or something. Like it yeah. just, it was like, it was a good, it like for what it was, I would say, yeah, it was like, it's a lot better than most one shots, yeah. but it was just missing something. You know what I mean? And I just thought we'd get a little bit more spider Hulk, like raging out or something. And you so know? he seen Spider-Man without his pants on. That's what I got from that issue. <laughs> he seen, he seen Peter Parker's little Peter Tingle. But so it to me, it felt like they were just using the Immortal Hulk name that's, you know, getting a lot of that. What the hype has kind of died down, I feel like, with some people. I Not still Chad. love it. Chad loves Immortal Hulk. I love it too. I love Immortal Hulk. I'm with you, 90. I'm with you, brother. Um, uh, my boy Sam, he knows what's up. Uh, I can't wait for the next issue too, because Zemu is awesome. Uh, but, you know, it looks like they're just kind of trying to. Get some money off that. Jeff Lemire is doing the next one shot, so I'm I'm oh, kind of wow. excited for that because he's been you know he's been doing some good stuff. It's just these one shots, man. It's like you want more from them, like because it, it it was a good story. So I'm like, I want more. It's kind of it, like if you're if you're a crackhead, story. if you're a crackhead and you got one crack rock left and you smoke it <laughs> and you're like, damn, that was a great high. But I really want some more, you know? You got to oh be happy God. with the crack rock you got. Great, you know? great analogy, brother. <laughs> okay. Oh, allegedly. Right. I've never done any drugs. Yeah, I, I, you know, I would have to say that I've, um, in the past eight months, the, the best book that I have read came to a conclusion this week, which was Going to the Chapel. Yeah, I knew going you were gonna be sad when that came when that ended. Lord, I know Jabroni's talking about that a lot. I, I was reading the last four panels, physically applauding as I'm reading this, going, "Yes, yes, 
and you know, it, it, I've I've read a few things in my time that I've come across, and even script. I come across scripts every day, and uh, some oh, things you can see how it can easily be, you know, just adapted. And this is this is something that can easily be done. Oh, that's awesome! I thought the art. Yeah, Dylan Burnett killed it on the art, and uh, Mike Spicer is the colorist. I thought it it came together like really well. It did. I. So, Hawkeye yeah. issue one free fall wasn't as good to me. Issue two was amazing, but I thought Ant Man like started right off from the gate really good. So if you like Hawkeye uh, mind, I think you might like uh, you know Ant Man even more. And it's they're both only five issue miniseries, so exactly. I'm like always a sucker for the miniseries. I just wait for me the too. Train. You know, five issues. I just I, I usually just wind up picking up a trade. Well, just because I, I already have so many books that I'm getting. You know, yeah, like, I get it. If I could it afford just, it, I would. It just depends who it is because I actually really like Dylan Burnett as an artist. And when I actually first got into comic books again, there was like a Ant Man mini series. So I haven't really? seen an Ant Man book in like years. So I was like, oh, cool. We got a little Ant Man mini series again. So I think the last one that they had was by Mark Wade. Did he fall asleep? Oh, no. No, he's drawing. What are you drawing, Bueller? <laughs> What are you doing? I see he's got a pen out, you know. You're drawing a picture? No, I, I'm going to show you a picture. I want to see it. It's yeah. Right. It's what I had long hair back in the day. What the oh fuck? My God. Oh, my God. He's got the Joe Dirt hairstyle. This is the oh thumbnail. God, well, we were of the generation, you know. That that was that was yeah. Dude, <laughs> like, this uh, is breaking news. Bueller was once looks, young with hair. He looks like <laughs> Mel Gibson from Lethal Weapon One. I still got hair. I still look at my uh, my other Facebook page. Hey Bueller, I told I told Perry about the Roadhouse conversation in the group chat. We were <laughs> laughing so hard. Bueller, was, I, we were doing the last year in the summer. Bueller would just jump into all my streams and just type in Roadhouse. <laughs> I was just so disappointed that I was sleeping for that conversation because that I was reading the whole combo. I was like, this is the funny. I was just laughing out loud. Wow, um, 1988. That's when Kachum was in high school, right? Yeah, because he was in college when I was born. So he must have been just entering, or he was in middle school. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to get everybody's like age down, you know. That picture I showed was yeah. 1992. <laughs> Color photos in the 1940s. <laughs> <laughs> Still alive, eh, Patrick? We're going all night long, you know. Let's see. Well, I was lucky that when see when when uh, we were born, we actually got to see color come in to the world. There was no color. Wow. Not even in real life. Yeah, no. I, so that's why there was nothing on TV or anything. Nothing was color. That's wild. I couldn't imagine that. <laughs> I, re I read black and white books. I'm like, I can't read this. I need some. That's why I'm happy that IDW picked up Usagi. Because I'm like, I need, some, <laughs> I need some color in this, you know? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Whoa. Let me, let we lost Perry. I got to go put a battery oh. on. Oh, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so what else have you been reading anything else i've actually been tearing through some of the books what about you sam uh, i've been trying to get caught up on some uh back issues and stuff but uh yeah me too i was really behind there i i didn't even have anything logged in there for a while you know i finally got caught up on some of my reading these three books that i showed you um I haven't got to go through all the all the way. You know, I like to skim and see which ones I pick in order of which I want to read fully. So these are the three I didn't get to fully read. Wait, which three didn't you read yet? These three that I showed you, these Yusagi, which oh, three, it's, it, uh, part eight, you know, which is going to be a uh, two part. Uh, yeah, that's arc. a new story arc, right? Yeah. And then uh, the Ant Man, which I only got to skim, and I got to check out. Uh, what I wanted to see was how well was the art going to be depicted in it. Yeah, I, I got to read some of the line. And so again, you know, Scott Scott Young was always funny, so I wanted to read if it was going to be funny. And sure enough, they depicted it funny. 
It, it's it's hard as, oh, it's great. It pops. Thing with Ant Man, and you, so you like the strength. It has Academy. to be when, when you're drawing something small. It ha yeah. everything has to be you know give that feeling of the, there you are. You're in it. You're tiny, and everything is popping and big. And if it yeah. doesn't come across that way, you're losing a lot of the story. You don't get the gravitas of it, you know, with some pictures. I thought it was absolutely it, hilarious. I'm, I'm, I was going to say, do you got to read Strange Academy, though? Uh, now, yes. I every Everything that Strange Academy has come out on, I've got to read other than which is going to be considered the first appearance of Strange Academies. It's killing me already. Anyways, uh, is Daredevil 17. That's the only thing I haven't got to read from all these uh, early releases of Strange Academy is that, because I don't buy Daredevil. So yeah. I might have to go chase oh, down man. that one. I actually been buying it, but I haven't been reading it. So I'm kind of waiting for the story arc to end, and then I'm going to drop it, I think. Because I've been picking it up for way too long and I haven't caught up. But I almost feel like I need to read it and then be like, okay, so should I re should I drop it or what? Like, I need to just shit or get off the pot with it because I well, like Daredevil. Then again, but there, there's a few books that I, I'm, I'm willing to go ahead and give up on my pull in the sense of knowing that I can come back down the road like even what Bueller's put out on, recently show, on recent shows of coming back and buy those things uh, two or three months down the road, either as a trade yeah. or either is back issues, pennies on the dollar. It's worth doing that. Yeah. Not get caught up in the FOMO and try to save a couple bucks, you know? Well, see, I, at this point, I'm at the point where I just want to wait for the story arc to end because it's like, if I say I ever go back and read it and I'm like, Oh man, well not, at least I can go pick up the trade and not have to double dip or something. So it's like, okay, I'll cut off on a story arc when that story arc is done. And then if I, whenever I get a chance to read it, if I, it's good enough where I want to continue with the future trades, I can just continue with the trades and I'll have the first 18 issues or so. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can't, I, I can't believe I bought that much, man. Like, and haven't been reading it. I haven't read it since like issue four, dude. And it's up to 17 now. <laughs> well, but, you know, I'll, I like Chip that. Zdarsky. That's the thing. I like Chip Zdarsky. He has a good writing style. So I felt like when I would read it, I was in like 20 books deep at the time. So I'm like, it's a slow burn. And it's kind of a lot of dialogue back and forth. And I would just be like, just get the fuck on with Daredevil whooping some ass or something. And this one, he's kind of like, no, I'm not Daredevil anymore. I'm not, no, I'm not Daredevil. And uh, I don't want to say, like, I don't want to hate on it because I don't know if it's really that good or not. I just always say, I'm like, I think when I was in reading it, I just wasn't in the right headspace. So I want to kind of go back and read it and see yeah, if like, that was just not crazy. At You're not, not at all. You didn't Sam? pick up. Well, I know, I know it's Perry's favorite book, right? Daredevil's your favorite. <laughs> yeah. I love Double Deep. He's even got it signed. He's even got issue one signed. I had a old wolf sent me a daredevil print. He's like, if I send you an AOK, -OK, will you put it on the wall? I'm like, yeah, of course. And then he sends me daredevil. I'm like, oh great. Well, I'm not gonna not put it on the wall now. You know, <laughs> you son of a bitch wolf. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Out of all the books, all, all the prints in the world, every character, he gives me Daredevil. He's like, you like Daredevil, right? I'm like, you, you're trolling me right now, right? <laughs> He's like, I thought you liked Daredevil. I'm like, you know I don't like Daredevil. But I figured you actually just put it right there just to tease Rod, right? You're like, hey, Rod. <laughs> oh, man. More for if you really want to get Rod, you could actually. Oh no, that you you couldn't. I was about to say you could shred that and actually send it to Rod. And, <laughs> Kevin, oh, shredded Daredevil books already. Kevin, get get Perry to come on the show because I've been practicing on some reviews to read along, but I need Perry. I need him. Oh, I agree. We and 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 John, you know, it, it, I was actually piecing it together, and I'm I'm actually getting the characters down. So hopefully this Thursday we can do this Canto Yo, read. And it should just give it a shot be. with me, Perry. I need I, you. I, I'll do it when I do art. When I do my like, I don't know if you guys see the Darth Vader one I did. 
it's like it took me a good, a good hour to do that 10 minutes because I was like redoing yeah. things like trying to like listen to it back again and try to get like voices down better bro but it's supposed to be kind of that. Train you huh? know I mean if it's too good I mean down the road it'll be evolved you know the more and more it happens but it's not supposed to be perfect it's supposed to be kind of a train wreck I know I know but I like to like I like to like if I see something that I could do better like I, I do it you know I, I can't I can't just like not but no I'll try doing it I'll I try doing something like... live I'll try Yo, it Perry, so when you do your editing, do you use just that DaVinci Resolve? Because I even tried it today, and it won't let me. I don't know how it works. It, like, just comes up with, like, a panel, and it, it like, won't let me upload anything. No, it's just drag and drop. It's actually, like, the most simplest program to drag use. Drag and drop. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. All right, look. It's, it's, it's like, very well, complex. If you... It's kind of like the first time you do algebra. You're like, you don't really know what you're doing. Yeah. But once you know how to like do some algebra, you're like, oh, I could do algebra. I'll have to, we'll have to FaceTime and figure it out. Yeah. I, I, I want me. to make videos. I want to make videos on like how to do it. Because a lot of people, they do it, and then they realize that like it doesn't, it doesn't synchronize things for you. So your audio won't match up with your video, even if they're uh, imported shit. together. Hey, Perry, nothing wrong with getting some double Ds signed. Exactly. But that, that's the idea also of when you see those clappers or even when if you just make an audio noise, you, you got to line it up. The software itself, when you go to render it, it'll, it'll yeah. skew everything out. Oh. So you have to change like certain settings in there. Like unless you have like a top of the line computer, it's fine. But yeah. if you have like a budget, like mine's a budget PC. So Me it's too. like. Yeah, so you had to like work within it and tweak things inside of the settings to get things to actually work. Because I I don't want to pay for Adobe. Adobe costs money, you know, and I don't want to pay monthly for something that's gonna crash on you every time you're almost done doing it. You know, I, I'm there with you. You know, so I'm, I, I, it's, that... it's free. You know, and, and the the good the cool thing about Adobe is, I mean, um, Resolve. If you actually watch my videos before I got my fancy little camera, they don't look like webcams. They look a little bit better because you could color grade, so you could take a lot, like a lot of the gray flatness out, and you could darken the shadows. You could bring some highlights out. You could, you could add, uh, more saturation. You could, you could tone down your midtones. You, you, you know, there's so many little things you could tweak with a webcam. So like, I, I get messages all the time, like, "Hey, what camera do you use?" And I'm like, "You started doing videos like like three weeks ago. Like, don't go out and spend money on a camera." Like. Make sure that's something you want to actually commit to first. Like, do six months worth of content and see if that's something you want to do. I always tell everyone, get a webcam and learn how to edit. That's it. That's all, all you really need to do. You know? I, I no, like but, I mean, you and Bueller, both, you know, you guys put some serious hours into it, though. I mean, it might be simple, but it doesn't take away from the fact that there's not labor involved. Yeah, there's a ton of labor. <laughs> like that little that little ten hour that the, the the little ten minute video of me talking like Darth Vader, doing that that must have took me an hour to record and then four to five hours to edit, easy maybe more, you know, and, and that's without it not crashing on me. So it's like yeah, there's, right, there's, there's, um, John John was talking about the one that he made the with the whole one, yeah his video he did today was amazing and that took him so um, long to do it. And, and, and that's the thing is, you know, it's, it's a content that takes, I mean, what was, what was the, the length of it? It was only minutes, right? It was, it was couple, what, yeah. 17? Not that long at all, you know? It didn't seem that long, but I mean, it took, I think, it, it, in the length of as much as two weeks, both between planning and execution, you know? So, yeah. I mean, yeah, it takes time. It's a labor. That nose is shaped so weird. I don't know how do you, how are you supposed to do that? It starts with a yeah. You, Wait, see, it, you see, it, it's you, like you section that your area. Oh, it's on top, and it, like comes down. It's a new character, and yo, <laughs> if JB ended, where the hell is he? Ain't come back to did come. He, did he? Uh, what, what, what are you doing, JB? Did he end? I think I, he did it him. Big big him out again. Yeah, no. I think he still might be live. Maybe he is. No, nah, he ended. Oh, he did. Yep. He really. Oh yeah. Yep. He, he, went went live. he went live for an hour and 54 minutes. Damn. Get out of here, dude. We're pushing four hours and 12 minutes. We went. <laughs> he's, a, yo, he's, he's done. He's done. I can't do it no more. You know? he, he went out to the garage. Look, Biggie Shack said, Discovery is done. 
Discovery is done. <laughs> Yo, he probably had a long ass day though. He did the oh, pop up yeah. job. He, did, he does a lot of stuff, man. Dude, he goes, go hey, no, he goes ham. Yo, Biggie, do we get a do we get a late night appearance? Yeah, do I get a, a Biggie in his boxers, man? I want to see Biggie, man. I can't wait to the fact that I'm gonna meet Biggie I see his this foot. year. I can't wait to meet Biggie. Did you man. see his foot? Yeah, yeah, foot looks kind of fucked up, man. I feel bad because yeah. he's always on his feet. He's always walking around streaming. You know, he's always doing something, walking around. And I'm like, holy shit, that must suck. Like, bro, don't fucking stream. Like, like you need to, you need to get your shit. You need to rest, man. Biggie says I streamed for nine hours today. No, you did it. It's Saturday. Holy. You streamed oh, for yeah. nine hours on Friday. We're in the future right now, Biggie. This is the your first Saturday stream. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a foot fetish. Hey, you don't. Hey, if Harley Quinn put her foot in your face, do you want to sniff it? Biggie Shack needs his own table at Mega Con. Keeps falling over. <laughs> oh man, bro. <laughs> oh man. Now I got I got some uh, buffalo chicken. So I, what I do is I take like two pounds of chicken, boneless chicken breasts. I season it. I throw it in a crock pot and I just dump a whole bottle of buffalo sauce and wait six mm. hours. And it tastes pretty damn good. And then if you want, you can even actually eat it uh, next day for leftovers. Just put it in a bun. Where you go? You got a sandwich. With some cheese. And there you have it. Boom. French roll. French oh, roll. Yeah. There you go. Wrinkle it Late night food <laughs> talk. <laughs> 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 you got to make the best of what you got. <laughs> damn, I got to get my ticket. Yes, you do. Biggie said, uh, my foot hurts. From overcompensating. Yeah, dude, just take the weekend off. If you got to take next week off, take next week off, man. Dude, you deserve it, Biggie. Get some rest, man. I hope, Like I said, I hope the, the toe ain't broken because, dude, man, I remember I was mentioning I was doing that cement job and the guy took a metal pole, dude, because it was like we were cracking cement with like a big 10-foot pole and he smashes it right on my fucking foot, bro. And my foot looked yeah. like Biggie's, dude. It was bad man that shit hurts dude i still bro from time to time that shit like don't go away either man you'll have when it gets especially for ohio boys like me and biggie when because the weather's so up and down when it gets real cold out you feel that shit man that's true let's see let's see where, where's this thing is actually not coming up yeah we might we might we might beat the record i think we went four and a half last time Oh yeah, this is out of not even counting. What did we we talk another hour and a half backstage? Yeah, oh, this is cover, uh, Biggie Shaq's foot, one. man. He fucked that shit up, dude. Look at that. Look at how he's that, bro. You fuck, bro. You got fucked up. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Let's see who else is in. That's an out. That's a big out. That, that is. A hey, that's out. good. You're keeping it up. I can see that you have it out of pill. That's smart, man. Yeah, keep it keep up. It elevated. And, uh, Definitely. Exactly. Here, we're going to go. Remember, Hashtag. plenty of whiskey yeah, well. and uh... <laughs> comics. <laughs> and comics, Hashtag. yes. <laughs> Get well soon for Biggie Shack. That's what, I love. That's what we did for me. <laughs> no whiskey. Well, I felt like, you know, it's a weird I show oh. Biggie's tail, but th this is a foot you know, kind of yeah, channel yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I guess we're going down that route. I'm being stupid. Bila. Is he frozen? No, I'm here. <laughs> oh, you're frozen. I can hear you. There. Oh, there you are. When um <laughs> when uh Star Trek was on before and he had his webcam and he moved his webcam down by his garage, I was like, oh, like literally on Wednesday, he said that that was his first ever live stream, and now this is his second. I'm like, oh, so now we're about to see your wiener. <laughs> I thought he was he was literally I thought because he pointed it right at his crotch, and I'm like, this is your second live stream. I was like, oh man, what happened? But he didn't. He had his cat sitting right there. And he's like, very quickly, you have to put your link in the chat anymore right after that. <laughs> I probably got scared. I've never been scared putting my link in the chat. But no, he's a Patreon member, so I kind of, you know, I trust him. Uh, let's see. Uh, still on, damn. Yeah, my, yeah, what are you doing, you know, man? Uh, uh, Hack, I think he just did his first live stream today. He's trying to hustle some books, man. Uh, Shell Biggest Toe. I did. Uh, then you get a ring of fire. 
he's not going to join us tomorrow, but he's probably going to join us in the future for our roundtable. Heck yeah. He was here in Portland, too. Uh, look at you, Hag. You're gonna you're gonna join the Portland crew, right? Yep, got him. Oh yeah, we gotta come up with a rap song for you guys. Down with the Portland crew. We can do it. Well, Catholics, none of us Jews. No. Nah. I don't know. I'm trying to rap. <laughs> that, I'm broke, bro. You think it broke? I don't know, man. Banger helped the pain. Get him. I'm pretty transparent. That banger. Whiskey isn't good for grout. Is that the grout? I don't I don't really understand what grout is. Last week we fell asleep on the couch around 4 a.m. watching Perry woke up to John Scott's with kids. Hey, you might do it again today. You know, it's not that bad of a thing. No, no. You, you, fall, you fall asleep to all of us and then you wake up to John. It's kind of like, you know, you made a full circle. Uh the, did you like the toe bealer? Huh? Huh? Did you like a bealer? No, I don't want to know. I don't want to see the nasty toe. I already saw a fan on his toe. It's pretty nasty. <laughs> Take it slow, B. Oh, yeah. Nice and slow. I have plans, uh, but I'm there next time. What do you mean you have plans? Get yeah. out of here. You don't got no plans. No. Go hang out with Bueller, man. Come he's on. Going to the he's going to the movie. He's going to the movie. What? He's going to go see Birds of Prey? Come on. No, he's going to go see that romantic one. Circle of life. No. Very true. <laughs> oh, man. This is actually really good. I've actually heard a couple of people post a couple of uh, videos already on Birds of Prey, and I heard good things. I, I, well, I, I guess if your expectations is nothing more than I guess some adventure, you know, what I mean, I because <laughs> that you know, from what I, I, other than you know, there's not any real substance of, as far as content is concerned. That's what I'm hearing. But if you're on, if you want to go on an adventure ride, you're good to go. Yeah, it's getting great reviews. I heard a couple people on Twitter talking pretty bad about it. But then again, those are the same people that like talk bad about every single movie that comes out. So it's kind of like you take everything with a grain of salt. You're always going to get people that just hate just because that's what gets clicks and views. And that's what their whole their whole online personality is about, you know. Uh, but now I, I've been hearing decent things about it. I've heard uh, some people say it was like a C like it was enjoyable, nothing that they re would rewatch, but it was good for what it was. And I'm like, well, that's kind of like only expectation I would have for a movie like that. I don't think I'm going to go in there and be blown away. I'm going to go in there and have a fun time, you know, see Harley Quinn, dance around, do some fun stuff, and then and then well, I'm going to forget about it. I'm uh, looking forward to see it. Just I'm not going to go pay to go see it. I'm going I'm to wait for <laughs> it comes out on some other streaming service. I'll just wait. You know, I don't have to go see that one. You're going to wait for that you guy know, to come I'm around on. with the DVDs and like, hey, I got some, some bootlegs. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not that guy. No, Sam I'm knows that guy. guy. I know. I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, you know, I'm, I'm dying for uh, Bloodshot to drop. You know, good or bad or yeah. different. I'm, I'm dying for that one. I just want something different besides a DC or a Marvel movie. I'm just waiting for something unique. I'm, Even I'm, if I'm it's with bad. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why people can't just be entertained anymore these days. Just entertain me for a couple of hours, and that's all I've heard that it was entertaining. Um, so that's, I mean, that's all you you could really ask for, you know. I mean, I, I do get it. Like when I'm in YouTube mode and I need to watch something to review it, I start breaking things down and analyzing things. But if you're going into it just watching it for fun, it's great. Like The Mandalorian was great, and then I broke it down with John. And I'm like, wow, I realized that I don't actually like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking the joy out of things, John. Uh, <laughs> Sam owns a trench coat. Do you, Sam? No, I actually I don't. No. Oh. What are you doing when it rains? I got a raincoat. Oh, you got a raincoat. It's not a trench coat. Okay. It's not a. It's not a trench coat though. No. You think he'll be bad? I kind of like Vin Diesel. Last movie I seen with Vin Diesel was um, uh, Pitch Black, and that's like one of my favorite like actiony type movies like that. I like Pitch Black, you know. And the second, the the next one after that was really good too. The Reddit, the Chron whole Chronicle series of uh. Yeah, I I dig all that stuff, but I, I got I, them I, too. My uh, my grandpa always loved those. Those cool like action flicks, like you know. Yeah, oh. and uh, the way they're made and shot are like really cool sci-fi. Yep. And it, it, it suits him. That's why when they chose him for uh, this bloodshot, I was like, yeah, that works. That, that, to me, that, that, it's going to work. 
I like Vin Diesel because he he said he used to play a lot of World of Warcraft. So I'm like, all right, you're okay in my book. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it should be cool. And I think they're actually, you know, there was, I think in Midtown, I, I read, I read something that they're actually doing some special comic and I don't know if he's signing it or what. And I do know they did, you know, cause I have one, but they did the same thing with like Spawn and a few other movies, you know, where they have these limited edition books and they're hard to find nowadays. You know, yeah. I have, one, but you know, they're hard to find. Yeah. I think that was one comic that came out of Vin Diesel as Bloodshot. But I, I heard someone yeah. talking about it. I just can't remember. Oh, okay. I was here for four hours, and you guys are still going. God damn. How you doing, Hero and the Kid? Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to Hero and the Kid and watching their movies, I mean, watching their videos, we're just talking about movies, um, definitely smash smash, uh, smash over to the channel and hit the hit that bell. Perry, last movie, Pitch Black, 1998. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that when it came out? Wow. Yeah, it's been a oh while. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I, I, I watched the first couple Fast and Furious movies, which were like my introduction to Vin Diesel, and yeah. then my brother had the DVD to Pitch Black, and I seen, seen that like around like 2009, 2010. So yeah, my movies. I mean, DVDs are you know you could rewatch stuff that came out years ago, and it's it's still great. But I've I've rewatched that movie so many times, especially when he took that cup. He's like, I'm gonna kill you with this cup, and then he kills him with a cup. I was like, oh my god, that was so cool, you know. Killer scene. Yeah, literally, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, it's a great scene. <laughs> yeah, a lot of those Riddick movies, I dig all that. But I'm also a big sci-fi geek. I like those those type of movies too. Oh yeah. I like a good sci-fi. That's why again, you know, it's weird when some of these these uh, books get optioned, they go up, you know what I mean? People spec on them and they turn them into movies, but when it's the other way around, it's such an iffy thing. That's why with that whole, even that uh, Gretsuko, uh, it was weird because it's already, it was pre-established, it was already around, but no one, not many people knew around here. So when it came out, it got bought up quick. I think there was only like 6,000 copies made. Oh, wow. So yeah, I I went I went to the first shop I go to opens up at eight a.m. It's the early, earliest shop I know around town. So that's, I got in there and uh, early. It which it is, and uh, I walk in there and I said, "Hey, uh, you know, do you have this book?" He said, "No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a customer that's going to go down the street. And I'm going to have him buy me one down there." <laughs> I said, really? He said, yeah. My owner, he, he spaced out, and when I was telling him to get it, he wouldn't. I'm like, ah. So, yeah. Let's see. It's great you to go back and watch movies. Yeah, people always talk about that movie Dune, but I never got into that one. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I want to see a BS movie. Hey, you guys got to do that. Hell yeah. Do it. Oh, we got to oh, yeah. I want to see like a vlog of, of Bueller. And Sam coming to Florida together and spending all this time together. It's going to be great. Oh, yes. Yeah, tell Sam to get his ticket. Sam, you better get your ticket. I knew, yeah. You guys going to share the same room? I don't don't think so. Peeler's like, no. (laughs) He's like, I can save all the money you can save. He's already putting us up. He's like, I've dealt with him. I've woken up too many times with him on my couch, butt naked, and I ain't doing it in the hotel room. Oh, man. He's like, oh, we, got- we ain't pulling no trains, planes, and automobiles in here. It's got a Picard in it. You don't have to share the same bed. You just, you know, it's the same room. No, I know. Oh, no, you got that, that body you warmth. That joke for one that got to <laughs> share the bed in planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> And those guys are strangers. Oh my god, I always laugh so hard when I see that movie. There's like a Funko Pop of this movie Dune, and the guy's like in his like underwear or something, man. Really? It looks like it literally oh, looks like this guy. Here, let me go. Yeah, he's got like no shirt on, and he's got like yeah. uh, sumo wrestling uh, boxers on. Oh, this guy. It's that, really, yeah, that's one. Chamber, yeah. I want, I want to see Kachun do a cosplay like this. <laughs> the Sting character. The Sting? Yeah, not the wrestling Sting. The other, the, the, the uh, singer. 
You know, not bad. The musician, for, yeah. Uh, it, he comes out of like a, a sanitation chamber when you know, and he steps out, and that's what he's wearing. Oh wow! Yeah. Not drawing ever in our. Oh, he's trying to figure out what what, what shop opens at eight a.m. He's trying to hit that up. Um, here not in LA. Oh, LA. all right. Um, check this out. There's a place that's right a couple blocks away on Melrose, right next to Golden Apple. It's called Mega City One, and um, if you start become a patron of them they'll knock off money i walk in there because i end up getting i don't like using current size bags i use like using modern or uh silver age so when i get my current bags i give them to them and they knock as much as a dollar fifty off a book a brand new book for me just by wow. giving them a bag so Dude, i give them i didn't even know what a modern book was at the shop oh, when i asked them he was like, "No, I just got Silver Age, or uh, no, current." Oh, but he yeah, doesn't my, have Silver Age resealable. Which that you know the cool thing about resealables is you know you never have to worry about your tape catching your your mag. I mean, I always pull my tape off and throw it off to the side. But see, man, I always like some with some of the bags, depending which tape I use. Which my boy Robbie said the purple Scotch tape is horrible. It like sometimes when I go to reread the book and I take it off, the tape ends up ruining the bag because it kind of rips off or something. So I'm like, well, if I'm if my if I'm gonna ruin my bags, I'm gonna just have to get new bags. I'm spending more money, so I was like, might as well just stick with the resealable. <laughs> I got I gotta I gotta get I gotta get the bag bags and boards Bueller gets because he got he got the fire ones. <laughs> my LCS sent me <laughs> sent an employee down the street to get me a book from another shop once. I'm gonna shut it to your yo. My uh, guy at the LCS, it's like right down the street. He would never do that shit. He was like, <laughs> he's like, yo, you can go check down the street. I'm like, I was like, you want to call him for me? He's like, no, I can't. He's like, you'll have to go down there yourself. I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> he's, like, actually, he's like, I don't do it. He's like, we don't really do things like that. I'm like, what do you mean? You can't just see if he has it. I don't want to go down there for no reason. He's like, well, almost like he didn't want them to know he was bringing business to him. Because I guess maybe they're probably in competition because it's like the only two shops yeah. in the area. And they're on the same street. So it's like, what the hell are the coincidences? No shops around well, my area, but there's two on the same street. So here's a, Sam, here's a story uh, Sam and I'm sure uh, Travel can identify with. So on the story of 34th, uh, Miracle on 34th Street is basically in part a story about one store plugging another store, even though the two stores are in competition. So I go to a store that if they don't have something, they call another store of their own. And if they don't have it, they in turn, both stores will call a couple local stores near them and see if they have a particular book. And if they do, they send me over there. That's, that's awesome. why that's why I keep a patron over at that store. Because they're willing to find me what I'm looking for. So I'm always willing to go to that shop first. Because that's the shop I'd be like, okay, I'm sticking with y'all. Like, you guys are willing to go that extra mile to find me the book. Even if it's not you making the buck, the five bucks. Dude, I want to know where I can get some Mylars without having to buy a, a hundred thousand like JB. <laughs> buy, the, buy them from JB. He should do that in his pop up shop. Just he sent me a, bags. He should. He sent me a couple when I when I got some stuff from him. He I told Actually. you he didn't send me my uh the, the venom though in a mylar. You know oh, who's got a connection? Yeah, got, Perry. We got a, con a connect right here. This guy right here. He's got the the Max Pro <laughs> Supply. Right, right, Bueller. What, what kind of bags you got over there? A Max Pro Supplies. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he 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 peddles their stuff for them, you know. I do pedal their stuff for them. I, I do a good job on it too. You do. That's what I'm saying. You know, you get a little a little a little shout out to uh, Max Pro. Not a lot of people know about Max Pro. Yeah, here's the thing, man. Uh, they if if you have a comic shop, go tell your comic shop to look up Max Pro supplies and tell them to just order some stuff. For one, it's cheaper. And then your comic shop will pay the shipping and all that stuff, and then you can just get them there. So, like, Dylan, just tell your comic shop, man, and say, hey, check out these bags. They're called Max Lights from Max Pro Supplies. 
trust me, the wholesale price are the same as regular. Yeah. Man. And then when your comic shop gets them in, I guarantee you, uh, you'll switch immediately to those bags. They're, they're still good. But, I'm going to have to tell them. I'll show them the page on your uh, channel because you yeah. got the link right to their main page too. Yeah, just go right to their website. That's what I was actually doing today. I was pitching their product to a, a comic shop today and I bought in a bunch of samples and stuff. Yeah. Right. If I get it, if I get if I get them to sign, I'm gonna be like, now nah, you guys gotta sign me like Bueller. I don't make any money from them. Just, just <laughs> they just then, they just give you free bags and board. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I seriously, I've, I've been promoting their product over a year. I don't, I don't get anything from them as far as money. Um, I yeah. don't get into nothing. I mean, they, they told me that they would, uh, they want to set something up, but really, I. I haven't showed a lot of interest in doing that. Um, I'm pretty content with just having the option to, you know, get some supplies and stuff like that and share it with my friends and stuff. So, you know, they're, they're welcome to I know they're friends of mine. So, you know, really oh, this lady cracked me up. Were they, are they like a newer company? So, are they still kind of like building up themselves? No, they're not wow. new. They've been around a long time. They were a distribution place to where they distributed the ECW, uh, Gerber products and everything. And they still do the Gerber products, like the uh, Mylars and uh, Fullbacks. But they have their own product line called the Mesh Pro Supply. Yeah. And, uh, that's kind of what I, <laughs> you know, tell people to get. Because, it's just, like I said, it's just cheaper. And, like, the the bags, the Max Fly bags, things I saw, I was like, dude, these are awesome. Yeah. So I don't know if any of your guys' local shops are going to the. There's a Comics Pro event that's at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. It's a big retailer convention for comic shops. They they come from all over the United States to this thing, and uh, it's in Portland this year. So I'm representing Max Pro Supplies at their booth, and we're gonna. Not that Max Pro. You know, it's gonna be blinging. Malibu tag. Hell yeah, <laughs> blinging. <laughs> Lay down, dude. Lay down. Now that boo. Max Pro. Feel the rep in that Max Pro life. I'm trying to get them to make the back and board. That's going to gonna be my thing. You got what? I'm trying to get them to make the colored backing boards. The red and the blue and the green ones and stuff. They're plastic and they're different colors. He wants, and, he wants uh, a rainbow. He wants, he wants, have, he he wants the really rainbow cool. flag. I made, I made some prototypes out of their material and and uh, they thought they were pretty cool. It's just a matter of uh, price, and if they can manufacture them for and for a uh, affordable price for people. So, <laughs> Bill has a six-digit yeah. contract. He's got that contract. That's right. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. I, I don't. Uh, I call them like this kind of like a. I don't want to be like get a percentage of sales. I'd just rather have a flat. You know, monthly, you know, contract with them. Type of Have a good night, assassin. And just kind of do that. You know, it'd be easier for me to do. It's pretty cool. It's not bad. It's I'm lucky because they're local. Like I said, they're, they're literally twenty minutes up the road from me, and and they're they're more well known in the West Coast. So, you know, uh, the more uh, we can get the word out there. Here's the thing. I met with uh, them today, and their uh, their comic book supplies. So they do all sorts of stuff, you know, as far as collectibles like cards and sports, you know, cases or whatnot for like football and stuff like that. So they have do a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, they said that their comic supplies have really gone up, and the, honestly, the only reason they can figure it out is because of the Bueller code. <laughs> I was like, that's great, man. I'm glad I could help out. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Let me get, let me, they can send me some free stuff and I'll, I'll pimp some of their stuff out too, man. Go on, Wheeler. <laughs> they got to get on the East Coast. I'm an East Coast guy, man. They're I'm doing that. They're, they're the ones, that's why I'm going to them. They got me that diamond retailer pass. Oh, snap. So, yo, uh, you moving to Jersey? I am, yeah. That's, yo. Bro, we about to link. Yo, brother. We're going to be right next to each other. What's this guy got over here? 
Oh, just some my lights. I figure I might as well do some bagging and boarding when I'm here, since I can, so, so I can, uh, this, I just, so I can bag up my, uh, my newest acquisitions to the oh. collection. Shit. Damn. Just oh, show them. 12. Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. And, and, and then what we got this, this was Chad RCG's first thing he ever sold in an auction were these two books. And I was his very first customer. Chad RCG's first wow. customer. That's a clean book. I got X Men forty six and X Men twelve. First Juggernaut beat wow. down. This thing's in great shape. I'm probably gonna get it clean and pressed. Mm. But I figured since I'm you know since I'm still up and everyone else is asleep, and I'm still up, <laughs> mm. we might as well uh, do a little bagging and boarding. Yeah, you like that shirt, huh? Think of that. They're gonna start laundry. going out. I didn't do laundry. I had no clean shirts. But now I ah, do because I opened the AOK with a clean shirt. I don't got to do right. on Sunday now. And now just know that I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna snip you out of this little photo right here and drop your ass on Instagram. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> nice. Just gonna give up. So what size? What size uh, board and bags do you use? I use the uh, Mylite Two Silver and Golden Age. Silver gold, silver gold. Oh, those are big, big, big yeah, boy bags. That's, that's a big Bro, one. You, you teased me with those my lights and the like uh, Bueller socks, baby. and the uh, fifty fullback silver gold. Yeah, nice. Those big big boys, Bueller big socks. boys. And the best way to do it is, I'm telling you, uh, the cheapest way to go. I know it's not, you know. It's it's the cheapest way to go is you just buy a thousand of each. I was just telling them since you buy like a fucking crazy ton of yeah. of them, why don't you do like a like a little lot and and the I, you know I shop. should you know I was thinking I might as well start wholesaling them because I didn't know they were so damn expensive on the retail. There you go. We got the, we got the plug. We got the mylar connect. There you go. So I, now it's all mylar up. Man, that looks ooh, so look good. Look at that sexy book. Ooh. That is sexy when you drop it in a mylar, isn't it? <gasps> Bro, but this you? one, this book all, was already clean. But look what it's gonna do to this little, this little guy with his rusty ass staples. <laughs> Hold on, let me grab a new another one out here. And you're gonna take an X Men number twelve, which is just gonna stay in my personal collection anyway. It ain't going anywhere. I didn't have twelve, but uh, it's a no, low grade. You you cut yourself on these things. It's a low grade copy of twelve, all rusted out. Rusted. Oh, that's not nice. I like that. You guys are going to witness Mylar magic. The strength of street knowledge. The Mylar magic. We'll take that beat down book and make it look so pretty. Oh. Look so pretty in there. So pretty. beautiful. Right? And now you take yeah, both of those up. So, you know, this was great. I had D-Runk in the stream. I don't know if you saw that. I had D-Runk in the stream and I had Chad That's RCG in the stream. And Chad That's goes, true. I'm like, hey, Chad, since you're here, I got this. I got this box I haven't opened from you. Like, you know what? This shit's from September. And you could see D Runk starting to get, you know, starting to get heated. He's like, I know, I, I think I know what this is, dude. You you outbid me on this shit. You outbid me on this shit and you let it sit on your fucking floor for five months, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh well. Dude, I had to switch out. I, I had to switch one of those mylars you gave me to put in that sign, Donnie Cates. I'm sorry that sign, Donnie Cates, wasn't in one of those, man. Dude, I, it was so, those mylars are so clean, though, bro. Like, I couldn't, because those are the first time that I've, first time I've ever seen them. I'm going to have to start fucking like, retailing these motherfuckers right here. <laughs> yo, we were just saying that. We were like, he should just start selling them. It's like, you know I, what? What do I put out? Well, little tech packs? <laughs> If you're getting if you're getting them for a thousand for four hundred bucks, I'm paying. Basically, I get fifty. Uh, I do the silvers and I pay thirty six with shipping and all that. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, you're. I mean, you're. You're. If you even if you shit even if you sell them for around thirty five to forty bucks, you'd be making a killing for fifty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, pull it back out of the sleeve and put it back in. 
Full of it. I want to get nasty. Yeah. You know, I got a couple other ones I need to actually redo. Now that we're here, we might as well just redo JB's. My This is the oldest one I've got in my collection. Number nine. Mm. But I don't wow. know if I want to open it. It's a 1.0. This is you know this is how you learn how to grade. When you buy a book from, I think what is this, My Comic Shop, right? And it yeah. tells you, it's a straight up, this is a 1.0. So if you want to know what a 1.0 looks like, it looks like this. <laughs> this is what a 1.0 looks like. But hey, man, low grade is better than no grade. You got to have a grade yeah. to get the game, right? Yeah. So, but when you change so those like, over, you what, lose that so little sticker. Well, you said that's number my, twelve. That's my lowest. X Men is is uh, number nine. 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 This one. This is nine. Yeah. So that's within the first year. So that was nineteen sixty three. Then right? Does it say on the uh, nineteen sixty three? God I, was just, I was just thinking, you could get a no grade label from CGC, right? Like they, they they'll refuse to to grade a book sometimes. Really? Yeah. Why if it's fraudulent, I know they will. But I, so I here don't know. here's what the 1.0 looks like out of the bag. Out of the bag. Oh damn! And yeah, that's there's your there's your one point oh. Definitely 1.0. worth 1.0s, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I bet you could clean that, man, and make it a little bit higher, dude. He yeah. says, I'll take your old Mylar. <laughs> and then you again, you're going to see the magic. Ready for magic? He goes, Mylar is about to go Mylar. Into the magic. Bam. Well, this is my, for my PC anyway, so there you go. I feel like it adds like a layer of saturation to it. Dude, it it's like it color. does. The like colors, the it beauty, seems, man. I think, just come like, out better. Crazy. It's nuts. Cause like I didn't even know what mylar's were and nuts. Always hearing JB talking about, it. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, are yeah, yeah. It's crazy. They get an NG grade on them. So yeah. NG grade. So what? What do you say at that point? If you get a book from CGC that has an NG, because it's like no grades better than than low grades better than no grade. But if you get yeah, a but no what if you get an NG? If you then get you get a got... no grade. Then it's like, well, no grades <laughs> better than not having the fucking book. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If this was a 1.0, and then, the, then the it. juggernaut's got to be like. A, a point five, because oh, this wow. thing is beat to hell. Two rusty staples. This thing didn't even have rusty staples, and it's got a one point oh. <laughs> Get a point two. Whatever. I got it in the collection now. Fills the hole. Yep. Yeah. That's what you got to do. You got to fill the hole. Fill the holes. Got to fill the holes. Fill it in, nice and fill, <laughs> fill it in. Hey, fucking Barry. Fill them in. <laughs> now, what else did we get? Oh yeah, this is what I got from uh, uh, comically flawed. Ooh, Me another one of those. Fucking wow, wow, dude! You got people just giving you shit. Or are you buying that? No, I bought this oh, one. I was like, holy shit, that's one hell of a day. Okay. No, now I bought. Oh, as a matter of fact, you're talking about a okay. I did get a cool a okay. I hadn't shared with everybody. So you know, people ask me, and I, I did this on the show earlier. People ask me why, you know, do Chino Comics really in Houston? That's your LCS. I'm like, yeah, I they send I get my discount just like I would from Midtown. They take care of me. And when I say they take care of me, you know, he'll hit me up and say, Hey man, this book's hot. You are you interested in picking one of those up for whatever spec value it is? I'm like, fuck yeah, throw that shit in there. He ended up sending me this and I threw the note away already. Oh, it's wow. a one per store variant. Oh wow. Holy shit. I've never seen it before. Hey, man, Dude, come on. Dude, I've never seen that either. I've never seen it before. It's a one per store variant from I Chino. Mean, they sent it to me. I'd be real pissed if my shop got one. Right? I need, I need to hit Chino. What the fuck? She, well, there's only one per store, man. Come right. on. I spent a lot of money with come Chino, on, bro. Man. You seen my pulls? You yeah. know what I'm pulling a week? Yeah, you know, you somewhere pull, between you... 10 to 14 books a week. It's all that all that business is going over there. Yeah. I'd be pulling more than Jay. I'd be pulling, if not just the, as much, if not more. And my guy be playing the fuck out of me. He'd be like, nah, I'm going to hold these bitches off. He'd be hiding the one per stores from me. That's so crazy. We got an annual 14 today. Because I think me and JB, our lists are probably pretty close, but I, I think I get maybe one or two more books than him. I'm telling because I'm, well, now maybe not because I've been cutting back. Dude, my last week, I only got seven. The week before, only eight. That's yeah, I got ten. Down. Actually, I got like eleven. 
That I'm is sure you shot way me. down. Where did go? I no, dude, oh, you know wow. how many I'm getting next? Like not this week, but the week after, dude. The week after, not next week, but the week after, I'll be getting like twenty bucks, dude. Wow, spending some scratch, brother. Yeah. What'd you guys think of Thor that. two? I gotta cut shit off. I made a whole review on it. I, I literally singled that book out. I loved it so Thor much. Thor 2. Actually, I just read it the other day. I thought it was... Man. Man. It's Next week, it. Thor, it's the Thor 3. And I'm Batman. Thinking, Dude, the new Batman the was League. freaking was fire. Is that Bueller when he was a kid? What the fuck is that? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. Are, these going, are, are these going up in the next auction? <laughs> yeah. the next I want signed prints. I want signed prints. Signed. Can we get him signed? No, no, he won't sign it. Just ask Sam. <laughs> no, he won't. He won't. <laughs> I tried to get him to sign wow. something. I think he's gonna do the rest of the show with behind that that picture. Very hey, cool. in the 1940s. That, that's a pretty good picture. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Come on. I mean, beat, bro. Come on. I had like 11 or That's 12. Got you dealing week. between me and Will. We were close to 20 each week. Expensive buying for two. Hey. Well, Sorry it depends it. what week you got me on, bro. Because this week, I ain't buying no 20 bucks. Four on a big week. Wow. You know, it, sh it, it sucks. I, I do pre-orders, right? I always pre-order books. And then I go out to the shops and I'm like, fuck, I really want to read this now. So I wind up buying a lot of doubles sometimes. That's what I'm doing too. Cause I'm like, I she knows sending thing. them to me, but I can't wait to read my X-Men titles. I, so I still drive to go get my X-Men title. I, I drove to get my Batman and you know, I tell you how I feel about this Batman. I'm all in <laughs> better and Batman, better guys. It's getting better and better <laughs> and better <laughs> and better. <laughs> Uh, I finally got the fight scene that I wanted. He kicks ass. You got that card um, out too. Dude, when he slits his throat at the end, you're like, what? what? Dude, dude, come on. Really good, bro. Each yeah. issue gets so it's much good. better. Definitely. I couldn't believe that ending. I'm like, holy crap. And then they got that little secret thing that's going on in all these. Yeah, what, what did they call? Secret. What did they reference? Them? I I fucking did this. The, the shit guy too. they're like referencing is designer. The designer. Yeah. You're all over that shit. I had to look that shit. The, the designer. There's a rapper called the designer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's uh, Are you Perry, you're not reading Batman? I'm not, I'm a I'm a detective bitch. You're a detective bitch, huh? Wow. Yeah. You're missing out. It's only three issues in. Why would you miss out? Dude, Dude it is three issues in. It's 85 issues in. Three issues with this writer. Yeah, but that's it's not me. Story man. I got I got Three I gotta, issues I gotta, with this story oh. arc. Yeah, and guess what? He's gonna jump off at 100. You're a fucking else is gonna completionist. Jump on. It's like he's, I, no, I can't I can't get in on look, issue look, eight. You're, you're, watch this, I JB. Have to buy the other 85. Check this out. No, you you're know. gonna get you're gonna get fully invested in you look, you're gonna get fully invested in Tinian, and it's gonna hit a hundred and he's gonna jump off and they're gonna have a whole nother person. And it's gonna be like, yeah. you know, they should have just let King go all the way to hundred, let him finish up whatever garbage he had, and then and then start <laughs> someone new. <laughs> why? Why? Why do you say it's gonna change in a hundred? Because the hundred's a landmark fucking issue. No, because they gotta because, change it. Because because King's run was to a hundred or hundred and five or something like that, and so they booted him off, and they had someone to fill in. They had but, to throw what, someone in there. Barry, check this out. They could do whatever the fuck they want. That's why they booted his ass. They yeah, could put they, this guy on there for the next twenty fucking years. All you right, but the, look, check this out. The fact that they have uh, almost a hundred issues of King that means they already have someone lined up. They already had someone for after King, and then then King started fucking up like crazy, and they're like, I they got to do damage I, control. I, I so bet they, they say, hey, we're gonna give you a hundred issues, and if you make it to a hundred issues, which I doubt you'll make it, but if you make it to a hundred issues, we'll talk about what's Tom King. Another hundred issues. Who would have made? I mean, he's 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 finishing up his story in the, in that uh, Batman Catwoman book. That's yeah. So he's still getting the so finish. He's still doing shit. it. It's just he got so much hate. On Batman, that they were forced, like they had to. They had. Why to do you think he got him. the hate? What's your? What do you? The story was just boring. It was shit. Like Sam says, DC sucks. Say, <laughs> tell me about it, Sam. <laughs> Say, fuck Batman. <laughs> Say fuck Batman. Yo, fuck Alfred. What about Alfred? 
Alfred's dead, bro. Fuck Do Alfred. not come. Uh, don't get stupid and bring Alfred back. He's dead, dude. Alfred's dead, and he's getting dead. He's getting hella. He's getting hella books, and he's dead, bro. Like he got that annual, and now next this week he gets a one shot Alfred Pennyworth R.I.P. <laughs> Fight, Perry versus discovery to the death. <laughs> to the death. <laughs> Battle oh, Royale. It nice. will change. Jenny, Jenny cares, cares more, more about more something that's killing the children than Batman. He's just a dude. You are you must not even be read Patrick. Tell dude. me you're read. You've yeah. read all three issues of this Batman. Tell me you read all three. Bueller did. And you didn't like it? <laughs> I don't I don't know. Batman. But uh you know Tinian too, he's writing well, he might not have even been there. <laughs> Bueller, you've been reading Batman. Oh, look right? it is. What? Alfred's getting the dead guy left. The are you reading Batman? Batman? Yeah. You, you like, like it? it, yes or no? Yeah, I like that too, bro. There you go. See? He likes it too, man. He likes it. Like Mikey, Mikey, he likes it. He likes it. Yeah. And, uh, dude, Tinian's got that win. He's got another Boom Studios title coming out that I guess he would, like, it's a title he was working on since he was, like, a, in high school called Wind, like, W-Y-N-D. Well, of course, you can't dope. just spell fucking wind. Win. Why could you just spell it, it fucking wind? Hey, hey, hey it does it weird. blow? <laughs> it, uh, you know what? It kind of, it, it seems kind of like maybe a folklore type thing. There's ooh, something that's ooh, killing the children. Is that signed? Shit, signed. Why is that so big? Yeah, he Very nice. Many. So if you hey, see oh, hey, killing Mueller, is that what that? product is that that you're displaying it in? It's, it's one of those... the BCW. Is yeah. it the other one? The showcase. Yeah, it's the, the showcase. showcase. Okay, yeah. I've never gotten one of those. They're kind of um, cool, though. I, I will tell you this: you know, they're meant to hang on the wall, you know. And I told them today. I said, "You guys need to have it so that there's a stand, so you can." So they're gonna make a little stand that goes in the back. Same. So you can just, you know. Have yeah, stand. definitely. Come on, little design change. Look at that. You got yourself a whole new patent there, right? <laughs> We're going to do that and put that in there so you can just either hang it on the wall or put the little kickstand on it. And just... Sweet. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you? It'd be just like any other picture frame. Yeah. Sure. I told him I did it with a pencil. I literally took a pencil and put it on the back. I go, so it can't be more than just a little. What do you mean? So is Pear, are you going for like some sort of crazy eight hour stream or something? What are you no, doing? No, I was gonna tap out at like like two hours. Well, but then the JB fuck? said JB's going live. I'm like, all right, well let me let me let me wait for JB to finish and then he could jump on. And I'm like, holy shit, why is JB taking so fucking long? Well, wait, and then wait. I'm like, all right, well, it's you know, he gets I know it's Friday, but I'm like, all right, you know, and then I realized I'm like, all right, well. Let's see if we can go to five hours at least. Yeah, oh, we beat last uh, last week. We went four and a half, so we already beat last week. That, that's true. You know, I mean, aren't you going to run out of time because you're on the regular stream, the free stream yard, right? Yeah. Well, I, I when I go lurking, I use I use slobs. I use stream. Oh, okay. So this is the only time I actually get to like get my feet wet on stream yard. Yeah, I'll probably use the rest of my hours up tomorrow. <laughs> Just do you know what I'm doing tomorrow? I'm opening up all these fucking mystery boxes tomorrow. Swear. Oh, I oh, swear cool. all the mystery box there is you right they, I got them all. I got I got I got Bueller's box. I got Barbarian Kung Fu's box. I've got Comic Toms. I've got uh Jabronis. Comic Head 84s. I've got a comic foo in conjunction with Chase My Comics. I've got a comic vantage. I've got a Chris Barrett. I've got a Bake the Snake. I've got a Bolo box. Wow. Oh, holy fuck. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. How many oh, you got there? Like ten goddamn. No, boxes. I think there's more than ten, so I'm missing somebody. You gotta have eleven so you can say let's open you a eleven. Opened up a eleven today. I watched you. No, nah, there's there's somebody else in there on that list. Where's the fucking where's the notepad at? I don't know if I got so many comic books. Can you find Did you buy one of Meta's boxes? 
Well, I met when I bought from Meta, I wouldn't consider a mystery box because I already opened that. These yeah. are like just the straight mis- mystery box, mystery boxes. Let's see who I'm missing. <laughs> Shank said it's four in the morning. Are we really doing this? Right yeah. Now? <laughs> Uh, baby, come on, man. We got his shirt on. By the way, if you're interested in getting free shipping on that shirt, if you want to get free shipping on that shirt, you can use the disco uh, the count uh, the uh, discount code disco. Hey, he, he got free shipping on them books too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I gave yeah, the books. I was gonna I, I was waiting for like another another pop-up shop to jump in. My artist list. Books. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Uh, who did I miss? Comic Tom, Simple Man's Bolo, Bueller Box, Barbarian Kung Fu, Bake the Snake, Comic Jabroni, Chris Barrett, Vantage. Oh, the Spider Man booth, which mm, probably it's okay. not in here because it's ordered but it didn't come. Yeah, com- so there's 10 Comic Fu and Comic Kid 84. 10. 10 different comic book community members' mystery boxes will be open tomorrow <laughs> live. How long do you think that's going to take you? 10 hours. <laughs> I don't know. At least an hour, a couple hours, probably. Yeah, I'd say like two. Yeah, probably, probably like a couple hours. hours. At least, you know, for sure. And I want to open them by tier, you know, meaning that the least expensive Bueller's will go first. Yeah. <laughs> it's the least cheap, expensive the one. Cheap date. The cheap date. Cheap get date. Out of the way. The goes first. <laughs> get it out of the way. Uh, get the disappointment <laughs> first. Just rip it off. Yeah, oh, rip the, the band off. <laughs> The twenty-five no, cent books just get out of here. Bueller's and <laughs> Bueller's and Barbarians with you know with shipping are both twenty bucks basically. That's a great deal. It is a deal, yeah. man. So you get you. I'll start with those two, and then it then it goes up. I think what bake is bake is thirty because I bought multiples. I got um um life of two YouTubers aok'd me a bake box. How cool is that? Fuck right. yeah! That's dope. Yeah, awesome. and you were entered into the uh no, into the, the drawing. Yeah, yeah that. Fucking Chad won again. He did. Oh, <laughs> man. I don't pay attention to a lot of stuff. I thought I did. I realized my my YouTube has come to the point where I'm subscribed to so many channels that it's almost overwhelming going on YouTube now because there's just so many con so much hey, content. You know what you do? Just just swing by my channel. <laughs> I do an alert. Swing by my channel. Yeah. You don't need to get don't don't get overwhelmed by YouTube, Perry. Just swing by my channel. Check out the top picks. Check out the creator uh, live streams, <laughs> right? Come on, man! Come on, man! <laughs> nice. Oh man, that's funny. But oh wow, we just we made it past. You made it. Five, you did it. Five More. hours and seventeen minutes. This is the longest Yo, I've ever lasted wow. this year. Wow! So I didn't even need a blue chew. You ever done? I thought you said you did six hour stream. Yeah, but, uh, this year. Yeah. Yeah. No blue shoe either. I don't, I've I don't think good. I've done one a stream. Unless not on my channel at least. <laughs> Viola fell asleep. That's cool. He's, there he is. He's trying to get his blue. Are you working? Ready. Bueller, are you working? He's like, God. You him. are, aren't you? You're working on some content or something. You want a list doing, or Bueller? nothing? What are you worrying? Oh, you always got something going. What you got going on? He's working on a list. He's brainstorming right now. He's Let's like, oh, show, 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 the class. Idea. show the I class, got, Bueller. You guys just gave me three ideas for content right now. You're killing it. I, I never want to have ideas for content. No, it never seems like you do. I don't have enough time for my content. <laughs> Ask for one per story. You do you have your books ahead of time right now. Yeah, oh. D- Dylan gets his books on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, yeah man. You're complaining. You're complaining. Uh, come on. That's for the one. <laughs> yeah, you guys have forced me to look at my pre-buys, and you know, I already covered my um, some of my April stuff, and I have already 23 titles already pre-bought for April. Oh. Damn. Nah, no, that that's that's allegedly Agu. Allegedly. <laughs> I get them early, but I don't even get them early that early, man. Come on, man. Plus, I still, even when I do, I you would think I'd be like, oh, yeah, so you get first shot at the one per store? No, I don't. <laughs> they don't let me. He don't show it to me. All right. So I, I, I drive to Concord on Wednesday, Concord, California, to go to this store called Flying Colors, which is basically the closest one to me. It's it, I'm either going to Concord or I'm going to Stockton, and Concord's a better neighborhood, basically, straight up. 
So I go out to Concord. The store hasn't even opened yet. It opens at uh, 11, 11 a.m. So I'm there at like quarter two, and there's a fucking group of people out in front. Huge group of people out in front. And I'm thinking, all right, cool. Well, at least I know that I'm going to get my, you know, my X-Men titles, my Batman and shit. I'm here early. As a matter of fact, I get probably three to four books a week there. I get, and they're all same things I'm getting from Chino. But like when I order from Chino, I'll say, hey, give me cover B in everything. And then I'll go get cover A if I want to read it. Yeah, they grease them up. So I, I, you know, I asked the guy when no, I get to the register, I'm like, hey, man, are there any discounts? You know, I've noticed that I, I've never got any discounts here. And he goes, oh, no, 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 we don't we don't do that um, because we don't we don't upcharge uh, our variants very much. And I go, I'm not buying those fucking variants. I don't give a fuck about those. What about me? I'm, what about the shit I'm buying? Is there any discounts on this shit right here? <laughs> And he's like, no, we don't do that. But I'll give you this pack right over here. If you spend $25 or more, I'm going to give you this little pack of five comic books in it. And those five comic books go into the pop-up shop, and I recoup five bucks every day. So at least I get that. But no discount. That kind of sucks. Because they don't upcharge their, they don't upcharge their variants very much. Not that <laughs> they don't upcharge them at all. They don't upcharge their variants very much. I their ratio variants. Over. Cover price, I, I rarely do because I, I get what 10%. No, I get 15% for my box, and then another like 5% if I pick it up that Wednesday. And then if, if I have my debit card, it adds like on file, it adds another 2.5%. If it's on file, if they yeah. can fucking. They charge that shit Tuesday night. Say, so, yeah, got my money. <laughs> so, man, let's see. Uh... Have a good night, Perry. If your box is so, arrived tomorrow, I'm coming. Perry, there. are you trying to outlast everybody? Is this what this is? You just want to just make sure that everybody in the chat falls out, and once the <laughs> once the last person taps out, and says, "All right, Perry, you beat me. I'm going to bed. The sun's coming up." Nah, he's Perry. just begging for us to leave so he can just have a he's so like, he can leave, quit already. Right? Motherfuckers! What is no, look, all here? right. No, I, I I am gonna. I have to go like for a walk in like three hours. I, I gotta go up to like um. A Tampa walk? Bay, there's like a, a whole. Bunch. I gotta go with the family. You know, we're gonna go and we're gonna go like take the take the boy. We're gonna go uh in the playground. We're gonna walk around the woods and stuff. You're really shut the, the fuck up. You're gonna be sleeping. You're gonna roll over and go. Are you nuts? I just got off the fucking YouTube three hours ago. Go ahead, take the kid. The, the door's right over there. <laughs> 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 Look, man, JV's a boss. I don't know how you talk like that. I get, a, I get a fucking sandal to the back of the head. You know. <laughs> Oh, oh no, I would never say that to my wife. Are you kidding me? She'd fucking kill me. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's I remember funny. walking up and down the uh the halls in the middle of the night with the crying baby, man. Oh, remember that shit, Perry, when they were just little? Cover? Remember when they were just little and you had to walk up and down the halls, they were oh, crying. No and and you're like, man, head. this kid doesn't want me. This kid doesn't want me. And eventually you just you just come on, man. Come on. She's like, all right, fine. Put that thing on the boob, and you're like, "There you go, man! You just wasted 20 minutes of me walking up and down the and hall." I'm like, "Well, I'm thirsty too, you know." What I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Sherry scary? You know what I'm saying? Why does he get all of it? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, which one of you is in the pussy? <laughs> Bula, that's what Bula's doing. Bula's watching some porn right now. Uh, uh, I will be offering. Yeah. Look <laughs> at him. You had him properly. <laughs> Yeah, this, is, this is this is spank time. He's he's sitting there on board of watching there something you go. good. <laughs> <laughs> so much talking about outlasting. Oh, so you got a pen in your hand? What are you writing down? You're driving me crazy, dude. dude he is. He's brainstorming. He's he's fucking. He's brainstorming right now. He's got all the. He's got. We're giving Make him content the, ideas. The right? list while we're he uh, never stops. Do list. While watching, this is the only way. This is if you want to know the secret to his success, he never stops working, he's constantly working on something. Never stop working and do everything the exact opposite of what Perry is doing. (laughs) There it is. That's the key to success, he says. (laughs) Where's my hands, (laughs) Miller? He's working on Sam's itinerary for the Comic Con. 
What are you doing? Oh, oh, what is that? Look at that. Like he curses? was. He's right on the back. Come back right on the back. Out. It's all glossy and shit. You can't see anything. Yeah, that's, these are all. I, I'm trying to come up with different uh, questions that I asked in my coffee video. It was Al repeating myself. And so far, I have like 30 topics to talk about. It's not, Damn. It's not easy to come up with all these things. So I, I take a lot of time to figure it out. So. Well, we all know the ideas. They always come from this guy right here. Yeah, got it. Yep, there it is. Oh, we got it. The architect. Give me a break. <laughs> Look, we're all, we're all gonna get closer right now. <laughs> the architect. Yeah. Oh shit. Hey Dylan. Hey Barry. How you doing? I'm doing good. It says it's 3:42 behind you. Is it 3:42? Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Yep. I'm gonna get in trouble. What time is it for you? But I gotta get up too early. Yeah, I, I got I got a question for you. What's the most searched? And Bueller probably knows this. What's on, the most searched comic book related tag on YouTube? Comic books. I always do like what's releasing oh. next week. What comics are coming out? What is what it? comics to buy? And then the date. Those are all of Bueller's tags. I notice all of Bueller's tags. They all rank number one. So I just on they are number one. All you of can them. just you can just copy all his tags. And then just paste copy it. his tags and you paste them into your video. Is that Which I don't understand because I did that and it said it was 570 out of 500. So I had to delete some tags. I'm like, how does he get all well, How did he do that? Interesting. The tags don't work if those title, if the words aren't in your title. Got to be in the title too. Well, I copied the title and your description. I just changed out Bueller's Patreon <laughs> with my Patreon. <laughs> 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 You're awesome, <laughs> Harry. <laughs> what is it, Bueller? What is it? Is uh, it just comic book or comics? Uh, it's comic. I think it's comics worth money. Is like one of the top ones. Wow. Comic book worth money. Mm -hmm. And if you type, I mean, if you type in comics W. Yeah, what it's worth. That's also the first letter of my second word in my title. Yeah, it interesting. Comes right up. Yeah, so I kind of did it that way. So when you type type in comics and the shit, you hit that W button. It's one of the first ones to pop up, like within the first two or three one titles. Very cool. <laughs> oh man, I love I love Bueller's videos. They have, they're so informative. Like I go to his videos and I just analyze everything he's doing. You know? Let's yeah. See. Huh? No. Yeah, it's number two on the when you do what? comics space W. Yeah, and it's nice because it's uh, you think about that word W. Comics with Batman. Comics with Spider Man. It's all titles that people would search, but yet as soon as you hit that W, mine pops right up. It works out very well. <laughs> Look at that. You got 10 tags, and they're all ranked number one. Isn't that crazy? That's insane. It didn't happen overnight, man. It didn't. All mine's ranked like three or four. It, it literally took months and months of me researching what works and what doesn't work. I mean, I literally just sat, sat up at night like, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. This one works. This one works. And that's all I did for like weeks and weeks until I got it down and now almost all my tags are exactly the same. Ogden is using comic book cousins on Insta now. I, I, use, Perry. I use that too. Hell yeah, everyone use it. Why not? Maybe I'll it, I didn't I didn't think it was a t shirt. So I've only given them away so far. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that you, you use your title and you just copy your title and it's the first thing in your description. That's what I do. I'm lazy. Oh, I guess that like I guess that helps yeah. the algorithm. Yeah, I copy and paste my description. I ain't fucking writing that shit out every time. I try to write mine yeah, out. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. Well, I wrote it out and then I typed it and I just use the same one every time. Why, uh, Bueller? What are you saying? I think the description of my videos is something I can get better at. It's, mm. I think it's something that uh, I, I mean, I just like like you said, I copy and paste the thing. 
and then I normally have something in there. But I'd like Ooh. to DK Comics with Perry. Yeah. <laughs> like like father like son, right? Comics with Bueller, comics with Perry. I kinda like that. I might have to rebrand a little bit. Rebrand. Making wow. new URL. <laughs> like Bueller. Bueller's like, what is like, going no. on? Why don't you just name the Barry? <laughs> Barry. Comics with Barry. Hey, that way I could, you know, I'll, I'll rank with that B right there. B right name. there. Yeah. He's that saying B at Barry, B A. So you, you'll rank just <laughs> right before him. Very cool. Comics with A Perry. A boom. Yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just messing with me. I, I, I like seeing Billy. I, I do that with everybody. I always check on seeing with everybody who's actually like growing, like at, at a substantial rate. Because Bueller's, let's see what Bueller's. Let's see. Let, let's let's dive into Bueller's little analytics real quick. I'm almost at nine thousand. I'm six away. Wow. Damn. How the fuck did you get 680 subs this month? That's insane. That's crazy. Wow. That's not That's... including the ones I lost. Huh? Not including the ones you lost. Oh, oh bad. So okay. when you figure out how much I lost and how much I gained, I gained about 800 total and wow. lost about 120. Wow. Bueller got almost 700 and I'm barely hitting 120. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh man, sixty-five thousand views this month! Wow, congrats, dude. That's awesome. That's crazy. With only twelve videos, that's crazy. Videos, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it said last thirty days, twelve videos. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't make a ton, so all the, all the videos are getting <laughs> compared to my thirty, my thirty-eight. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> That's funny. That's though. 38 videos this month. And I have like one fourth. Not even. I got to get off your channel, Perry. I've lost two subscribers since I've been on here. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's an effect. <laughs> I don't know why it happens. <laughs> I'm not joking up. either. I'm serious. Oh my God. I gained a few. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. All right. But yeah, Backyard Fights with Perry. That's a good channel name. Yeah. yeah, Bueller gave me a shout out and he he started losing. Like he was like, "Oh shit, I got I got to distance myself from this guy. This guy's gonna ruin my whole channel. He's <laughs> gonna ruin my whole channel." <laughs> oh shit! All right, well I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the hey here we go. Little big, so right, like forty five thousand. That's awesome. Yeah, he's got almost like a half a million views. Biggie Shack's been killing it. Yeah, he does. It's right, crazy. It, it's, it's pushing four in the morning, and I gotta not only get some sleep. But I gotta drop the kids off at the pool. You know what I'm saying? I had some buffalo dip, and it's coming right out of me. So let me, let me see. We got we got Dylan. Dylan, what you got coming out, man? Come on, man. What you doing? Dude? Man, you know I got. Uh, I was actually doing a little, maybe like a Kylo Ren re review before, but I knew this would go so late that I wouldn't get it done. So I, I'll probably have. I'll have a couple reviews dropping uh, the next couple days, and tomorrow uh, I'm trying to get. We got. Me, Trinity, and Chaos and Comics will be doing uh, our weekly Saturday live stream at 5 uh, p.m. Eastern. And then I'm hoping maybe I'll do a little uh, live stream with the homies like we did t tonight on my channel. Because it, it seems like it's been a while. So, you know, maybe we can get Perry, JB, get Biggie, get the whole squad together and just hang out like we did, you know, on all them other crazy ass streams. And we'll go another five hours tomorrow. So oh. we'll see what's up. <laughs> what you got going on, Mister Mister Sam? Hey, uh, web of lies. You know, I I just had you know I just had a video drop a few few hours ago. Uh, I'm gonna be on with Bueller and Bob and and Damon, and we're gonna we're gonna have our little roundtable discussion tomorrow, or actually today at seven. So yeah. Very cool. Yeah. What you what you doing, Mr. Kevin? Hey, um, well, hopefully I'll be dropping a video pretty soon about going to the chapel review now that it's finalized and all four issues have finally come out. Uh trade paperback will be coming out in about a month. So we'll, hopefully I'll be talking about that. And um I also dropped a couple of videos earlier about a journey going to the shops and uh Kai and I are working on some content along with Dylan. So hopefully all that will be coming out in the next week. Oh yeah. Then we got uh we got come on man. 
Come on, man. Everybody knows what's going on. Hopefully you're stopping by the channel to check out the live stream, the top picks, the, the you know, come on, whatever. <laughs> Bealer, what you whipping out? <laughs> what do you mean, nothing? Nothing. You got something coming. I got nothing. Come on. Aren't you coming later today? Everything comics. Make sure you guys watch Seven of Fox and Bob's channel. Like myself, and, uh, coffee video. myself, him, Sam, uh, Daniel, and Sleepy Reader. All four of us roundtable in house discussion about uh, comics. And what are we doing? Our five favorite villains, I believe. Top five villains. Top five villains. So yeah. it should be a lot of fun. I always enjoy having the guys over and talking comics in house. So. Bob's hosting. It's on his channel. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's it. As far as my channel, I'm done. You're done. He's done. He's done. He, he, he came know. already. Can't wait for the round table. It should be fun, yes. Yeah. Well, because it's a, a, a table that's a circle. Dude, that last one was awesome. Damn. Come on, man. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go crash on the couch. Watch some Jersey Shore because you know how I do. Um, man, you better go watch some Lock and Key. You know what? I, I can't watch anything else because I wind up falling asleep to every, anything I put on the TV. So I've just been re-watching seasons of the Jersey Shore. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's been years. They broke up. I watched them all. They're you know, all. They're all. I, I re-watch every, every episode all the time. It's like The Office for me. But, oh, uh, my God. When it first came out, I fucked with it. Because I'm Italian, and that shit was just so funny. But hey, I'm, I'm a it's girl years girl. old, brother. You need to get on with life. <laughs> is oh, that yeah. how it ends? Is that how it ends, Perry? You do that? I, I don't know how else to end it. I just, I just, you know, it's kind of like when you, when, when you finish busting a nut, and you're like, should I leave now? Jeez. Should we talk? Should I just get in the taxi? Should we and cuddle. Go? What's, what's going on? <laughs> you know, who knows? It, 